hear him is that supposed to oh okay is this good hello is this good um, hi 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 hello Stop the battle. yes so uh yeah we're already gonna start with uc merced versus uc berkeley right here starting off with uh zambi going uh first right here against uh focus, focus. I'm not uh, too UC familiar with uh, UC Berkeley, but oh, there, uh, there is some uh, history between uh, UC Merced and UC Berkeley in, uh, in terms of uh, battles. But oh, there UC Berkeley does have cool jerseys. That, that's yeah. interesting, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're, we're going off for the first uh, match right here with Kazuya and uh, Ish right here. Both uh, very uh, good uh, combo characters right here. Just uh, needs like one touch to be able to get a lot of damage in. Right. Both that require right here. But the gets to get it. He tries to go for electric wind goggles, but does get combo. It's the 48 right here. All right, gets the uh, up air right here. Gets the middle stage control right here. Everybody, oh, okay. we got Ooh, a we stitch. The stitch no, right off the start. Ooh. I uh, gets all the way to 80 loses the damage. Yeah, loses the stitch right there. But still, is able to still get back. All right, gets the electric wind god fist. Pushes her off the stage right there. Trying to make it back, trying to use a floating jump, and gets oh, it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Now there we go. Butch Wing got this into the up smash right there. <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. The Each shield just pressure is good. Yeah, focus Kazi is uh, poking in. Yeah, yeah, he is just poking his shield right there, but then he's able to get another push. Oh, oh we he tried to do what he uses the turns around to build the uh, combo. <laughs> We're at 74, and now we do have Rage Art here with Kazuya. Ooh, gets oh. hit with the... Kazuya is a heavy, though. With the so. uh, item. And Peach does have a little bit of a uh, hard time killing. Yeah, yeah the moves will be boosted right here, and uh, all he needs is just one of the uh, command grabs right here, and he goes for a kill. Ooh, tries to go for an in-place uh, oh, up smash oh, yeah, yeah. right there, does not yeah, miss the tech onto the stage, and gets sent right off. Okay, tries to go for another uh, confirm right there. Alright, okay. focus getting oh, the, the combos in. Back here. Chasing him each time he tries to escape. Still with the down uh, air into the uh, classic. Yeah, the corner. Ooh, with the combo with the uh, veggie. Ooh, catches him up on the bottom. Oh, no, not gonna make it back. That focus getting the back momentum veggie. right here. This is still uh, Kazuya. Yeah, he's still uh, making the back, tied. getting a rage art exactly. and such, but Focus just uh, keeping up this uh, stock uh, lead right here. Ooh, tries to go for one of those uh, item combos off stage, trying to go for a uh, stock. Kazuya uh, is looking for it. Parries that, gets hit with the uh, two item hits. Dash attack, trying to make it back right here. Percent, he gets hit with the C drop. I not even anymore, but it's still Kazuya. Yeah, focus so has a huge advantage to right take the stop. Sits on stage by the forward air, has the item drop right there, and that oh, is, misses the tech. Uh, oh, that's... So oh, it's focus with the uh, two stock lead right here. You see Berkeley. Two stock lead. With, uh, with Focus uh, leading here with Peach, that's going to be a, some serious uh, damage right here. Yeah, Whoever is going to be coming up next. Who we have got up next? Okay. Uh, we're going to uh, decide on the so stage next. So they're debating next, who is playing next. I mean, uh, we got the, the lineup right it now. Looks like do, uh, Mantra. Oh. Could be Mantra. Uh, Mantra has deep pockets, yeah. so yeah, Mantra has a, a lot of different characters that he can play. So we'll see which it one. Could he be the Pithra, it could be the yeah, the, yeah, the, 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 the 
Regis, you got your, your yeah, Bull, like Robins, you got a, a, a Hero sometimes. Yeah. Usually depends on the matchup and what he decides to bring in. Let's see what he decides to bring for the uh, the Peach matchup right here. Yeah. yeah Mantra needing the was try to even up the uh, game right here. Currently, UC Berkeley with two stocks ahead right now. Yeah, it's not too far, but it is. Uh, it is an elite. Really. Oh, yeah. it's, uh, it's very difficult. Uh, usually, even with a character against the Peach, you know, that, that is very yeah. uh, hard to play against, considering that you know, they have those uh, those combos where that they just start off just by touching you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, where are they going? If I were to guess, I would say... Is coming out, but that. Stop the battle. I could definitely be wrong. But we'll see. I mean, the yeah, he just does have uh, pretty good uh, hitboxes there to be able to uh, counter uh, Peach. But Peach does still have the items and, and such. Yeah. Taking him back to stage against uh, you know just Z dropping or just throwing it down across the stage like they did with Zambia. Yeah, that's make true. it very hard to recover. That's true. Pyramethra, uh, it's not very good. Uh, I mean, the recovery's all right, but can I mean, be taken good. advantage of. <laughs> the recovery is their biggest flaw. Yes. Uh, Everything else. Definitely. Very good. Though. Everything, yeah, no. <laughs> they, they, they're neutral, their hitboxes, their frame data, the Pythra, it, it's insane. And the fact that Pyra can just down air you down and air, kill you, it's like... Yeah. <laughs> Side B takes a good chunk of the stage. But we're, we're saying this without even knowing if he is going to pick uh, Aegis. Yeah, so. I know. We're just, <laughs> we're just talking. Talking. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, look at that. Hello, camera. Snake. Oh, okay. yeah, he does have a snake. I do. We didn't mention this, but you know, this might be cool to out try and out item the peach. Um, okay. See how it goes. Yeah, so we're gonna start. We gotta get rid of the stock. And then we're gonna start in a couple of seconds right here. Five. Okay, I guess they started right here. Yeah. Alright, right up the deck. Starting off with the maze. Maybe some easy okay. deck. It goes for the C4 into the grenade 36. right there. 36% right here. It does have the grenade on into the back air right here, using the Z-Pod. Uh, using control of the side of the stage right here, goes to the mortar right there. Yeah, just not let focus get back to the stage right here. He catches him with the mortar, but he's not able to connect here. Okay, okay. Grenade interrupts the combo. Oh you know, yeah, picking the snake in this matchup here is actually very good. Just you know, grenades can interrupt any of the combos. Uh, gets the Nikita. Wow, gets the that's one stock. insane. Let's see if Mantra here can uh, keep the uh, stock lead right here. Oh, getting some cut this off the stage. This is where here. she's and trying to catch him off yeah, the stage yeah, yeah, yeah. with the uh, veggie. So it's, it's still a two still. stock lead. Yes. Alright. Okay, okay. okay. He gets the up tilt. Okay, he tries to go combo. with the C4 right here. Try to get some back there. They'll be speaking a little bit more uh, patient here with throwing out the combos here because they can be interrupted with the grenade. Okay. So this is looking like. If he gets this right here, then Mal, uh, you know, makes the makes the matchup even a little better. For, uh, for okay. He said, guess it. Yeah, just look. losing one stock, getting the two stocks back right here. I mean, yeah, that, that's, 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 that's fine. fine. That's fine. That's good here. The so now almost, they're now uh, they're now they're only down a stock. Yeah, but it's, uh, they, it's, not, uh, it's not horrible. Yeah, no, no it's not horrible. Yusumer said still in this right here. We're moving 
on to the next person. But yeah, Macho is gonna need to stick with the snake here, down one stop. We need to see who he's playing against. Some it was, uh, historical beef, yes. as we say. Make it to the top two, I think, before, from what I've heard. And uh, Yusimer said just you know, losing in the final round there. So the fact that they're, they're beating each other right in the first round here before they, they hit any of the other uh, colleges here, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's running them back. Yeah, since it's a... It's a Grand Finals rematch. Oh, grand, grand Finals and rematch in the first the tools, round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, controls here. We'll see uh, what they pick. Pokemon Battle Song. Battle Song. Snake is the fox. Fox. Fox is a snake. All right. Okay. And uh, yes. So we have uh, Sujia on the stage against uh, Mantra. Yeah. Does the fox does have a reflector, but I'm not sure how useful it would be against the grenade, just because it's grenades. I think yeah, they're more. Uh, the grenades are usually on top. Of here. Yeah. So, we'll have to see. Three, yeah. two, one, I think it was more just, uh, you know, picking a box here was just more for the uh, speed damage. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Alright. Let's get rid of C4 oh, okay. the center stage right here. Box is live though, so the trades are due to favor stage. Yeah, as long as he's dropping those grenades, he's going to get some damage in. Okay, he goes for the down tilt. Control the side of the stage here. He goes for the dash attack. The grenade is going to catch him right there. Ooh, almost hits him with the C4 right there. Falls out of the up there. Okay, so he's just getting whatever damage he can with the, the laser. He goes for the dash attack. Catches him up on the top of the stage. Masha trying to get him back. Grabs his own grenade. Takes a little bit of damage. Right there. Yeah. Ooh, almost gets him right there. But yeah, he did shield that whole uh, left there. Sushi uh, playing very patient. Tries to catch him off stage, but the box is uh, gonna be able to recover really fast from some of the side view. Ooh, flashes with the uh, up tilt and evens up the stocks right here. 98%. Masha has to be very careful to be able to attack. Okay, that was a risky side view. It does get punished for it. Yeah. Ooh, tries to go for the forward smash right there. He did his sledge, that would be Okay, going to the side and catch him back yeah, there. That is gonna be able to Right there. Ooh, goes for the taunt right there. Ooh, the, uh, the power-up taunt. The Goku Super Saiyan taunt. <laughs> So now they're up playing. two stocks he was playing again. Yeah. Oh, Sometimes that's just how you need to play. Yeah, if you have a <laughs> stock lead right there, you can, uh, you can afford to play a little more patient. Yeah, exactly. You're throwing out your attacks like right away, you don't, you don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, uh, Fox is seen as a more of a 
uh, fast-paced, in-your-face character, but he, since he is fast, he can just stay back and whiff punish you, basically. Uh, going down for the rush downs, but, you know, just going for uh, a neutral air, you kind of just, you know, wait there, see how the other guy reacts, and go for your ups. Yeah, very exactly. Fast, uh, go for it. they put him in is because he, he knows the fox matter pretty well. Yeah, and he plays a character, so he understands yeah, understand what, what, what they want. You, know, you get your neutral air, hit two, you got smash kills. A lot of uh, tech choices, a lot of uh, up air, so top to save. Yeah, Mantra was able to get a, a stock there, so uh, uh, let's see if uh, Nakana's able to get the, uh, the two stocks back. Yep. Trying to limit the amount of uh, stocks he loses as well. We'll see. Yahoo! Oh, he's getting gear funds. Sometimes you want to. So you can hear the game audio. You can hear the game audio and just drown out all of the people talking in the background. Some people are angry. Very focused on the play. There we go. We got that out. That just kind of sets here right there. Yep. Kazuya, kill with one touch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll have to see that. The thing is, two, though, since he was one, playing go. Uh, sort of is it not, not camp, is it? Uh, patient, he was, since he was playing patient in the, in, against Snake, that's exactly how you play against Kazuya. Yeah, you so, very patient. Go yeah, he, he doesn't need one, one to change up his style. Yeah, Kazuya does need stage to perform his combo. So, um, when he did pick a very small stage. Yeah. Oh, okay, that should be a stop. Yeah. He wanted the, the three hit, right? 
Jump into the down smash right there. Was able to catch him. Oh, is no coming in? No. No, 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 no. no might come up now. I hope he got this. Uh, uh, representing the Super Set. Yeah. No, no bias. The Super Set. Non bias commentary. Yes, exactly. From two U Super Set students. <laughs> We like the, the, the vibe of uh, get, a, get a bobcat jersey with the, the tags on the back here. We like the the, the, the the grassroots vibe, you know? It's, uh, just the t shirts are enough to represent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So he has to pick Kazuya. Yeah, yeah. Because this is a crew battle. Yeah, you guys do not know that. Ampha can pick. Or, or he has locked in whoever he is picking, but we don't know who. Okay, so that could be interesting because Kazuya is heavy. So uh, it can ban at his combo and kill a lot. Still can do a lot of damage in the yeah. Go all the way to the 63% just for one of right here. Yeah, yeah. that's Kazuya. That's yeah. yeah. the almost almost got the combo. Okay, he responds with his combo combo of his own. All the way up to the 38%. Yeah. That's true. That's uh last game deals. Dodge. 
with his Bayonetta and his Yeah, it's pretty, pretty consistent two stock ahead, stocks ahead. Uh, let's see if the last two players can uh, okay. oh, bring it back. Are we gonna go with uh, Null Max? Yeah, it looks like. So it's a Zelda, a rare, rare breed of tournament Zelda. <laughs> that doesn't mean he's bad. So, uh, yeah, he, uh, <laughs> no, one of the few players I've seen that is able to play Zelda very, very well. <laughs> And also he does have experience versus Kazuya. He has a 2-0 record versus our own Kazuya, or one of them. I mean, you know, he's been playing against uh, Bayonetta, so I don't know if that matches. Oh, well. shoot. But I think he does know it because. I mean, yeah, playing uh, yeah. Zelda is a very unconventional match. You don't see too many people like playing that character as well, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, uh, yeah, no, I've seen like a lot of like really hard to, uh, to deal with uh, setups. Yeah, what what tools would Bayonetta have versus? Uh, I mean, uh, Bayonetta just needs to really uh, you know, get those combos in. Yeah. Although Noel's neutral B, uh, Zelda's neutral B does break combos. Ooh, might work. Um, so uh, Bayonetta player needs to get like you'd be perfect on his combo game in order to uh, get those. Say though, because Zelda excels at the uh, the ledge trapping game, and Bayonetta's recovery is pretty good. So yeah. Two-stock speed run, you know. <laughs> yeah, my favorite combo was the soldier into the, the soldier, soldier into the, the soldier. soldier. Yeah. <laughs> True combo, by the exactly. way. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, no. Let's go. Yeah, this is very even now. I guess he did know the matchup. Yeah. <laughs> the matchup and you don't know the Zelda matchup too well. It's just good, yeah. Like, <laughs> setups against you, like, 
There's yeah, not much you can do, you know? Yeah, that's why. You gotta, like, be a master of, like, stage control, being able to recover in many different ways. Because, like, when you see, like, soldier being thrown at you, Zelda's running at you, it is like, you, you only have, like, a couple of seconds to think of a way to make it back, you know? Yeah. And it, in the moment, and you're getting slapped by the soldier, it's, uh, it's a little harder to come up with a plan, you know? Especially if it's like, you know, it's, like the first time you're ever going against this kind of thing. You don't see too many uh, Zelda players playing like this. M4 for the Berkeley. Me sword fighter was. Okay. You gotta gotta put an outfit on him, or is he gonna go? Okay, the blue shirt. Yeah, I, I played a lot of uh, you know me fighters. Uh, the suplex is probably one of my favorite ones. On the, on the yeah, it does. It does feel the the meatiest, basically. Oh, yeah. Kicking, uh, you know, suplex. I think the, the uppercut right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't give you too much recovery options, but it did kick the tank jump. It is a combo tool, though, yeah. and oh, no, yeah, down throw, first, falling up air there. into a B is is a lot of damage. But yeah, me brawler into uh, Zelda. Honestly, I favor the Zelda for this one. Because like I said, they yeah. the don't have too much more to offer from it. Yeah. Z brawler. So. Zelda. But if he gets in, then Zelda will get a lot of damage. But yeah, the, uh, not too much range from brawler, but we like Three, two, one, go! Hey, he starts off with a big jump right off the bat. Oh god, that was that was a nice one. That 
That's a matchup thing that I guess he didn't know about. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was not good no, for uh, <laughs> Okay. That, yeah, he has 60% extra credit, and Zelda does not have a hard time killing or doing damage. So. Yeah, that should take it. Set with a one stock up. lead here. Yeah. So they brought it back from a solid two stock lead all the way back to it. I would say, yeah, Evermore what? definitely played that matchup extremely well, though. Using that faint jump to be able to you know, take himself out of all, any of the setups that, uh, that Null was going for. But yeah, but anyway, you know, going for the setup enough times eventually you'll be able to uh, well, hit him. But yeah, that up air hits like a truck. Yeah, it does. Got two kills with it. Yeah, yeah from uh, underneath the stage and the one that's in the final spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, starting on the stage here. Looks like there are other crew battles from other schools going on on the other streams, so if you want to go pop on over there to watch those, you can. Get a stock, at least one stock. It puts him in a good position. Bounce again. Oh, he decides not to go to bounce. He's just using the Guess he doesn't need it. That's good. Good. Nice. So now it's all tied up. The anchors. Carnage. I think, right? So Carnage that's probably Snake. Yeah, probably Snake. But Snake into the hero matchup is honestly pretty difficult if the, you know the hero knows what they're doing and they get yeah. bounce. Yeah, but exactly. Those grenades setups do not cannot do anything against mm -hmm. uh, bounce. But yeah, now it's up to the three stock v three stock right here. But Snake 
does have more options uh, when the hero does have bounce than Zelda, probably, right? Yeah, Cause no, he still has you know, his grabs and his, uh, his aerials there. Yeah, and his dash attack is insane. Uh, making sure that uh, you know, the hero will end up being low on mana eventually. Snake being a little heavy, you know, mm -hmm. does help out in this uh, this matchup. Yeah. Unless he crits, which is a thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can you can be robbed by hero sometimes. You know? Yes. Yeah, like, like it's, this matchup can go either way here. Yeah. Or just very good with Snake. But yeah, this uh, the way he played uh, the guy here played hero. So let's see the stage. Is it a PS2 run back? Yeah, there it is. if the lead fit came out. <laughs>
happening on the side over here on the other uh, street side up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another one. Alright. Uh, uh, right take a break. Uh, take a break. Okay. Oh, okay. Or how, how loud? Well, this is what? Controlling a Wii here. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, wow. It, it works. It works. Oh, okay. It's very Can loud. we hear us? Cool. Can you hear it? Yeah. Uh, Who's fighting? Over here. Biased commentary you've ever heard coming from Fresno State students. Alrighty. Any day now. No, it's not going to start yeah. for a little bit. I'm going to be honest, I don't know who any of the people are. It's Stanford? Is that who Fresno State's I don't remember. No, 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 that's what they said. Huh? No, 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 I meant. I meant. Yeah, yeah, I don't know who was playing against Stanford. I don't remember. Oh, is that that Wii Fit player? I don't know. Xavier? Oh, shit. Here we go. Duck Hunt. We got a Joy-Cons main over here. Mr. Duck Hunt. You know, weapon rate is a good start, honestly. It's a good, it's a good first person history battle. Weapon rate, honestly, last time I saw him play, was at Manteca Mania, and he did really well. He almost beat Infamous at some point. He got second at that tournament. He only lost to Infamous. Okay. Oh, he's got the combos. Let's see what weapon rate can do. This is a. Uh, he's got a competent duck man over here. We have oh, Lego. A projectile as well. I've ever seen. Right. So, from what I know, Duck Hunt's little, uh, the tin can is frame one, right? Uh, right, it's like six grenades. Yeah, so like that, that could definitely be utilized in a very interesting way. I don't watch a lot of Duck Hunt, so I'm interested to see how this goes. I, I would rather die than watch it. <laughs> but, there's a very good Duck Hunt going oh. on right here. Oh, okay. Interesting uh, deer dodge there from Weapon Range. Yeah, probably the nerves, you know, the first one going on, kind of set the tone. <laughs> he's nervous for the crew battle. Okay, he's got this guy <laughs> in the corner, though. Oh, oh that actually that's killed. Wow. Holy cow. All right, Weapon Raid. Shout out Weapon Raid. That was actually really good DI in the game. You know, Tree is a Duck Hunt player who used to be from our region, Senkau, so I think Weapon Raid knows this matchup a decent amount because he's played against him. Yeah. Definitely. A lot of experience. Yeah. And you're playing Samus, like the defense is immaculate on this carry. Yeah. Not the best CI there though. Alright, pretty even, honestly, very even right now. It's very even, that's a lot more even than I thought it Oh man, why is that combo? Dude, I I gotta imagine playing against Samus is so frustrating. Yeah, man, you cannot be in the Oh, he tried to kill him. Okay, no punish, no punish. All right. Yeah, he was in his up so he didn't really have a lot of options. Oh, that was a little tricky. Very oh, he's got him caught with his pants down. Respecting the barrel a lot. Yeah, he's playing it very well. Oh, that was a great catch of the roll, honestly. The coverage for Olego is really strong. There you go, send that thing off stage. Oh, he's ran into it twice in a row. Yeah, he's getting a little sloppy, you know. Olego's got some momentum. Right over there. 
little too preemptive. There you go. Yeah. That was a good roll. I like that roll. Yeah. Now if you can hold on to this lead and just get some extra credit, that'd be really good for him. There you go. Into the nair, nice. Alright. That was a successful edge guard this time. Samus has really good tools to like stall in the air and evade all these projectiles and just like weave right through. Barely missed that back air. It's intent, man. So, so tricky. Still 11. Samus is heavy. Oh, wow. That was tricky. That was a cool trick. That was a crazy edge guard. <laughs> Cav is in the building. Oh, there you go. Good coverage. Oh. Protect. There you go. Wow. Can't jump over it like that. Okay. Yeah, he's weaving in these rolls pretty well. This is anyone's game at this point. Weapon has had the upper hand the entire time, but if this last lock situation, anything could happen. Not going well. <laughs> so much damage. There it is. Alright. Yep. Weapon rate takes. Yeah. Wow. He had the upper hand the entire time and he was able to close it out too. You know, I mean even though it was really close, he did have some solid control over over that match. Alright, so that is Plasma State 13. San Jose State 12. Let's see who is up next for San Jose State. All right, I wonder who's up next for San Jose State. He's talking, talking it over, seeing who they're going to send him next against Weapon Raid. The next person. Yeah, they're really thinking about it. Got to get that counter pick on. <laughs> Honestly, he's really, you know, solid. He could definitely play defense and just scrape up a couple more stocks for them. Yeah. I wonder if like they've got an anchor or if that dunk hunt was like one of their better players. I don't know anything about the players I, in San Jose State. I don't know about SJS on the roster, we just saw um, a Lego. They've got both Torian. Machu, Sergio, and Sonam Slash left. Sonam Slash is their captain. We could be seeing them as their anchor. Who knows? Oh. Another Joy-Con player. Dude, why are they so Another good Joy-Con Joy player, yeah. What is going on? Never seen so many in my life. <laughs> They're all Joy-Con boys. That's crazy. <laughs> That's funny. They got some jerseys too? Okay. Spartan Esports. Uh, San Jose State is the Spartan song. That's right. Got a little esports team action going. Alright, here we go. Wolf versus Samus. 
honestly. Got the reflector. You can use that to deal with the projectiles or, you know, start to change up the match. You really have to respect that, you know. You've got a good tool to deal with those strong projectiles. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah, that was impressive. We're going to Kalos. Right, here we go. Let's see how this goes. 10% already. Oh, but that's it. Dude, why is Charge Charge so much damage? It's insane. Not looking good. Not looking good. You know, Wolf is one of those characters where if you don't know how to get back to ledge, like, you can just take so much damage getting ledge strap. Yeah. You know, it's a little exploitable, but it's it's also, on another note, just really easy to, to ledge strap. Alright. Let's the now. Machu needs to stay on stage. Right? Absolutely. Because if he doesn't stay on stage, the weapon is very good at capitalizing. That's a good grab. So, I think these jumps get taken, you know? Yeah. You know, what, the fun fact about Wolf's Nair, it's very disjointed below him. So you can use it for a lot of different things, even in this matchup with Sam is a good, like, anti air and stuff like that. First stock taken. Not much you can do that. Honestly, no, like, you're just dead. <laughs> Hard read there. That would not have killed on Kalos with someone as heavy as Samus. That up smash really doesn't have a lot of knockback, all things considered. Threatening with the back air. You know, we're seeing some confident play from Machu for sure, but. Yeah, but like, how do you approach Yeah, it's just not easy to approach a character like this. Yeah. Now, Weapon's going to play super shameless here. You have nothing to lose but your last stock. You've already got what you wanted, which is that one stock. Yeah, he has so much extra credit already. So you can just camp as long as you want. Yeah, we got 97 uh, We have 97 minutes <laughs> of camping coming up right now. Oh, they let him out of the corner. Right. Almost had that down here. Threatening with the back here. I'm surprised you didn't up smash there. I don't know if that move is that safe, really. Machu is sitting in shield and the reflector somewhere. Let me get, you know. I mean, that dash attack, he could have up smashed there as well. Let me just grab him. All right, this is not good. Not good for Machu at all. You're dead. There's another stock. Wow. All right, Machu showing some stress right now on the player count. You know, Machu had several opportunities to kill Weapon Raid already. Yeah, oh, but it wow, just didn't work miss. out. You know, if you're playing a character like Wolf, oh, no. uh, he okay. wanted that kill. You got to be ready greedy. to kill. Yeah, but you know, Weapon can afford to be greedy. He's already taken Absolutely. five stocks. You know, and Machu's only at 50%, but get him off stage and, you know, he's ready to steal them. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Good tempo mix up there. Oh, oh wow. Anything could kill Weapon Raid right here. Yeah, but almost anything can kill Machu. Oh, just get him off stage. Oh, wow, he, he almost, almost died dead. from that. Wow. Oh, there it is. Weapon taking all three stocks. But That's insane. Being so dominant. Yeah, honestly. Right it was looking very even at the beginning. With A great starter pick for Fresno yeah. State. Great starter pick. Oh, wow, they have their counter pick ready. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's see who this is. Weapon Raid looks so calm. You know, he knows he knows he knows what his job is. He does. He's gotten so much extra credit. Now he can just cheese as much as yeah. he wants. And he's a very focused player. When you watch him play, like you'll see, like he's just ready to react to anything. You know, he'll react to those reflectors coming from the wolf when you're shooting that charge shot. He's ready for anything. And he'll he's gonna react. He's not gonna go on auto autopilot at any point. Very efficient play by Weapon Raid. He let the kill come to him. Yeah. Gotten, absolutely. Yeah. A little greedy here and there, but he waited. Yeah, and, you know. Machu was kind of like getting a little antsy with those side beats on stage. You saw a little bit too much of them. Yeah, it's and it's like at this point in the meta, everyone's going to be ready for that, and you have to use it as a rare mix up. Like, but he started doing it right off the bat. Oh, Machu, you got to disconnect your Joy Cons. Uh. <laughs> That's okay. Are we going to see an ice climber? Nope. All right, let's see. Sephiroth, okay. Surgeon, this is let's Surgeon. see how this goes. You only got to take one stock. That's all you got to do. 
first one is the most yeah, important. Zimrod is very light, and he has a hard time <laughs> yeah. with the projectiles. So the, yeah. The, the counter, does, it, it's cool that it goes off on its own, but it's not going to reflect anything back to right. left lane. It can match the projectiles in the corner. All right, here we go. 22 right off the bat. Honestly, charge shot is just like better laser. Let's see how weapon right here with the orbs he rolls. What a shield. That was the timing on that. Yeah. Sergio was not ready to follow it up with any kind of shield pressure or anything. Hanging out in the corner, taking lots of damage. Sergio really seems to be opting for the orbs here. Like, it, it's a good option. It interrupts Samus and there's just charging something, but it, it takes so long, especially if you're trying it to does, get so yeah. Oh, he's, he can die soon. Another charge shot. He can die right here. So he's re -grabbing. He's re -grabbing. He's re -grabbing. Oh, Still living. That was the sour spot. He's got the wing now. Oh, okay. There's the first stock. Only 5%. Wow. Weapon rate looks like he's just going to clear all of SJSU. The way he's playing right now. He's only taking 19%. Yeah. Sephiroth is a sword character, but the startup is just so much. I mean, if you're going to try and use those orbs, like... You can just release the charge shot if you're Samus, and like you don't even have to really worry about it. It's not a good trade for Samurai. Yeah, very hard matchup for Samurai. I'm surprised they opted for this. Wow, no down smash, no forward tilt. Get a grab. Yeah, you, yeah. you had the frame advantage there to do something. Yeah. Good job getting out of the corner. He knows the corner is not someone you want to take against Samus. Tech chase? Oh, this is not looking good. Wow, 95%, the wing is out. Opting for the down air. Wow. Let's see if they can get out of the corner. Another ledge trap. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that down air just didn't come out in time. And I mean, it wouldn't have like gone far enough to hit weapon rate anyways. Yeah. It, it would have just broken the counter. Or something. Yeah. All right, all right, we'll see some advantage. Okay. Weapon rate stalling off stage. These rolls have really been doing wonderful weapon. Yeah. I mean, like, He's only gotten orbs. caught for about like one or two of them. Oh, oh did you didn't get the. Floor. Wow. Can roll again? Okay, good job. Mixing he was up. right, He's too. That sucks. He was right about the down smash. The back air. This ledge trap could prove very fatal for him. <laughs> oh! He wanted him dead right yeah. there. He has a wing. I was wondering why Sephiroth was getting the wing. It's not that good to be with Sephiroth, you know, especially three stocks to one. He just got the wing right now at 80%, even though he's kind of been losing the whole match. Yeah. Weapon Rage is playing so elite right now. This ledge trap. Every situation like this, Weapon Raid has killed. He's been so good off the corner. Oh, the re -grab? How does Weapon Raid? Okay. Just lets him re -grab. Let's see if Weapon Raid can come up with a tempo mix up to, you know, mix him up. Have him drop the shield. Get him off stage again. Oh, he's getting greedy with these edge guards. Oh, he's back. He never gave up stage control, though. He's keeping him in the corner. Uh, Weapon ball, fighting back. Off stage, this is not good. He just went for it. Off. Both hits okay. of the Nair. Wow. What's he doing in the corner this time? He's the got wing is helping him out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very... It's very oh. Okay, Finally. there's that last stock from Weapon Raid. Weapon, Raid Weapon Raid's the MVP one. of this crew battle. He took, he took half the crew <laughs> with one stock, That's mind insane. You. How many stocks was that? That was like eight? He only, yeah, he took eight stocks. Eight stocks. All right, shout out Weapon Raid. Wow. You know, also, good on Sergio, you know, being able to take the last stock. All right, up next we got Crip, very competent Rob player, and versus Sephiroth, this is not a bad matchup at all. Yeah, it's... And you saw the way that Sergio was dealing with the projectiles. I, I can definitely see someone like Crip closing this out. Yeah, very good showing by Fresno State. Yeah. We've only had one person. Yeah. <laughs> one person. Yeah. And this is SJSU going one is direction on, pretty I think quickly. their third person right now. Yeah. We've got two left after this. Fresno we've State two still left. has four. We've got four very big heavy hitters as well. Yeah. You know, Fresno State, their morale must be through the roof right now. Definitely. All right. But. So, the cool thing about this is Sergio is playing Sephiroth. He starts off with one stock. He's going to get the wing at like 30%, 40%, you know? Yeah. And it, he's probably going to keep it for most of the game, being down so much. Yeah. So, we'll see if he can do something cool, you know, with the wing. 
It is a comeback mechanic. SJSU is in need for a comeback right Definitely. now. Definitely. You know, that's the funny thing. Like, a lot of people talk about Sephiroth being good on the ledge. But in a way, like, you know, using the forward air to stick against the ledge and the extra jump in some ways can just delay the inevitable. And you really saw that in the last match, too. A great ledge trapper like Weapon Raid. Even when you were able to force your way back on stage with Sephiroth, he still got the kill most of the time either way. Yeah. Crip. Plays Rob. Sure does. Alrighty. Very competent Rob as well. This guy's good. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Fresno State sitting 12 stocks to 7. <laughs> That's great. Three. A lot more one-sided One, than I expected. Go. But, dive. There you go. <laughs> no, Chris is a good sport, too. He's getting rid of the laser. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Oh, comes out with the gyro right away. All right, oh, some great, orbs great again. You know, that would have reflected the orbs and gone back on Sephiroth. Yeah. He timed out a little bit better. Wow, he didn't offer anything except for the Nair. That's so weird. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of play you can do when someone has their orbs. They sit and shield a lot, you know? Yeah. Oh, all right. The wing's out at 30%. Let's see <laughs> how he can press the advantage. You called it. It was 30%, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. A little Another bit of one? damage here. No jump right now. Okay. This is going better than it did against Weapon Raid. Yeah. All right, he's got orbs the orbs. are on him again. Oh. There's the shield break. No, his mash is fine. He's fine. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. Uh, <laughs> he's, you know, way better than it was against Weapon Raid. A little slow start for Crypt, for sure. Yeah, he's, just, he's not he's dealing with the warps up, very know. well, yeah. All right, he's getting some common combo damage on Rob, too. Okay, he's got the gyro. He can set up a kill right now. Wow, he's finding these orbs really well right now. He was showing off his hand a little bit with Weapon Raid. The Weapon Raid knew how to go around the orb so well. Yeah. See if he can get... Okay. Cancels the Jeep player. Oh, wow, okay. down here. All right. Oh, wow. I'm surprised that laser didn't hit. It was, it was just so wow. tall. Yeah, it's not looking so good for Crit. Okay. A little bit of damage from that gyro. Got him. Okay. That's okay. Oh. That, that player was so far away, what if it didn't get him? Get him. <laughs> oh, Good Z drop, drop. yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. There's your stock. <laughs> wow, the orbs go through gyro, I did okay. not know that. All right. Wow, he was at 90. Sephiroth is light, man. Sephiroth is so light. It's okay, losing one stock, it's not the worst thing in the world when you're still up by, you know, four or five stocks. Yeah. All right, Crip was able to close it out. I think he's, you know, getting a little bit of a slow start. He wasn't, you know, emitting as much pressure as he usually does, especially dealing with those orbs. He was just keeping him out really well. All right, let's see what SJSU is setting up. All right. All right, this is their fourth player. Let's play that. Two players left. As Fresno State has one, two, three, four, five, including Crip. Four, including Crip. Four, including Crip? Yeah. Right. His weapon's out. Okay. All right. No Joy Cons from this player. No Joy Cons. The GameCube <laughs> controller is out. Crip's arms just look weirdly long. He's fixing his sleeves. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Great player. Great player. New insecurity unlocked. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Demo. Demo plays Yoshi. Yoshi. Wow. Alrighty. You know, I imagine this is a pretty good matchup for Rob, but Yoshi's a good character. Oh, what is the stage? Is this legal? Did they press random stages? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
They did press right into it. Not legal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're opting for a button check or something. Yeah, they need to check their, uh, their butt. This is the least hyped crew battle. It's been so one sided. <laughs> Illegal stage. Stop battle. Yoshi. Rob. All right. Three, two, Wario. One. I heard someone say Wario. Man. Yoshi. Rob. Hey, you're supposed to die. <laughs> Do a gyro. Dude, get rid of the gyro, man. Pick it up. <laughs> We got the Sephiroth music too? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're starting. Okay. Opting for the egg usage here. Alright, starting off strong. Wow. Uh oh. This is an ugly way to throw the gyro. A lot of gyro. Bro, have you seen Donkey Kong's gyro throw? It's so weird. He could have died right there. Okay. A little bit of a miss in, but he did not want to full hop there. Pick it up with A. There you go. All right, he evened it up pretty so he, well. He's, he's very much saving the double jump here. Yeah. You know, he's he opting a little more for. Okay, good, good shoot. He reacted to that roll, but he's just a little late. It's very even so far. This is intense music as well. Oh, oh, the yeah. brain trap. Good DI, good Rob DI. Is very heavy. Yoshi's broken, I'm telling you. This character is so broken. Good math. Good DI. Let's see if you can get one stock. Yeah, that'll do it. Yoshi's a very strong character. I mean, you're going to see it. We'll see who they put up next. I think Crip, you know, he did his work, and that was a good person to put up next. They still have some real strong he hitters. He took a stock Oh, well. they're putting in Warner. We got a Kazuya versus Yoshi. That is an interesting pick. Yeah, because, you know, Yoshi's double jump, it just has the armor. He could probably just get out of a lot of, you know, yeah. Kazuya's things. If, if he's not fretting tight about it. It's weird. I mean, Yoshi's a very aerial character. You're going to control the air well. You've got great out of shield. And versus Kazuya, that seems a little unorthodox. You know, you're used to maybe fighting sword characters or brawler characters to get those openings. I don't know how it's going to work versus someone like Yoshi, who's going to egg camp you really hard. We've already seen him doing it in this last match. Yeah, but you know, he has the, the frame three out there. He can anti-air. He's got the tools to anti-air. That's true. I think it's frame four. Frame four. But that's true. It's too fast. <laughs> You know, so he, he, he's got the tools to anti-air. Certainly. He can, he can bait out the double jump, but then, like, Yoshi's just kind of got Yeah. Air, it's kinda long, it's and bad, Yoshi's but. probably pretty easy to combo if you're Kazuya. So we'll see if Warner can actually get those electrics going, you know? I mean, you know, that that's what determines how good your Kazuya is, is if you can do the combos. <laughs> Alright, three players left in the state. Yeah, super standard day. They got a three stock lead. SJSU is shown. They've got strong players too, man. Yeah, they've been fighting back a little bit. It's not a wash anymore. So we love to see it. <laughs> Yoshi versus Kazuya. If I'm Demo and I've never seen Warner, I'm scared. Yeah, you don't know how good. Yeah. You can die zero twice. It's a jump scare when you see Kazuya on that screen. Yeah. It's... We'll see. We'll see how Warner's execution is. This is a straight up 1v1. Three stocks versus three stocks. Three, two, one, go! They just started. All right. No countdown. <laughs> There's the damage output from Yoshi. I'm telling you, this character's broken. 
Oh, okay. Missing those techs, getting the jab locked. This character, he would have died from that F smash. Yoshi's F smash is very strong. Wow! He, oh my gosh! Jesus! This is crazy. You know, it seemed like Warner was losing because he did not win neutral nearly as many times, but you just don't need that many openings with Kazuya. You don't need to win that much. He's got the range, right? He can kill him. At zero. At zero. Yeah, that's true. Pick him up right now. Okay, yeah. Great edge guard. Yoshi's got it all. He can edge guard. He's got the damage output. He's got the defense. Wow. Aimbot helping him out a little bit there. That's my guy. That's my all right, now he's starting to get his text. Oh, uh, just ran right into that electric. True. He tried to up smash him right there. Oh, that's good DI, good DI. But I think he might be dead. Oh, he got up beat back. Loki saved him. He should have just gone for like an aerial. Oh, he could have got him right there. But that's some good damage. I mean, he's a super kill person. Yoshi's kind of heavy, but not that heavy. He's right. Ah, good roll read. Honestly, solid stuff. Oh, he almost grabbed him in zero. That is not what you want. <laughs> he is. All right. Getting a little aggressive here from Demo. Uh oh, he tripped him. Good follow up. That up is so disjointed. Wow, that killed. All right. Suspect DI. Looking for his electric. Detected this time. Yeah. I think Demo started to adapt to him not teching, and then he just didn't cover the tech. Yeah, that, that Nair's not going to work like that. Not against Bazia. Oh! Uh-oh, jab block. Oh, he missed this. Okay. Fighting back a little bit off stage. Oh, he tried to kill him right there. Yeah. Oh, you're dead. All right, Werner. There you go. Yeah, he did. He did well. He did well. All right, they're going to pull out their anchor now. You got Werner. You got Doodle Bob, and you got Spot after this. Let's see if their anchor Doodle team Bob, captain, captain Sonam, Sonam Smash. Smash, let's see if he can take out Senkal's finest from Fresno State. Fres, yes. I gotta say. Kazuya, Loki has been the most entertaining character to watch so far. <laughs> link. A link player. They're saving a link player, oh, right? Here. Okay. Right. That's mine to play. Let's see how that works. Let's see how that works against uh, Mr. Warner here. This is not DML. This is Sonam Smash. I think we're on that though. There we go. Warner remembering to SD. All right. Yeah, Fresno State has just been ahead this whole time. Any stock they take has just been extra credit overall. Yeah, definitely. But he knows he's going for the laser. Camping him a little bit. Whoa! A little misinput. Okay, backer to 20%. That's that's sick. Bless you. Thank you. Ooh. Weird. <laughs> Weird stuff here from Sonam, but all right. Uh, he just needs some time to you know, settle in. The nerves, your, your team is down. You're the They're captain. camping each other. Warner's waiting for his opening. Sonom is just trying to keep his distance. There we go. The nerves are coming out. All right. Settling it in. Okay. Okay. Good damage. Good damage so far. Wow. Very even right now. Very, very even. Oh, oh, that is not safe on sealed, but wow. he didn't do anything about it. I would have maybe wanted to grab or... Oh. Oh. He's living. He was nowhere near dying. And he still has race drive. Oh, oh he charged that oh. smash. Wow. Like. I think he just wanted to catch the hardest it. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. All right, let's see if Texas State's going to send up. All right. 
All right, we got a pretty uh, pretty clean smile from Sonam, looking kind of handsome, if I do say. <laughs> That's a good smile if I've ever He's seen that. He's got some, some nice teeth there, bro. Get some Shout out to dollars. Sonam. Hit Shout up your dentist. Sonam. Hit up your local dentist if you want to look like Sonam. All right. Oh, Doodle Bob. All right. Oh, doodle Bob. Wario versus Link. Yeah. I think Wario definitely has the tool to deal with Link. You got the aerial drift, you know, you're getting close, you're going to do the damage. Yeah, and if, if Doodle Bob needs to play the patient game, then he's totally fine doing that. Then he's just got the WAP. Yeah, definitely. You know, just like, uh, just like Weapon Raid, the next two people on Fresno State's lineup are both <laughs> top 10 players in the Sentau region. Yeah. One of which has been top two on NorCal PR as well, with Spot. About the Spot. All right, so we have Doodle Bob. Fresno State still has Spot left on the reserve. See, he pulls out the nest if, if we get to him. Yeah. If we get to him. Big if. It's Doodle Bob, dude's crack. Very Absolutely. good player. Very, very solid player. And it looks like Sonam also plays Joy-Cons. There's Dude. a bunch of Joy-Con players, man. They're just cracked like that. They don't need the game controllers. They're, like, controllers. sponsored by their schools. They, you know, they don't need it, right. they don't need it. But <laughs> just ask the school for some GameCube controllers. Man. Yeah. They're making it work, though. Certainly. They're making it work. Stop the battle. But Isabel. Okay. <laughs> Not this time. Yeah, All this right. This is the first half. Not gonna lie. Let's see what Sonam can do. Got to hold it down for his school. All right. Did Doing some classic zoning right now. Sona did not lose. He stopped. He didn't. Huh? No, he didn't. He got close to losing one to Werner. Playing it slow. He's got some good defense with these items covering, you know, his pressure. Oh no. Here's the damage though. Now you're at 50. Got the bomb. Warriors got an ugly throw. That's funny. Charizards and Donkey Kong are both like super weird. Oh! I'm not gonna kill. Fancy. Oh! 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 He actually got him! Wow! Smile coming out from Sona. He's feeling it. A little cheesy. Get out of shield, all right. Get him off stage. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing spot play, if I'm being honest. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind. However, this is a very big lead that Fresno State had at some point. You know? Yeah. Not being up only by two stocks. Oh, he oh, missed no his kill confirm. He didn't react to it right. And there's the boomerang. He has so much awareness of when the boomerang's coming back. Yeah. He He's got some tricks. He's doing oh, well. This is some solid play we're seeing from Sona. Yeah, they definitely saved, you know, their best player for the end. And this is a really good anchor. He's taking two stocks. Yeah, already. he's already up a whole stock, basically. Oh, snuck right past him. Oh, that's, that's, that's it. Not that's it. Shot mash, bro. <laughs> he did not match at all. He just kept biting him. He wanted to get all his percent back. <laughs> that's oh, funny. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, and the WAP is nearby. No, we haven't seen any bikes come out from the middle of Oh, all right. <laughs> there it is. There's a bomb. OK. Good punish. That's yeah, a that'll do it. Strong move right there. This is, however, even. Doodle Bob can't just waft him. He does have waft right, right now. now, yeah. Uh-oh. Grab. Oh, he tried to kill him. It's 17. Good ledge trapping. Let's see what he does with the boomerang. All right, gets out of there. All right, gave up center stage there. Doesn't connect the gets second hit right from there. No tech. Oh, good tech chase. Wow, Sonom's playing this crazy game. Oh, get the hit of the boomerang. He's cooking right now. There, all right. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Wow! wow. Didn't get the second hit of the, of that might have killed if he that did get the second hit. Yeah. Move is strong. 
Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, he didn't uh -oh. use the wop. Yeah, I wonder oh, if it was the bomb. Hit him with the bike. I think Narrative just probably needs the bike. You know, being honest. He's dead. Oh, there it is. One more. San Jose State oh, he almost killed him. Time. Very intense stuff. Getting a little bit of percent back. That might come in handy. It, it might. Wario is a heavy guy. That was not safe on him. Wow. Oh, oh the anti-air. Oh, the pressure is strong. Up tilt could kill. Forward tilt could kill. Anything could kill him. Link has some strong normal. All right, Doodleball's starting to catch on. You know, he, he nares the bomb. Try to set it up. Or it Woo! Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. All right. Sonam taking it down to the Sonam. wire. They're sending in the anchor. All right, spot SSB is coming out. Good team captain consoling his player, you know. <laughs> Showed some support. Yeah, he could be tilted. His team had such a big lead. <laughs> but Sonam playing out of his mind. All right, man. let's see if spot knows the link matchup. <laughs> These two handsome dudes. They both have the hair, you know? Yeah. They both have the same hair. trying to be Sonam's friend right now. What'd you say? Spot looks so focused, he is not trying to be Sonam's friend. <laughs> he wants to take this last stock and move on to the next yeah. round. Spot's, you know, one of the, the finest players in the Senkau region. If there's anyone that could do it, it's probably him. It is him, yeah. Do you think we're going to see the Ness or the Steve? I think we're going to see Steve. I, I don't know. Maybe the last Zen was a little bit of a wake-up call for him, but, you know, yeah, I, I, I heard him difficult. say that he's planning on doing more of a dual main because a lot of majors are really banning Steve. Yeah. So I think we'll see the Steve. I do think it's still his best character. That's what it looks it like. His best character. His nest is no slouch, however. He has a very good nest as well. Yeah, very good nest. Very good nest. They both have nice smiles. Wow, look at them go. All right. All right, Frozen State, three socks. Steve, SJSU, one sock. With Sonam's link, Go. pulling through. If I'm spot, I'm mining right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Now he's eating. He's eating some steak. All right, let's wait for this count off. All right, he's in his home. But Link does have the projectiles, you know, kind of get through the blocks. Oh, dropping the combo. This must be a slow, methodical player, you know? He's, yeah. He, he will adapt to whatever, you know, little shenanigans Sonam's coming up with the bomb. Oh, wow. He's got these, like, conversions really well, though. Right, Sonam well looks, practiced. He looks to be well-versed in this matchup, you know? Yeah, definitely. That's spot. Put him in jail. Doodle Bomb. Bomb. <laughs> he saw what it did to Doodle Bomb. Here comes some damage. All right. This is not looking good. If you really want to take this and you're at this percent already, it's not looking great. No oh, way. Wow. Lives. There's a diamond. That kill screened him. I can't believe it. Oh. Good wow. Job. He almost Slide. died. These guys are messing each other up. Oh, no. Is he going to build a diamond? <laughs> He's trying to read him. I think Spot's holding the diamond just in case he loses the stock, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Be I mean, you've got time to work with at this point. Like, yeah. your lead is so comfortable. You've got 97 minutes to work with. <laughs> yeah, not oh. looking good for Sonam. Oh! Wow! And he's what a recovery! Jump. What a great recovery from Sonam. You gonna do it again? Wow! He hit the tag! Oh! Wow! Oh. Oh. All right. Here comes the diamond. But Spot has the diamond. Uh-oh, the pressure is on the right now. The pressure is on. 
But Spot, you don't want to get clowned here. If you lose this, everyone is going to clown you. Spot is a very good squash type player, though, or a crew battle player. What a grab! That's, oh, no, up, up throw would have killed him. Oh, that's it. Oh, my God. Spot was nervous. <laughs> Everybody in this menu was nervous. It really came down to the wire right if there. If he says honestly. he wasn't nervous, he was not being honest. <laughs> Spot's yeah. a great, great crew battle player, though. We saw what he did at Civil War. He beat Karama at That's Civil true. War. That's true. Yeah, and you know? three stocks to three stocks. He did yeah. that. He did that. Very good showing from SJSU. Pulling All it. Right. Wow. That was way closer than it should have been. That's going to do it with that match. It, honestly, like, that was crazy. Well, we're going to take – I'm going to take a break I'm, from commentary. I'm off as well. Uh, but you'll catch sick, me man. later. I'm Yo Mama. This is Stack. Stack. Thank you for listening. Mama. Goodbye.
battle. Steve! Lucas!
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kao. I'm joined here with Tier Ice Climbers made from Sen Cal, and we're going to be commentating the rest of this group out of the Espresso State University in New Zealand. So, we're coming into this one, losing a stock to Spot, but beating him, and now Fresno State University, they've got. They've got Crip, they've got Werner, and they've got Weapon. And then UC Davis, of course, using Ramil here, last two stocks, and then I don't remember who their last is. Yeah, I haven't paying too much attention uh, to the bracket, but when I have seen Ramil play, he's been playing really well. So. Yeah, and especially with a character like Rob, who's able to get, like, you know, Rob is big, big meme, whatever, uh, but he's able to get comboed really easily, and, you know, Meta Knight wants those ladders at, at those mid percents, but. Rob can still kill you really early, and Romeo 83% now. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna die. That back air kills really early, and Meta Knight is not a uh, heavy character. Yeah, Rob is just good at shutting down Meta Knight in his face. He's gonna get those dash attacks for his combo starters, so it's not very good. Uh, uh, yeah, he's gonna get the up there. Oh, he's gonna link two that's second one. one. And that's a big kill for Romeo. And, and, and he keeps the gyro, too. And, you know, that, could, that, could, that could be kind of big, especially when your team is up as, or your team is down as much as they are you want anything you can get yeah. and fresno state they're not going to be any more up than they already are they're up nine to nine to four eight to four technically um but you you got to find any footing you can and i think a character like rob that's really hard to fight against because like you were saying it's it's shutting you down gyro's going to keep that space laser is going to keep that space and again Holding this gyro, daring, just waiting for Ramil to come in, and what can he do? 
Vermeil just needs to minimize his interactions because neutral doesn't seem very easy. And he just blows him up in advantage state, so he just needs to hit these combo starters to get these ladders. Yeah, we're seeing a big la Oh, but he's uh, going to... Oh, that's a big up smash. Great, yeah. great call out on the dash end. I threw the gyro away, but... Playing patient, waiting here. Uh, what else can you do? Back Wait, hey, gonna send him off. 151. This is so scary if you're a meal. Yeah, uh, yeah, that back air. Run back air. All right, now whoever is left for UC Davis needs to take eight. Yeah. Um. Oh. Uh. Lemony lemons. You know, Lemony is a very good player, and I doubt that a lot of the Fresno State University players have a lot of experience with a different type of Ken because he plays slightly differently than Luna. Yeah, and Luna is like the only real yeah. like Shoto, Shoto player, player Shoto we Shoto actually player. have. It would be hella funny if this wasn't on the whole time. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna check that out. Oh no, it's on. Okay, cool. Also, shout-outs to anyone in chat. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Sad none of you could be here at Cowhouse in person, but join us virtually at twitch.tv slash MNC Smash. <laughs> yeah, no, this event's going to be sick. Very excited. To oh, no, dude, it's so stacked. Yeah, wow. how it's gonna go from there because Warner does play Kazuya and he's a very polarizing character and Ken is forced to box with him so I'm not yeah. sure. I'm and especially, to especially if you get through that like you gotta play really well or else you're gonna you know you gotta get through Crypt first and once you get through Crypt if you still have the stocks you gotta get through Warner and if you still have uh, those stocks you're going against the best Samus in Senkai. Exactly so. Alright All right, here we the go. Po the potential last Last showing we're going to see from UC Davis in the collegiate bracket here. Lemony Lemons, the Ken from, uh, I believe he's from Sacramento. I don't know. Not too sure. See him at NorCal a lot. Haven't really seen him since, like, Grin Star. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too local with the Davis scene myself, but he's out there a lot and does, does really great. Yeah, beyond the limit inside. Uh, yeah. We're seeing a strong opening through Grip here, 47%. And I couldn't imagine this matchup being, like, super easy for Ken to neutral. I... Like neutrals, I imagine, just hard because it drops big hitboxes yeah. and, and has to approach and fight. And I, I'd assume once Lemony does get in, we're going to see some decent value like there. Very there's some good, good damage, right? Uh -huh. But it, the, the issue is finding that getting in. Oh, we're going to see oh, an extension woo! here. And that's going to yeah, kill. Yeah, what, like an that. what an extension from Lemony. Yeah, wow. no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. People think they, just like Reveal, Lemony needs to try to minimize interactions and just get in. Yeah, and again, like, the thing with Ken is you can't not overextend against him. You have to know when you, you're picking your openings, and you have to know when you can really overwhelm him. Because if you pick a spot where it's not good for you to, oh, to hit those buttons, you might die. Crit barely going to live there. 83% trying to get any stock here. Oh, oh what a call yeah, out. What a call wow. out. What a call out. Yeah, and... I think that was just a lot of lemony. That was, yeah, he, he got in He got in once for a stock, and that was all yeah, he really needed. Yeah, like we were saying, that neutral, it looked annoying because we just saw so much gyro, so Big much laser. Bucks. Kept yeah. getting hit by Nair. And then as soon as we saw, like, a down tilt, there was yeah. some kind of extension there. You know, Ken loves it when people pick up uh, Panic and options. Schleim actually just be infamous and trippy off That's doubles. insane. So yeah, we're gonna see Warner come in. 
Uh, I'm not too surprised by this. Just keeping Weapon as the anchor, I think, is a very safe bet. Yeah. Got that player with the experience. Weapon's used in those high tense situations. But Werner is no joke either. Oh, Honestly, been doing a lot better in Sinkal as of late. Uh, Kazuya main out of Fresno. Yeah, no, I can really see this going either way. Three, two, Just because of how be careful how he is. Go. But... I don't know, he does have some experience, oh, but that's a good start. A triple up. Sharking him, yeah. Something you don't ever see from Kazuya. Hey, the 30%. Rare, the rare cause shark. He's got 10 each up air. Yeah, what are you doing to not pick panic options? Because Kent loves to lose air dodges. If he keeps doing those at mid percent, he's going to get Yeah. And we saw that roll in, like right here. Oh, that was a bad oh, roll again. Oh, that was really good. You can't be rolling in again there, but I think the first time we saw it, that was good patience. He's waiting on the options, and that's going to kill. Big confirm coming out from yeah. Lemony, and that's a huge, that's a monumental first stock if, if we're going to see a big comeback from Davis here. Yeah, Lemony is waiting for a lot of amount of space, and Ford is just a realized that he's trying to do with that. Yeah, but again, same thing we saw with, I think it's the same thing we're going to see with these next couple of characters. Lemony has three stocks. Now, we saw it from Rob. Rob, Kazuya, and then Samus after this. All three of those characters have some pretty great kill power. So Lemony really has to get something going like right here. 90% yeah. already onto Werner. We gotta see if Werner can get some kind of stock here. Oh, that's such a bad air dodge. Oh. Aww. Needs to stop with the air dodges. Oh, that's good. That's gonna be an upbeat. Okay, yeah, okay. Dead. Werner gets a stock. Worst case scenario, weapon can still clean, but yeah. it is Gazia. One good interaction could be a stock. Yeah, for sure. And like you were saying, I do think it's big for just to get a stock here in general. I'm trying to get another call out there. But I mean, just getting that stock in general, you're, you're giving weapon a character, a player like weapon and a character like Samus, the, the momentum he needs. And maybe you're giving him a little bit more. We're getting 65% onto Lemony already. Lemony picking a couple, picking a couple of these options that yeah. are confusing me a little bit. Oh, but they're no, we're just rolling, rolling right into it. Yeah, Lemony's waiting. His patience is so good. Oh, oh, oh! No oh, way, no punish. Oh, oh, no way. Misses it again, oh, and that's gonna kill. Him. He's too nervous. He's too nervous. Well, well, we're not gonna ace on. Let's say University still has a stock lead. Yeah, we saw we just saw a little bit of nerves coming out from Warner at the end there, I think. Yeah, it was it was it was a scramble. Some you know, panic I options. Really... We saw Rage Drive come out a couple of times and then some bad spots. And now we're gonna see Weapon coming up on stage to play Lemony. Weapon last crew battle did so so very so well, good. He took eight well. stocks starting. And I think uh I think that he he has what it takes to close it out for sure, uh -huh. but Lemony is just playing so well right now, and you know, Weapon Weapon's an experienced player. Uh -huh. Maybe he doesn't get nervous like that, but we have seen him get nervous for sure. I don't know if this is going to be one of those moments where he does, but I think the player with the better composure here is going to be the one that wins. Yeah, because Lemony's going to have momentum too. He's in the middle of mounting a huge comeback for his team. So it all really just depends on the first few interactions of like this first dog go. Yeah, and especially with both of these characters, you don't want to be uh -huh. making mistakes against exactly. them. Exactly. All right, last game of the Fresno State University UC Davis crew battle. This one could really go either way. Weapon's gonna go in with one stock lead. We're gonna see where we go from here. Three, two, one! All right, last match, here we go. Yeah, Weapon does have some a good amount of head experience. Yeah. And I mean, you're playing Samus, you're up a whole stock, and you're playing to win. Just play safe. Yeah, no, literally, that's all he has. You've got 98 more minutes. Exactly. Uh-oh. No, he has no jump. jump. He oh! Has jump. That was such a bad jump. Those are those options. You cannot pick those Can't options. Ken will blow you up. There's no reason to be jumping there either. Exactly. Especially, especially with those kind of airtight combos. If you're jumping, you're going to get caught by a big button, and then you're out of a jump. What else are you going to do? You exactly. jump there, and you're still off stage. You're still caught. Just eat the combo, find a way out, and then get back to ledge safe. Weapon still has a lead, though. You just need to control neutral and just take those one stock at a time. Ah, that was a really good focus. Die. That, that, that. that was some really good awareness. Yeah. I thought weapon was way higher percentage. Yeah. 
Whoa! She's not get hit by that. No. Alright, weapon should recognize that Mummy's feeling more confident with call outs, and he should be playing more reserved now. Yeah, weapon just waiting. He's just tapping oh, that short there shot. Is, there it is. Great conditioning. That was, that was some good. amazing conditioning for yeah. weapon. We just saw that we just we just saw more and more of those mini charge shots coming out. And he was just waiting for his opportunity. Oh, Great DI, yeah, yeah, not gonna die yet. Weapon is you know, Samus is really heavy. Weapon just has to look really patient here. Oh, He's still gonna DI look on the show you. Oh, oh, that's that's on the ledge, but last stock even game for both players. Maybe we'll see some weapon high jinx here. Yeah, just Back trying to get in. It, it's, really it's, just which, there. it's really just which player gets put in the corner first. Oh, that was a bad charge shot. Yeah. Sonic. Weapon's trying to get center back. It's so hard though. Ah, uh, he overextended. Oh. He gets he gets centered. He's that was a bad that was a bad decision by Lemony. Oh uh, no. Both these players just flubbing a little bit. You really don't want to be stuck in the corner here if you're either player. Oh, the charge uh, shot's gonna that was, miss. That was a good neutral get up. Very scary. But time to break. That's a, that's, that's, that's a good opening. Oh, he missed the tag. Oh, oh, he falls out. He falls out. But he's hit away from dying. Oh. He lives. He lives. He lives. Oh, oh Lemony's going to get the back air. And that's wow. going to take it. And wow. Lemony taking eight stocks Lemony to bring it all the back. way back for UC Davis. And they are heading to the collegiate finals here at the Cow House. Wow. Yeah, wow, what a, what a showing from Lemony. Man, Fresno Davis was, er, Fre Fresno, Davis. Fresno, you know, Fresno State was definitely, uh, they were a big favorite for this tournament for sure, uh -huh. um, for, the, for the collegiate tournament. They were the three seed. Um, but with the with the with the star power players you had on Fresno State's team, it's not a shock if you said you know I could see them winning. Yeah. But UC Davis and UC Santa Cruz are going to be heading up to the stage for finals now, and this is going to be a good one. Santa Cruz I think came in as the one seed. A lot of great players over on Santa Cruz's end, uh -huh. and then going to be going against Davis. We just saw Lemony with a great performance and. I think this is gonna be this is gonna be as yeah. Paul would say, this is gonna be one for the books. It would be. It would be. Dude, they can see us, Lou. Yeah, that's me, that's me. That's us? Oh. That's him. I'm really glad we have two stages, one for ult, one for melee. I think that's really cool. Hell is well, my pool is already. I'm so I'm just wait. I should probably warm up because I have not played today yet. Yeah, no, which pool are you? Uh, I don't know.
you're good. Okay. Dude, I just found out my character has negative edge. That's so insane. Because Nana reads the input when you let go of the B button. Wow. For this desync, that's so sick.
Super Double, like, none of my tweets except this one. And, like, I know this is a good tweet, but, like, come on, man. I post some other bangers. Still going on? Uh, yeah, like I said, finals. I thought that they just won. I thought someone just won. Yeah, well, they won that set. It's oh, just that. Oh wow, people went crazy for that. Wow. I thought that looked. That reaction looked like the end of the tournament. <laughs> people, we are not on yet, are we? So can we? Can we hear them? I don't know. I have no idea. Ask crack. Yeah, I'll try and keep it on the low. Thank you to our sponsors, Sankow Standoff. That's the only one that matters. Gamer Genesis. I'm a gamer. Oh, hella gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm gaming. Game Lab Smash. Every Friday. Is what? Is it local? I guess. Jesus. 96 players per local? Lucky yeah. Jazara. I don't know. I like how Weapon Hella looked at me like I was stupid when he was like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we need, we need more goals uh, not up there because he's doing top eight. And I'm like, oh, you want to walk up though? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, and I'm, and I'm like, why can't he come with me then? And he's like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? Like, what's the, I don't understand the explain. problem. Like, I don't get the problem with him going, like, with me and him going on early. Like, what's wrong with that? I think they just want to have a unique pair every time. I guess. Like, I'm okay with, be, with commentating earlier without Alan. Oh, can the game? So, whatever. Oh, game. I'm just sitting here waiting for instructions. I 
think uh, I did see this like sword player here on the M recently uh, well uh, against Spot in like a player sense at least. So I, I've got a feeling that like uh, even though you and I are not gonna know too many of these players, I have a good feeling that uh, they'll at least be able to compete at a pretty solid level here oh, yeah. the main finals. Definitely, definitely. Now we already have a whole stock here. Like that was a crazy first stock, honestly, and now we're going to see more momentum in pushes here on the second stock as soon as he gets his first hit. He's getting that first hit. Yeah, right? I mean, even Corrin being like a slower character, still boasting that range, like it's not going to make Kirby really have to slow down the reverses. Yeah, the most, you're, you're getting like what, like a run in reverse upfield on like a jump read, right? Yeah, I mean, you get so much off that. That oh, no. oh, great oh, hit. Man. Corrin definitely showing. Uh, that's always been something I really like, by the way. Like, it's like a kill option. Yeah. That thing just kills. That's nice. I, I think I like the way they, they balance the in this game. For sure. I agree. A lot better. Yeah, it's a lot more specialized in this game, but it, it's really good at what it does. But it's not going to do everything for you like it's my favorite. Platform pressure. Like Kirby. Kirby fights his way out, though. Like the juggling. Kirby gets a little lamp. But he gets a parry into the grab. That's really surprising, though. Not really using uh, as many like as many of Kirby's jumps as you generally see. Because a lot of Kirby's like that, right? They kind of stall high after they get hit. It's gonna be a fun guessing when they're on the ball, right? Mixing up that landing, but he just wants to get right back down as soon as possible. Yeah. yeah. Very grounded approach though, which I mean I do like from Kirby. I, he literally jumps as I say that. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, wow. <laughs> that definitely wasn't intentional, but I thought it was fun. I feel like the ledge is uh, nice back here. The ledge is where it gets really hard for Kirby, I feel, right? Yeah, definitely. On the, on the, the defensive here. Uh, back in the neutral, going to out range, catch the jump. Yeah, both players taking the neutral really slow. Probably not just because they want to take as many stocks as possible for the crew, but also because I feel like the matchup's going to be great now, right? 100%. Kirby's just trying to fight his way in on Corrin, but Corrin's going to keep trying to catch up with the options. Yeah. And that's going to be another that. stock. Really you see Davis pulling ahead here in our final game. For a final one of those Back there, man. We're gonna even things up here. Ooh, no catch in the air dodge there. Again, with that oh, yeah, low Kirby profile. Too short. Yeah, he's too small. I like the walk. It's slow. Bates with Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Oh, this could be it. Uh oh, uh oh. Down tilt, down air. Oh, 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 he got the mashed off the oh, up there. Oh, my God. Wow. Good grab, back there, I'll keep him off stage now. Oh no, no uh, bullet smash there? That's a big commitment to go for in a situation like this. What a dead even game, good forward yeah. tilt. Yeah. See, this is kind of bad, right? Because Kirby hits you, and you're at disadvantage. He's got good buttons. Kirby on the offensive here, gonna not catch oh, the neutral get up. Safe. It's all safe, oh, you can't do anything! I caught his jump, he's dead. Yeah, he's gone. Oh no, he ended the Great stuff. Great stuff there from BDJ. Wonderful. Hey, you know, we're really lucky, by the way, that since we got sent here late, we're really lucky that both players actually had in-game tags that are their tags. Yeah, right? We're and really that, lucky, because yeah, that does not happen. Because I know for a fact that DTR's tag today is Munch. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, where is Give me one sec. I'm just gonna keep them off. I guess so, yeah. Like, What's the point? I just yeah. need a mic. I need to be able to hear what you're saying. Three, two, one, 
Ooh, Ramil. Let's go, Ramil. I love Ramil. Oh, dude, who doesn't love Ramil? We love, I didn't know he's playing Meta Knight now. Yeah, so Ramil, kind of known as um, as Senkao's uh, local counter picker, right? Uh, he used to uh, start off maining Isabel, then he switched to Me Brawler for a while. He played now, for Ninja too, right? Uh, yeah, um, and he's always had the Meta Knight as like a friendlies character. Now he's kind of decided to uh, bring it up as like basically his main, but you'll definitely still see him counter pick from time to time. Okay. But I'm uh, not surprised that he stuck it out with Meta Knight here for Cruz. For sure, for sure. Classic lore battle here as well. Oh yeah. Only one stock for Kirby, so it's gonna be a little bit lopsided. Yeah, Meta Knight's was also doo doo. Is it really? Hey, I, dude, I don't know what Meta Knight does, I'll be honest. I mean, he's just like, I mean, you're, both your characters are the same size, right? So like, Meta Knight's sword being small doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's still and, gonna like, outrange Kirby. You're faster than Kirby, you've got disjoints. <laughs> Good up there from Wes Yeah. 100% here on BDJ already. Hit by the forward, so we send him off stage. Let's grab whips there. Well, likes oh, to wow. fight his way out the corner a lot. It works out in his favor. Yeah, right? Well, I mean, like, that's, like, debatably Kirby's only strong attribute, right? Yeah, his is, tilts, like, his, his grounded moves. Yeah, and honestly, not just his tilts. Mainly his frame data in general is overall pretty strong. So, I mean, like, putting a bunch of buttons out there to kind of create that wall can definitely be a useful tactic. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The rough spot. He's doing a great job mixing up his recoveries, though. Oh, I mean, yeah. He's definitely not having a hard time edge getting, but there's the back air. <laughs> yeah. That last hit. You know what I think is hilarious? What? Big Romeo. Uh, Big Romeo is pretty good. I like that. I just looked up and saw it. I wow. like Big Romeo a lot. You guys can't see, but then we have uh, a big flat screen in front of our yep. booth here. Right in front of us. And then yeah. just the player and cam's right in our face. There is Big a, Romeo. Yeah, directly <laughs> up and to my right, there is a huge Romeo. And that is pretty great. Huge fan of that. Huge Look at Romeo, guys. You got to love him. Who we got coming up next here? No signal. That's who we got coming up next. Wow. All right. Who are we gonna see? I don't know who this is, to be honest. I don't know Santa Cruz uh, people, sadly. Yeah, literally. But the Twitter tag will change and then I'll know. Plum! Oh, this is Plum! Oh, I, this I is have Plum. to I gotta play this guy round two okay. if I win my first one. For sure. Alright, I gotta download some stuff then. I gotta download some information. Gotta download some RAM. Get your notepad out. I'll call <laughs> the game for both of us. Hell yeah, dude, I got it. Making the tag. All right, what, what are we gonna see? What's your prediction? Who does Plum play? I'm thinking a guy like Plum. I'm thinking like either like a low tier or like a really silly, like annoying top tier. So like I'm thinking like either like we, we're, we're ranging anywhere on the spectrum of like Min Min to Dr. Mario. Min Min to Doc. I got no idea. I'm gonna go in the Min Min direction. You think so? I think he's gonna play like Sephiroth or Min Min or Sonic or like any of those really. I think that I think there is a pretty good chance of a, a, a silly low tier coming out too. Oh yeah. Maybe a me sword fighter, a dog, right, a Ganon. The, the big reveal. Meta yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yoshi. You're gonna have fun with that in bracket. I'm so, I'm distraught. His, Mr. Mr. Kazuya. His smile and optimism gone. Wow. <laughs> oh well. Okay. okay. Did Ramil oh, lose any stocks last game? No, right? No, he did not. We're just so, gonna go straight into yeah, it. Yeah, we're right into we're it. Fresh off the bat here, three new stocks for both players in this uh, silly little scrambler matchup. Dude, okay, are Yoshi's using egg roll now because of that I don't new know, thing? Dude. I mean, like that new tech was found a while ago. He's dead. Like I'm gonna be honest, the bad ones like always did it, right? Well, so yeah, like, but like now know. it has use quotation marks. Yeah, right. So it's like people are gonna be like, oh, I knew it was gonna go wrong. It has, it has potential, bro. It's the Shulk argument over, yeah, all over right? again. I love Meta Knight just hitting there at the ledge. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Meta Knight just gets to hit whatever he wants, really. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and then incredible. Yeah, down smash, dude. Wonderful. A bit of neutral here. That Nair out of shield is going to take 10 years off my life, I swear to God. Tries to go for the roll oh, wow. read. Not quite there. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Gave up a little bit too much space Whoa! There. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. That really shield breaks from full if we can get a hit where he drops off the next level. Yeah. That's one stock for Plum. Another one coming. Ramil really has to let, really has to close this out here. But Yoshi's really heavy, so it's not going to be easy. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Dimensional kick. That was solid. Let's see that option a lot. See, it's tough because while, while Meta Knight is like strong in the air, right? Like Yoshi is like one of the most aerial-based characters in the uh -huh. entire game. So it's it's going to be really hard for a character like Meta Knight to actually get a combo starter. Yeah, definitely. Great avoidance there by Plum. 
Oh, okay, good coverage. Oh, yeah, that got, goes first really cut. Killed, wow. Yeah, I think he might have caught a bit sour DI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Still right. holding out from the roll. Oh, huge F smash. 20%. 20% one frame active and completely lagless. Oh, yeah. That's not funny, the toothpick move. Um, it has up, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, stage. Stage. Ooh, yeah. oh, it did not catch the double jump. Oh, he don't have a double jump. Yeah, jab hitting under the ledge like that is huge. Whoa, barely. Wow, didn't kill, okay. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I, I mean, so what do you do, right? What do you do? Yeah. Yoshi goes out there and he's just floating next to you. is not bad though. That's not that's, no, a, that's not a pretty standard showing. Can't be upset with taking three stocks off. Okay. I don't remember this player's tag, but I know that I know this is a costume. But I did see them play when we were walking. It's not Werner, is it? No, no, no. Werner is Blaine's brother. That's Blaine's brother. This yeah. guy also plays Kazuya? Yes. Why are there so many Kazuyas? Ambulance. I don't know. You're one of them. I was the first one. Yeah, wow. The guy said I did it before. It was cool. I did. <laughs> I did. I picked up Kazuya before everyone knew how broken he was. Wow. And I've been surpassed <laughs> quite yeah, far. I mean, hey man, it happens. Oh well. Listen, I'm not movie, grinding. I, I, be, I became Seth Kell's first Sonic, and then Smax was like, Erm, I used to play this character, time to go back. And then Ezdog was like, Erm, I'm gonna put the Seth Kell's first Sonic. Yoshi! People don't get it, man. People don't understand how long it like, a to be different. True. Trails? Oh, this, oh no, we got another Trails fan. Trails fan. Trails uh oh, fan. Trails fan. Where's Miracles? Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is one stock for Kazuya against the Yoshi. He's got this. He's got this. Nav Navalan. Navalance. Yeah, Interesting. Navalance. Interesting tag. One. I like it. Go. I mean, this is, this is hard. This has to be hard. This matchup? Yeah. Yeah, even. No way. Even, yeah. Like, I, I get you have Electric, and that's, like, the best anti-air in the, the thing, world, right? The thing but about this matchup is, like, Yoshi can mash. He's got he's got frame one armor on double jump, which is annoying, but, like, it's really manageable. All my hitboxes meet, meet Yoshi. That's yeah, the most, what about that, though? That's, what the about most, that? that's the most annoying thing about this matchup, but as long as my combos are clean, he can't get out. Like, Yoshi's the most aerial based character in the game, but Kazuya has the best anti air in the game. I get it. So it's like, yeah, oh, oh my god. I like the, ooh, I like oh, the he's dead. the up smash there, yeah. Hella dead. This should be a simple edge though. Wow. Doesn't even have the distance. I'm scared. <laughs> you just need one hit, because Yoshi's so heavy, you can actually, you can finish your combos way later against him. Yeah. So if you get, if he gets electric Nair uh, while rising here, that's the end of the game. No way, I thought he got the best. Don't double jump. He's double jump up I, I gotta stop, I gotta stop criticizing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, up till just went straight for the electric. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're in Lunarian here, right? Or whoever is in that, I don't know why it's that Lunarian. I read it, and I was like, that's his tag, but it's not. If you're Plum here, like, you're going, like, you're already satisfied, right? So it's yeah, like, no, you're, you're happy. Just, Anything you're, just, you're just pushing. Like, Extra you're, credit, yeah. You're just like, alright, let's there try it. Is. Yeah. Oh, no great, up, great DI. Wow, really good by Plum. That's super crazy. There it is. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you're not living that. 
All right, he took an extra stock. That's yeah. four for Plum. That's like he right, secure that lead, and this is where it can snowball. That's great. That's a great lead for Plum there. Because like I think I think the strat here, right, is like you put in like your hot player, mm -hmm. like you, like your number one guy. I think you send him here. No, you put you in your min min. You put in your Sonic right now. <laughs> I don't think they got that. Damn. You put in the one of four. But you put up. You put in your weapon raid right now. Yeah. Weapon raid. Wait, no, he's Davis. Weapon raid's Davis. Either way, you put in whoever is the most likely to body this guy, right? Like whether it's based on matchup or whatever, yeah. and then. You know, you get your big lead, right? Someone who's like hella aggressive that can continue to smother. Like you need to smother this character and by extension the player. Yeah. I gotta say, it's a lot tougher to talk about a group battle when we don't know the boss. I agree. I fully agree. <laughs> we're, we're making it work. Yeah, we are. We are. We're making it work. We got it. So we got we Weiss, Weissa? 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 I don't know. I'm gonna say Weissa. Weissa or Weissa. One of those. They have to have some strategy here that I'm not aware of, so we gotta see the character pick. Yeah. Oh, he's pulling up with the Smash Ultimate Pro Controller. Yeah, he's, and he's, he's dedicated. He's committed to the game. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Remember when the Smash Ultimate Switch dock came out and it was disappointed? I, I, I don't like I, I know what you're talking about if you said it, but I. I, I exactly. I didn't like it. I that was really boring. Yeah, I mean, I don't care about opening. I'm not buying another Switch. Real. That's so real. I, I have a Switch. I, I don't need it. I was going to say that the other thing that I was going to say that also includes the word that's real. But, uh, I can't say one of those words right now. <laughs> it, it was real. It's real no matter yeah, what. That was some real stuff. It's still real. Yeah. So real. It's still, it's still super real, yeah. Rainbow Cruise. Aww. Oh, uh, it's hot. Hot stick. Alright, who we got? Who we got? Who's coming out? Oh no, we had to make a tag. We had time for this. <laughs> You're putting me to sleep, bro. I want to see you play the game. I don't have the words to fill in the time right now, please. Look, he's laughing. He thinks it's really funny, too. It is. <laughs> oh. Uh, the no, sad no, crowd see, pleaser. Yeah, see but, now, see, but now he knows that we said that, so he's sad. True, true. Yeah, he totally knows. Remember, guys, we have a lot of influence over the game as commentators. Yep, yep, 100%. Commentator's curse is real. That's true. That's so real. Oh, dude, look at Nando like stretching. He's hella ready. Oh, he's getting ready, bro. He's doing oh, the electric he IRL. Ah, shake it out. Oh, that's gross. Don't do that. <laughs> Aw. Stop the battle. Do it again. Do it again. Robin? Oh! Oh, God. Another annoying matchup. Whenever, remember when I said find someone who can smother the character? No, never mind. This is the opposite. We're gonna be, we're, this is gonna be a long two stocks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But thankfully, I've got things to say for days because not only are you and I such good friends, we're also great friends with the one and only Peachy Vision. Peachy Vision. The best Robin mate to ever touch the sticks. Yep, I know this. Oh, he charged. Oh. Wow, wow, yeah, he cheated. He charged early. Okay, yeah. Let's see, we can see if, uh, if the balance can hear, can, can uh, so get through is, the projectiles. So this is one of the few matchups, right, where Robin's arc fire actually becomes kind of like a dominating force in neutral. Yep. Because Kazuya cannot jump. <laughs> no, he cannot. And you, if you reflect it, it does nothing. So why try? Yeah, right? So it's like you get to use arc fire in neutral, right? And save it. Oh, oh. Oh. What? No flip set? I like how the second Kazuya touches his opponent. Oh, well, yeah, no, that's how the character works. It's so funny. But yeah, you get to use Arc Fire in neutral, right? Against Kazuya. Yeah, what does that, he do here? That lets you preserve your thunder, and then you're, you just have such a strong neutral person, uh -huh. right? A lot of uh, Robin's aerials is kind of completely outranged, like my uh, combo starter as well. I say my, like, my boy. It's so real. Yeah, it's, just, it's so hard to get in on her. Yeah. Oh, this could be bad. Okay. Nah, I'll be good for the No level. Yeah. No level. No oh, oh no! He had no jump. That's actually, you know, like since you're Kazuya, right, and you take such advantage of being so heavy, SDing there is actually a bigger deal that's than huge. Yeah, no, that's huge. Hey oh, yo! Wow. Oh, oh! Big laser. Do it again. Oh. Another one. Down smash. Oh. oh yeah, that felt like a down smash. Oh, that was good tech. Yeah. Well done. I like the FB edge guards he goes for. Ooh, oh, that's, that's gonna reflect, but he still gets the hit. That'll kill at some point. Just like everything else. <laughs> Gotta find one good hit. Yeah, 
I'm gonna force to play the ground game a little. Uh, oh, big arc that's fire. huge. That's huge, huge damage. Yeah. Oh, pressure, yes, he's down. Ah, oh, there we go. I like that mix up, that's nice. He's been getting a lot of mileage off of that. Yeah, down B is such a busted move. I love that move. Alright, see. So you know how it goes. Kazi needs one to hit, etc, etc. There it is. Oh, okay, is this gonna be it? Oh, no, no, he went for the firm step this time. So see, that's the mix up with firm step. Oh, yeah, hold up. Right. No, he didn't land. See, that's the mix-up. You, yeah, you just right, drop your combo if you go for that other DI off the platform. Yeah, right. Get back the, there. When you get yeah. hit by electric, you have the choice to DI away from the platform. Yep. So then Perp's Tech just loses. It, it's a 50-50. Perp's Tech is a 50-50 on the Gauzius part, and it, that's why I like that tech. That's right. why I think that tech is actually kind of healthy. It's yeah. really good. It covers everything, but you have the chance to just completely miss it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, though. That's going to be our Kazuya Navalence here. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He's gonna be taken out here. Who we got coming up? Yeah. I don't know any of these people. Oh look at that, we got lemony lemons. I was why I, I did oh, see a little bit of this Yeah, I did see a little bit of this guy earlier. Ka they had to. I'm so glad they brought the Ka no, not Kazuya Mirror. I'm sorry, they have two Kazuyas on their team. That's crazy. That's crazy. They do, they do. But they're really gonna subject another Kazuya to the Robin matchup. <laughs> That's fine. It's definitely a matchup you can overcome. Uh, it's just annoying. And I'm always down to talk more about Kazuya. The only character I know anything about. <laughs> the character I know the most about, at least. I saw you playing earlier. You have a tag. Come on. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're switching sides. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that makes sense. Real nice for us. You know? Oh no, it's Ken, not Kazuya. Yeah. I thought it was Kazuya. I'm gonna be honest, I was like, I was afraid to correct you because I was like, wait, I thought he played Ken, but I was like, uh, he might, I don't know. I saw Werner fighting him earlier and then they were swapped, so uh, that's why I was confused. But still. No, you didn't see Werner, you saw. I saw Navalance. Oh my god, dude. I can't get it so all in my head. All the Kazuya players are the same, I guess. All yeah, FGC we all blend together. All FGC players in general are the same. Yeah, we all blend together. They're all cheaters. <laughs> Ken, Ken, in my opinion, the weakest of all the FG characters, but can still do a lot of good work. We saw him maybe doing some work earlier. I, I, I mean, I, I like the Ken, like, as opposed to you against Robin, I feel, right? Mm -hmm. Because, like, you have that slightly better approach. Yeah, you're just, uh, Ken's going to keep that advantage. He's going to smother Robin a bit more, and those uh, those uh, close quarters oh, punishes very... are better. Lots of tech chase. That up air is incredible. I think Ken's up air is way better than these two. It is really All the projectiles here. It's going to be way easier for Ken to get in on Robin than Mr. Kazuya, but still a bit hard. Nice roll on the arc player. That's so crazy that that just like gets you in on that. Our is so bad. Where are you oh, going? Uh, no! That's really sad. That's huge. That's really bad for them. They're, they're what? Two stocks up now? Oh, nice. Three? Okay, there we go. Whoa, that's not oh, what he yeah, wanted. That that was, yeah, definitely. Well, good up air out of pressure here. Oh, oh good air dodge Hey, yo, that damage. Yeah, Robin damage is crazy, man. You get that one read on the air dodge. Yeah, here's the mini game. Yeah, Cue the Mario grab. Party music. The Thoron is coming, by the way. There it is. There good it block. Is. Hold up. Nah, you guys out. Good knock for Atu there. Yeah, that's huge, because that keeps you a little bit out of cheese percent. Lightning Sword back online, got a huge up air here. The aerial smash attack, they're doing a lot of work here for Lysa. Yeah, what is this stock here? This is actually... Another Nosferatu. Refunding oh, there it is. Oh, wow, Lysa's is really, like, just keeping that momentum and pulling ahead. Pretty much a whole uh, character of, uh, ahead right now. Uh, this is that one. He's got the book in hand, though. No, wrong way, brother. Wrong yeah, way. That's really interesting. Okay, this is really. Ooh. No, oh, jump no, wow. Jump. Great jump read. That's he, crazy. Wysel also thought that he was going to get shield broken there, but that was a really good catch by Lemony. Yeah, wow. That's so crazy, dude. The, the, like, this character can really do like traditional mix ups on you. Yeah. It's so funny. Oh, yeah. The shield pressure that Ken exerts is incredible. His shield pressure is so good. Oh, yeah. 
All right, next up for Santa Cruz here, we're gonna be seeing a guy that I know, I definitely know, I swear. Yeah. This hurts on my neck. <laughs> wow. They're too big, dude. All right, whatever, that's good enough. Oh, he got the Goku shirt. Goku Black shirt, oh, I think. Fun. That's Goku Black, right? Uh, that's UI, like actually. No, that's not UI, that's black. Is it? Yeah, I can yeah, tell. Yeah, it's black, yeah. You know more than I do. Ah, okay. Oh. I'm a TO. I'm at the TO desk. Wow, wow, wow. Stop battle. Right, who we got? Who we got coming in? Da da Dagam Dagamer. Dagamer. Okay. Got some interesting tags up there at Santa Cruz. I don't know, they're kind of raw though. I like them. Yeah, they're all right. They've got like a mysterious sound to them. True. They got that D and D sound. Yeah, they're not great. Okay. That's what matters. All these people played on the setup in the last rounds? I have no idea, dude. Honest, I guess they, not. I don't think so. so it has to be like one group to make it to three. I guess Unless, so. Like, some members might not have had to come out. Yeah, true. <laughs> I will say, this is a really good idea for now. It is. I, I like it. It's a good way to talk about it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> is that how you pronounce that? Collegiate? I've been there, I've been yeah, saying it colleg colleg it. Is that what that is? Yeah. I've never seen this word in my life. <laughs> Joker. Okay. Unless we see nothing but down gun, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> Joker is cool. Campy Joker is not cool. We got what? Only one more stock here for Lemony. That happened? Yeah, when? What tournament? <laughs> yeah. All right, jumping right into this, playing some neutral here, throwing out the e the Ahas, trying to get as much damage as he can to start off. Lemony really just wants to find one hit and snowball. DP. Yeah, that's a risky DP out of shield, but the platforms definitely help. Good bit of damage there. Jump, yeah. Oh, you drag down. Oh, wow. Dagamer's doing a great job just trying to uh, end this as soon as possible. No back Oh, Joker's in silly mode. Oh, not quite, not quite. Good DI. See if uh, Lemony can get one more hit here. Want to try and get at least one stock. There it is. Wow, he just did it. He's crazy. This guy really said, he said he's going to run at me. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> Ooh, that's a risky dash attack. Back off stage. One dip, one back air. All right, that's tilt. Ooh, good DI. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yep. That's huge against FG characters. Disconnect your controllers. <sighs> I miss when everyone used a GameCube controller so we didn't have to deal with all the disconnections. I miss when the Pro Controller squad was rare because you had to use a Wii U Pro Controller. <laughs> Good controller, don't get me wrong, but Pro Controller is way better. The Switch Pro is way better. Who we got coming up next? This is gonna be our last person for Davis. 
They got Santa Cruz have what, two more stocks on this on this player, and then one more after this. We'll see if our last person can clutch it out here for Davis. I swear to God, if our last player is a low tier hero and they just happen to win everything, I'm I'm gonna pop off. <sighs> Mobile. Yeah. Oh, a Lucas tour? <laughs> okay. Dude, a Luke? I, I didn't know Lucas players existed. Okay, all right. Is he snake dash? Okay. Fair enough. Nah, dude, snake dashing is hype. I love snake dash. I'm excited to see what he's got to offer. I think I happened to glance and see it. I saw a Lucas player up here earlier, so I guess I must have seen him, yeah. Oh. I love Boney. That's my guy right there. Dog, dog bow. Boney might go. I just gotta get one stock off here. Right, so, I think Magnet against Side B is kind of It is, 100%. Oh, because, like, is up like three boots. Neutral air. Like, right? Dash attack, in my opinion. I think dash attack's annoying to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Already got our send. Ooh! He's got those? All right, this guy's kind of fire. Nah. Yeah, he can. That was huge. That was huge. Oh! Good stuff here for mobile. I like this guy. Deep back air. Yeah, it is. Dude, I'm getting, I'm getting shades of jumps from this, I'll be honest. I see Lucas and I get shades of jumps in general, but like I see like the tech he's doing and the deep edge guard. Right? Yeah. Come back, please. I miss you. <laughs> See if he can get at least one of this last stock without taking another one here. Yeah. Oh shit, that's huge. I like. No, nah, it's a solid move. Oh my god. RNG. Back throw, okay. One of Luke's three kill throws. Great Rebel Squad, but covers that. Good stop there for Mobile. This, this is so realistic for Mobile to take now. Like, losing that first stock was kind of rough, but two to three, that's not that bad. Mobile can definitely just get some momentum going on the first stock and then just take the whole thing here. Oh, yeah, like, dude, if he gets, like, one good cheese stock, that means a lot. Yeah. And Lucas is pretty good at cheese stock. All right, our last player here for yeah, UC Santa really Cruz. Awesome. It does, it really does. I'm excited to see who we got here. Nest Boy! Nest Boy! I, forgot Nest Boy goes to I also forgot that he was even here. I see this guy on Fresh Cut and TikTok all the time. Wow, okay, we got the PK boys as our last matchup. So suddenly this does look a bit harder. Yeah. Definitely, but we'll see what happens. These two, this is honestly a really volatile matchup. I don't know who wins. I really don't know who wins between these two because yeah. they both have uh, things to counter each other. I personally have always thought that um, it's either like even or Lucas would like slightly better. Really? Lucas does seem to have a bit of uh, extra range uh, and his magnet being away from him seems better for neutral as well. The big thing to me is that I think Lucas has much better tools than neutral. Yeah. Things like down tilt, jab, yeah. forward tilt. That plus his like movement and like the fire being better for zoning is mm -hmm. like that, right? Like 
Yeah, but Ness is using Magnet overall way more, and so I bet he's probably he's gonna focus on, on nullifying PK Fire a lot, so he misses out on that option. Wait a second. I I need both. I need all of these stocks to be taken by them getting each other off stage and then Magnet their PK Thunder. I love when that happens. That's so funny. That, that is a very realistic outcome. It is. 1990X. I love the tag he uses. Direct Earthbound reference. Love that. All right. They are swapped, so just keep, I, they are they are not on the right sides here. Just letting everyone know we are swapped here. Got to take one off Lucas here. We got two stocks for Mobile against three stocks on Nest Boy. This is it. This is our last game. Hey, immediate snake dash. <laughs> yep. Got to make something happen as quickly as possible. Oh, this stage too. Ness's pressure on the platform. The striking with up air is going to be way stronger than Lucas's. Definitely, I see what you're saying there. And, uh, Mobile really have, seeming to have a tough time here getting this, last, this first stock off. There we go, there it is. Helping him out with the curse. <laughs> last stock here for Mobile though, see if he can get a little bit more going. But Nestboy with these clean edge guards. Okay, hold on, ah, uh, nice way out. There it is, there it is, yep. Great stuff there. Santa Cruz taking that one over Davis. Nespo, they had they kept Nespo in the back pocket. Yeah, I mean smart choice, right? Very they they, smart. They they were up, so we're like, okay, we don't we don't need to throw out our heavy Uh-huh. We can safely complete the game. And that's exactly what happened. Everyone's shaking hands, fist bumping, and they get a trophy too. Really good play on both sides You see you see Sad handing Nespo a trophy there. Yeah, great stuff from both sides. I didn't know we had a trophy here for this as well. Yeah, me neither, that's awesome. That's cute. That's, that's the cow house. Man, they really went all out with this event. Shout out to everyone running everything today. Right, like, you, got, you gotta love when Sim Cal gets a hand on, on some good production value. This is such a nice event. I really didn't expect this much. I thought we, this would be a lot smaller of an event, but man, I'm thoroughly impressed. It's nice because it still feels like a Sim Cal. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? 100%. It still feels very um, standard for our region. That's a great. That's a great feeling. Having it like an event of this quality be standard for us is we've come we've come so far. Yeah, hundred percent. And you can tell like all of our local players like even though there's a lot of people here that you don't know, like personally, you know, like they're they're very like excited that they're all here. Mm hmm Almost two hundred people at this event today. Yeah, about hundred and sixty you said for ultimate singles. Yeah, one sixty six I believe. Without dropouts. I don't know if we're gonna have any how many dropouts we'll have. That's true. You never know. So I believe we're gonna have a double starting now. Um, we'll probably be taking a quick break if I had to assume. Don't really have that much communication up here, but um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna just uh, be taking a quick break here, do a couple ad ad rolls. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go play some more friendlies, get ready for singles. So I think I'm gonna sign out. Yeah, honestly, I, I might do the same. I, I I don't know what pool you're in, but I'm in the earliest possible one. I'm in B1, so I got some time. Yeah, I'm A1, so I need friendlies expeditiously. Yeah. All right, but, man. Uh, you'll see more of us both later tonight. Yeah, I'll be kicking off top eight with Buddy Miracles. They'll probably have you uh, somewhere in top 32, if I had to guess. I would imagine for singles, yeah. Yeah, all right. We'll see you around, guys. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. That was good. That was good. I just wish I could hear you. All right. But oh, well.
guys will excuse us for a few minutes. We're going to have a word from our sponsors. They might be able to be visit, uh, uh, audible, so just work with us for a second. We'll be back in uh, starting with Top 8 of Dubs. Thank you.
battle. Alutena, Joker.
bad for you.
battle, Steve! Snake Villager! Mario!
Yeah, I don't either. They must be from the same region, though. I've heard of Nest Boys from NorCal. Yeah, I just never heard of them. Word. All right, everyone. Yeah, yeah, we're on. This is Yo Mama and Foodie Corn on the mic. Ultimate Doubles Losers Quarters. All right, all right, Peter. What's up? Let's go. Oh, Peter, are you not here? Damn. All right, game one. Let's do. Oh, this is still best of three. Wow. Yeah. I guess it's, yeah, I guess it's only like top three or top four or whatever. This is still pretty. Uh, you got a long way to go in bracket. All right. Quite the character diversity here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, saw, I usually see, uh, oh, almost the early, early kill on the Joker. I see Salt Lord um, usually playing Donkey Kong in Sacramento. Yeah, I think Al Soda's from NorCal as well. I'm pretty sure Al Soda has been on NorCal PR several times, maybe top tens and stuff like that, but I've definitely heard their name. And Salt Lord definitely plays Donkey Kong. Sacramento has like taken sets off of D tier and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. I actually have no idea. <laughs> That's a good guess. That's a good guess. Yeah, a little less than even right there. I feel like Aegis is a really, really good double character, honestly. Like, he's got that big sword and he's on Cos KS all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Just kind of doing little 1v1s here. Try to pair that up not going to work. Oh, maybe burning a little too many resources there. <laughs> oh, dude, Yoshi, the damage output is insane on this character. You know, suddenly it's looking kind of even if you could take those stocks, you know. 70 is a little lower. If you just hold on to some, some percent, you might be good. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, especially against pictures like these. I mean, you're not going to last very long. A little stall there off stage. Wow, that air dodge is so big. Your salt is a dunk time. In fact, it's a different. Oh, I see. Salt Lord. I see. Different salt players. <laughs> Thanks for the correction in the chat. But these are uh, volume on our on our uh, in the headphones, so you can turn up the game volume. At least with the uh, this one turns up my game volume. What about you? Peter, how is that? Do I, can you hear me better? Oh, your mic is too quiet. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right, sweet. Sounds good. Sweet. Sounds good. All right, Salt Lord, Al Soda taking it. Lilac Cruz, who actually Oh, brother. For Lilac. doubles, too. This sounds yeah, I, yikes. I, I do not like Lilac. Uh, anyone who chooses Lilac. Is it's a rough stage. I just Super uncomfortable. This. Yeah. They stay the same characters. I mean, they gotta they gotta feel confident in their choices. But yeah. I I really feel like a, a better choice. Like they they have better choices because I mean Ness in against a Sortie and Joker is just not good. Yeah.
Yeah. Like Yoshi, I feel like can deal with it. He's got really good aerials, but. Yeah. Hey, maybe, maybe the live act crews will help him out. Um, maybe, yeah. With their counterfeit coming in here. You know, I see, I see Ness and Joker. I see that matchup a lot, honestly. Like in region and out of region, I feel like that's a common matchup. There's a lot, a lot of Ness players. Certainly. Wow, the F smash. That's, that's gonna be an early kill for someone yeah, like Yoshi. That's gonna, that's gonna set uh, Plum and Ness boy kind of back. They're gonna have to do yeah. something here. See. Good opportunity right there. Okay. You can get real cheeky with, with Aegis, like some moves that are generally considered to be not super safe. Like you can just throw, oh, early. Well, not, not super early, but that was a good edge guard. They kind of needed that. I mean, yeah, especially with Plum having his stock taken so early. Oh, yeah. and that's going to be another Joker. one. All of a sudden, Plum and Nesboy are in the lead. There you go. Oh. What a tag team man. All right, it's a high percent on Yoshi. And I mean, Yoshi's like deceptively heavy, but you gotta be careful someone swinging that sword around like Aegis. Just like that, oh yeah, massive back she air. That air dodge. Oh wow, the roll actually got the far enough. I, I feel like this stage was Nesboy's pick and not Plum's. Plum is like, yeah. why are we on Plum? <laughs> Oh, they are going off stage for sure. Is it back there? All right. Oh. That's gonna be an wow. Coming out from Salt Lord. I wonder if that was a miss input or not. That was crazy. It definitely felt like a miss input. All right. Oh, oh my God. Taking that other stock from Nesboy though. I mean, will it, it's there you go. Not Damn. Yeah. So one on three stocks now. Yeah. Going for the edge card. Oh, that gun almost killed him. Oh my god. All right, finding back here a little bit. I was going to say maybe Plum can do it, but he's getting edge guarded. Oh. Oh, little team <laughs> kill action, okay? Not if quite. If can get a uh, Salt Lord stock, I mean, this actually it's, could be It is definitely doable. Yoshi does so much damage. Oh, that was nice. A little safe jab one. Plum unlocking the power of gods all of a sudden. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, my God, Barely missed that up smash. Got the edge guard. Wow, that was crazy. Plum can actually take no. it Oh, pulled the trigger on the up smash. That was, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good up smash. Well, there you go. That's going to take the set. It's going to be a Spot, Carnage versus Salt Lord, and all set and All right. This will be a fun one to, to, to watch. So, um, Smooperino, which one um, which one is Salt Lord and which one is Al Soda? Al Soda, I think, is the Joker. Really? If I'm not oh. mistaken. But correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. I think Al Soda is the Joker. Okay, then maybe we weren't wrong. Maybe we were commentating that correctly. <laughs> we got T.O. T.O. Yep. on stream. Al Soto is the Joker. Salt Lord is the Aegis. Nice. Got it. All right. Team Battle. Mithra. See, I just wish I could hear you. I know, yeah. Like... That would be nice. I got one ear out here. They had it set up like that at Central Stadium. I thought that's how it was going to be here. Yeah. Who they're is both Dre yelling at Dre, get off the stream. Okay, so they're both on the lower end of NorCal PR. That's it. Okay, okay. That's great. All right, here we go. Carnage and Spot have played a lot of doubles in the past. This team is pretty broken, and they got a lot of chemistry together. Senkal versus NorCal, let's see it. Yeah, this will be a fun one to watch. Spot, I thought Spot was immediately going to go to Mining Mass. <laughs> I, I, I love seeing that. He was in a crew battle earlier, immediately just played. They were, everyone counted down, he immediately placed blocks afterwards. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, Steve. 
Gotta get those resources, man. Uh, I feel like this shouldn't be too bad for Salt Lord and Alsoda, uh, just because, I mean, they have the swords, and I know a lot of people say Steve doesn't do well against swordies. Yeah, the more range you have, that'll definitely be better to do with the blocks, and, and at least try to outrange them some, keep them out. They have options to deal with. Ooh, that was close. This block might have worked against him. Snake, on the other hand, might be a little bit of a problem. Oh, oh a little SD there. there. Unfortunate. Oh, wow. Ooh, a little bit bad on the DI there. There he goes. And they're just letting him. Dude, this match is chaos. I know, they're just on the ledge. Everyone's getting hit by something. It's crazy because it didn't look like anyone was hitting their teammate, though. Yeah. Unfortunately, right then, Carnage just blew up spot. That sucks. All right, they got a little stock lead going here. Yeah, and as, uh, as Pitbull, oh, oh my god. That was perfect timing on that down air. That was so unfortunate for Spot Carnage. They're in quite the deficit here with Salt Lord still being. Oh, never mind. That's, that's the first What a pickup, wow. All right. Yeah, they got to take that, that stock off Alsoda pretty quickly. Steve's a good character to do it. He's got to find that opening. Almost. Okay. Still had his jump. Unteckable. There you go. All right. It's super even right now. Literally out of nowhere. They, they were so... <laughs> they were in the lead by a crazy amount. Yeah. That synergy from Spot and Carnage really showing here. Oh, living. Nice. Barely surviving. Yeah, getting edge guarded by Pyra as Snake has got to be real scary. That's going to spot second stock. Carnage looking like he could lose his at any moment. Honestly, now. getting close there. Spot's getting his resources, but what they need right now is for him to take the lead and start taking some of the hits for yeah, them. They really got to save each other. Spot's like, nah, I, I don't have a diamond. I got to find it. <laughs> Oh, help your friend out. He's getting edge guarded. Oh, there you go. Great chemistry from Salt Lord now. Soda, they're picking each other up. But you know what? Steve is crazy. But he doesn't have the max. Oh, really still living. Wow. He's only got one block in his arsenal. Oh, that's not yeah, looking good. This is going to be really hard for Spot to bring it back. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez. Going for the doubles combos. That oh, he almost sick. died right there. Yeah, this is a rough spot off stage with no materials. materials. Oh, the, wooden tools. It's the, the crafting people actually extended that hitbox, too. He literally doesn't even have a pickaxe anymore. He's just <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's going to do it. Super dead. Dominant first game for those two. Yeah, Spot and Carnage looked like they were bringing it back, but Salt Lord and Alsoda is just showing. They got, they got better yeah. synergy here. Just couldn't close out the stocks quite that time. Is Salt Lord the one that looks like a dad? He genuinely <laughs> looks like he's like a father of like two kids and has a wife and a, like a whole house that, he's, <laughs> that he bought. That's a good question. I'm not sure which is which of the two of them. <laughs> Salt Lord is glasses? Okay, so it's Al Soda. Al Soda looks like the father. I see. <laughs> so is Salt Lord or Al Soda's kid? <laughs> it's a, it's a father-son synergy. No wonder, man, they must play all the time. <laughs> all right, lots of damage. I'm surprised they picked this stage, you know, in the past. Spot has disliked this stage even in doubles. You know, he does prefer this stage as Steve. You don't have as much space to mine. And I mean, it's a lot more crowded. You know, you're not going to have time to. I'm, I'm surprised material. they chose this considering. Oh. Considering Spot is really only going to get wood here. Like, it's going to be a lot harder to find any iron or diamonds. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Oh! That's not looking so good. Spot's getting it's hard pretty hard this, this game.
spot and not being too careful with those minecarts and just hitting Karn into them. Yeah, they've done some damage to each other already. Landing hitbox. Alright, Karn is it back. Wow, nice kill there. Oh my god, that could be Alsona's stock. Oh, he read him right there, jeez. Also having a... Oh, never mind, he just turned <laughs> that around real quick. Spot already on his last stock. This yeah, actually they've got to take that stock off of Alsota right now. I mean, he's at kill percent, and then you can pretty much even it up at that point. We might end up with a... Uh, oh, slipped out. An all NorCal finals. That's true. NorCal sweep for doubles? I'm not sure who is in losers finals waiting for them. I believe it's um, Sandomo and Woody. Okay, okay. So, th so there's a chance. There's a chance for Sen Cal. Yeah. And Sandomo and Woody actually beat Spot and pretty hard on yeah, the winner's side. The box extension from the Spot at 96. Handle. He's got to play real not real patient here. Definitely. A little planking here. Okay. Oh. Good GI. That was close. This is almost even, though. I mean, one good combo from Steve. And he's got the diamond materials, He too, does, so. yeah. A lot different than last match. Uh-oh. Barely slipped out of that. Wow, that was great. That had to have been SDI. I think so, too. Yeah. <laughs> and there he goes. He's mining. Almost picked that Carnage up. saying, I got this. You get your materials. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Almost got killed on that re-grab. Damage. Big damage here. The S smash. Wow, he almost died from that. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. Know, what did he die from? Just, it was uh, Carnage's up smash, I think. Oh, okay. The spot was not being too, uh, too What a grab. Wow. All right. Just use this jump. Oh, he has no jump here. Carnage going, going up. To the top. Oh, wow. Forcing his way back on stage. He can pick off one of them, then he could definitely take this. Oh, that was impressive. Wow, that, that was impressive. That was nice. Lead trapping both of them at the same time. Back here, he's got him off stage again. Let's see what he can do. Wow, oh made it through both of those. Almost killed him with that up tilt. They are on him right now. There's the back air. That's going to do it at 137. Yeah, that's it for spotting Carnage, Salt Lord, and also Unfortunate, it to, yeah. Uh, they're in loser's final. Confirmed All top right. three now. Okay. All right. Who, well, um, wave B is starting, so I must get ready for my set. All right. Good luck at your pool, bro. I guess I'll hop off, too. This is my partner. Yeah, it's been your mama and footy corn.
All right, y'all. It's your mama again. I'm holding it down on solo on the commentary. Damn. Looks like I missed a lot. Zandomo and Woody are crushing it right now. This is insane. These two, man, they've been tearing it up as a team. Two of, like, the brightest-looking players in the region of Sekal at the moment versus two very, very solid players in NorCal as well. And, man, they're looking real dominant. Two super broken characters as well, so, I mean, that's going to help. Let me take a look at this chat real quick. Both the stream. Oh, snap. Tank's going to come commentate with me. Let's go. Howdy. Just trying to pull up the stream real quick. Dude, Woody and Zandomo are killing it right now. They are the super dominant on doubles. This whole bracket. So far. Let's go. Yeah. My boy Zandomo and Woody versus NorCal, Salt Lord, and... Right Al Soda. There. Yeah, Salt Lord and Al Soda. They're both they're NorCal. Both from NorCal. Okay. Yes. I was Someone I in the chat, had, uh, they pointed that out. For it. I thought that Salt Lord was from uh, Sacramento, but that's, uh, what's it called? It's like something else salt. Like, Probably. there's so many people yeah, with no, salt in their tag. <laughs> pure salt. salt <laughs> that's what it is. Pure salt is the Donkey Kong from Sacramento, and yeah. I got that mixed up. Three, two, we got Rob, one, Joker, go. Joker, and Aegis. Yep. I don't, honestly, guys, I don't even know what's going on. Dude, it's, it's chaos. I, I get it. All right, this is best of five now. The losers match before this was best of three. All I know is, like, Rob seems like a pretty good double scare. The same thing as Aegis. Definitely. Aegis seems like a really good double scare. Yeah, even Joker too. I mean, I mean yeah. early meta like Joker was early, super strong. Especially double. Yeah. Oh, what an edge guard! Oh, double edge guard! Wow. <laughs> Woody is the blue Joker. All right. Oh, he tried to slip off there, but he missed it. Yeah, Rob is great. I mean, his projectiles are super good for doubles. Oh, that's not good. Projector went out. <laughs> Trying to get this edge guard here. Not quite. For mouse. Oh, trying to go for the S-Mat. Trying to kill him at 50. <laughs> Our set, man. Now we saw we saw Salt Lord do that though. The laser set that up hell again. Yeah, they're so good at picking this up. All right, this is looking a lot more even than last time at least. Yeah. This one, Pure Salt is the uh, the agent. Yeah. Oh. Set. <laughs> That's great, he has bro. no fear, bro. Oh, a little burner boost there. <laughs> oh, wow. This is yikes. This is a two and a half V1, honestly. Oh, I didn't realize he just died. All right, now they're fighting. Two V1. Let's see, see what Solar can do. Oh, what a pickup. These two have crazy combos together. Let's go. Oh, he was ready for that. These two are crazy. Picking up after each other. Uh, almost time that. These two have been working on their double. Oh, jeez. He almost died. He just stood there. <laughs> wow. Oh, double kill. Wow. Jeez. Okay, I love when Zandoma does that. The little, the, I think it's called the after, after burner boost or something like that. Swaggiest. It's cool. Swaggiest it's pretty cool. I feel like they do it just because it looks cool. Honest <laughs> to God, they, that has to be the case. Woody and Zandoma look really good here. Yeah, so, honestly. So, this is, that's, that, that's pretty good right now. Yeah, uh, at this really pace, they're going to work their way into grands easily. 
they might be able to uh, pull this out. Like we can't count, we can't count out these two guys yet. Not yet, no. Oh, yeah, I mean, these two are PR players in, in one of the strongest well, regions, NorCal, for yeah, sure. I think they're both like top 10. I don't know if they're top 10, but they're at least top 20. At least top 20. There was a time they were. Both super great players. Zando and Woody both being top six, top five players in Sencal. Oh, lots of chaos. They're all getting close and Burn is personal. Hanging out by that left platform on PS2. Oh, I wonder if that was a miss, but dead at 15. Unfortunate. I wonder if maybe he wanted his teammate to snipe him a little bit there. What the heck was that? <laughs> That, that is where Pyra is so Dude, the can be clean. Oh. Oh my gosh, they're ready for each other. Jeez. They're low key. Like, wow. Whoa, he saved him. Wow. Salt Lord saved his teammate. With, like, three options. These two just have so much oh awareness God. to pay attention to the opponents and to their teammates at the same time. Ready to pick up those combos together. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Grab the teammate. Yeah, <laughs> Wrong guy. I think we're trying to get him out of something. So yeah, there's just a little throw. scramble there. It he's happened. Kind of, kind of bad too. Oh, that sucks. He got it guarded by that gyro unintentionally. <laughs> oh, yeah. I literally thought Woody was getting issues. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. Oh, wow, covering the roll, that was impressive. Lead trapping from Woody. Oh, he was gonna zero to death him oh, right there. Dude. Oh, Zandon was 2v1 them right now. Not anymore. Dude, the damage is so fast. These matches are way faster than the last this set's gonna go faster than the last one, and the last one was a best of three. Oh, went the wrong way there. He's not going to take his last stock there. Oh, snap, that smash. I wonder. He's going to trust uh, Al Soda to try and 2v1 them here. Al Soda's at 113 as a joke. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it actually hit. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Must have been planned. <laughs> All right. Interesting. You know, I mean. Yeah, I'm surprised that they they opted to try and do this instead of, you know, have two people try to do it. I feel like it would have been maybe a little better. It's probably gonna, it's probably gonna prioritize. Oh snap. Just giving them the opportunity to, to hit their clips they practice. Honestly, 68, that's that's crazy. Oh they're trying to do something flashy. Get him up. Oh, snap. He All right. Actually this really <laughs> I feel like low key, they're just trying to like, they're trying to clip in, you know, so they're not really committing to anything too to hard. <laughs> the one time to do a side piece, Oh, what's he gonna do? <laughs> that was funny. All right, fix up the back air. There it is, 3 0. Clean 3 0. Honestly, very dominant showing. Insane. All right. Now we got Grand Finals? It's Grand Finals, I believe, yes. And it's a run back because Sandom and Woody lost to Akko and Luis oh. earlier. And that was a 3-0 as well. Very strong 3-0. So right. we'll see if it'll be a 3-0 in Grand so. or if uh, if Woody and Sandoma can pick up where they left off, maybe get you know a little we bit cleaner know play. It's gonna be double I think. Well, they uh, sometimes Luis will play Rob. He also has a Yoshi, occasionally a PT. Yeah. Um, sometimes I mean, they'll, they'll play other characters in doubles been, and stuff. Like all day they've been doing double Palu? Uh, I think he played Rob earlier. Oh, Luis did? played Rob earlier. Um, but I think akko has been playing Palu the whole time. They both main Palu. Um, yeah. Last time they played it was Palu, Palu, Joker, Joker, actually. Yeah, I think, yeah. 
I think Zendone was talking about doing double Joker too. Yeah, because he has a good Joker. Yeah. Yeah, it's a secondary. Yeah. Some people in the venue be like, Zendone has a Joker. <laughs> yeah, it's he a good does. Joker too. It's actually not bad. Yeah, I think he's almost or beat Umans with that Joker before. Give him props. They give him props to the, to the venue, bro. I don't know. Their doubles team has always been nasty. Yeah, like, it's crazy. They, they just great. like always ready to pick up each other's like combos and like play off each other's hits and stuff. It's it's crazy. They always find themselves in just the most. Steve. Yeah. They always do hella good. Like remember them at Genesis? They 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 got like top 32, I think. I think so. Yeah. Like something like that. It's a great doubles team for real. Yeah, their their doubles team is just insane. Cause I feel like their gameplay styles are similar. So that they oh, can, yeah. They kind of can, like, work in sync. They'd yeah. Be like, oh, he's going to do something that I know I would do yeah. in this situation. There so, you like, go. It just kind of works off that. Oh, yeah. Like, really well. They're both super quick players. Woody always saying things like, you know, he wants to overwhelm his opponents. He wants to outplay them, wants to play faster than them so he can, you know, not give him a chance to breathe. Imagine and Zandelma plays similar. Imagine this. Dude, they win doubles and sync how that would be a Senkai win, yes. Me. God, but a they got to overcome who they lost to already. And it was 3-0. You know, it wasn't that close. Yeah, and they so. have to win three games. They, That's, it's not gonna well, be, they got to win six. It's not going to be Luis and Anko doing the reset. It's going to be having to be them doing the reset. Yeah. Oh, playing some friendlies on the stream here. Three, two, <laughs> Warming each other up. Go. I wonder if Luis or uh, Anko is playing yeah. in singles because that... Well, yeah, what I, th I think Luis is already in um, out of pool. What is this? The brawler and sword fighter. <laughs> Ultimate doubles grand final. <laughs> this is He's dead. He died at like 16. What the hell was that? I saw that. What was that? That made no sense. He was at like 16. <laughs> I've never seen that, bro. Oh, that move is so tilting. I fucking hate that. I freaking hate that move. Okay, see. No, I hate that move. Which one? I hate chakra. That one is annoying, yeah. No, dude, the tornado is annoying too, though. That that one I don't like. Tornado is annoying because you know he's going to get an up air. You know he's going to get an up air. Yeah, chakra is like... It's like always there. It's, it's pretty annoying. That the freaking shock put move is annoying too. Like before you learn this matchup, you know it's it's rough. Throw it to the ad. All right. Subscribe to Jazara oh, weekly tournament recap. Uh, Mantica Mania. That's gonna be April 29th. I'm just hearing the Miss Swordsman dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, Mantica Mania is a fire tournament though. All right. You see Merced, little office of student involvement. Become a Bobcat. You wanna go to UCM? Hit up freaking the college. I don't know. Digital skills internship. Oh, shoot. I might have to hit that up. I'm in need of a job. Honestly. Hit up the Joystick Arcade Bar Kitchen in Merced, California. You know, the whole some tournament sometimes. Get some drinks. MNC. The best weekly tournaments in Central California right here. Midnight Carnage. Here's all sponsors right here. Oh, what's this? Game Lab Smash. Every Friday inside Riverside Game Lab. I didn't know anything about that. Riverside, huh? Team Battle. All right, let's see. Shout out to Steve. Peter the Great watching. Oh, Peter, I, I don't know if you heard me ask it earlier, but are you not at the cow house at the moment? You, I wish you could be here, bro. Dang, that sucks, bro. Wish you were here. You could be on commentary. I went 0-2, bro. I was sad. I lost to uh, I lost to a Lucina and I lost to a Kazuya. Yeah, Damn. bummer. I felt like I played good too, but man, I don't know. My opponents were pretty good. I got Kazuya. Taco's fire, man. That's yeah. It's hard to beat. Hard to beat that guy. Right. Yeah, you gotta know someone like Akko knows that matchup too. Yeah. 
Oh, here they go, pulling up. Pulling up to the scene. Quiz. Okay, let's hear the curse. Okay. Game five reset. All right. At the very least. Well, we'll just have to see, man. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And Rob, yeah. 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 Hey, he's played tons of Rob's throughout his time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's number two in NorCal, but right right under Kurama. Yeah, I mean Al Soda, who we just saw earlier, is from the same region, so he, he knows that matchup, and he's played against like people like Dark Wizzy's Joker. He's played. I'm not sure if he's played Leo's Joker or not, but he's played some good Jokers out there. I wouldn't put it past him, honestly. Yeah. All right. Double Palu, Joker, and Rob. All right, all sticking to the mains. Sticking, sticking to what they were going to do. Yeah. Big shout out to Akko, by the way, you know. Not as big of a name that you hear as much, but Akko's like one of the finest players to do it in this area, for sure. Such a great Palestinian player. Akko's kind of like a... He's like a St. Cal player. He just comes in and he's like... Yeah, he'll wreck any of the St. Cal players if he wants to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it just goes everywhere. Oh, what are you picking up that big back air? That oh, incredible, taking the first stocks here. Woody and Zandomo, all right. They got a good lead here. Our scent came. Oh, combo. <laughs> it was a great gyro, yeah. Oh, not going to punch that forward tail. Probably expected his partner to come and, like, pick up, you know, whatever punish would be there. Good shield from Zendomo. Not a good shield from Woody there. Oh, nice. Saved him out of that. Woody's still living at 151. My God, did you see that? I did not. What happened? Caught Gyro immediately threw it in like this. Dude, that was insane. He like <laughs> made like halfway across the screen. Still, oh, okay, he died. He, he died. I thought he was living after that. That's crazy. Big lead here from Woody and Zandomo. Let's see if they can close out right a game. Big back air. Got him off stage. Another edge guard. Oh, okay. Luis came and, and, and saved his friend who was getting edge guarded pretty hard there. Big back air. I believe that's Akko's last stock that he's on now. And then, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow, F smash. Good grab. That was a great grab. Arsene. <laughs> oh. Ready to pick up the roll. Wow, what? that was a great shield from Zandomo, honestly. Yeah, yeah, dashing yeah. around. Woody's going crazy. Almost got that up smash. Not quite. That was <laughs> He's going for edge guard. Okay. Woody is an They're edge playing guarder. So good, like on ledge. They're playing really Ooh. good. Good air dodge there. Good air dodge. He would have died. Great grab. Okay. Oh, he's just trying to kill him. I think they're really trying to rush down Sandomo right now. I yeah. feel like they know if they rush down Sandomo, they you know, got Suddenly, them. it's not as uh, one-sided as it was before. Uh, Luis has held onto his stock for a really long time, and yes, Sandomo, he he's getting close to dying. Again. This is almost an even game. Oh, oh he's got basically like full Arsene. Oh, that was close. He's way off stage oh. with no jump. Oh, he's not. Okay. Let's Finally go. dead. Okay, okay. okay. That was a great now it's a 2v1, but this is still. This, this, is, this could mean, go either way. You're definitely going to want Woody to try and take the front the most. Oh. <laughs> he's just why to do that. I feel like he did that on purpose, actually. You think so? Maybe. He was trying to maybe, like, hit him into him. Probably what a parry! They are playing so 
Great pickup. Oh, barely missed the forward air. Oh! He tried to kill him. The edge guard? What's the edge guard? Nothing yet. They're playing very patiently in the corner. Oh! He killed no. Woody! Okay, he killed Woody! This is bad. This is bad. Oh. Can he close out this last stock versus Luis? He's down about almost 40%. 30? Oh, right, this honest, is okay. looking rough. Oh! Bad air, bad air dodge there. That was... A little bit of a choke. A little bit of a choke there. All right. All right. We got the TOs calling it I from the desk. All right. I hope to God they keep the steam they had that first game because they were like, just They're playing very well. They just, Joker. You don't get a little too trigger happy on ledge. Yeah. Like, get a little too trigger happy. Especially with Woody just like in front of them. Yeah, definitely. It's all good. I, I, I think they, they showed what they did last time. Just <laughs> <laughs> they got to get a strong start again. I mean, they started so strong. Almost took that game. Holding that down. He still got a little bit of our thin charge. Okay. You get bounce around, Woody. Just bouncing. Just bouncing around. Ooh, a big laser. All right. They're scrapping each other. Just throwing left and right after another. That was that was fantastic. Boom! Boom! Wow! Great chemistry I, there. I'm actually, I like that better than what I thought it was going to do. Good up smash out of shield. Oh! Big back air still living though, 100%. Yeah, great DI. Great DI. Oh, they both went for it! Okay, they got the kill out of it. That was worth it. A worth it trade. Got a little tiny lead going here. Good down smash. Wow, that actually worked. Great lead. Great lead. Oh, okay. Dead. Oh, he saved. Okay, he saved him. He saved him. He recognized the team. He was about to die early. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good. And he's dead. That's unfortunate. Zandomo couldn't snatch up. That was an early kill on, on Woody, honestly. I mean, he was at low percent. This could be a problem. Oh, dude. Oh, our send came right when he tried to hit him with a. Oh my gosh, what is at 92 already? In the past like 15 seconds. Big Nair. Oh, Woody almost picked up that up smash, but not quite. And now our send is gone. Drag down. He tried to jab lock him, but narrowly missed it. Okay, they bought him. Got to bolt that suck. There's the big edge guard right there. Nice. Oh, he did. I didn't notice that. Wow. Okay, they got to get this kill off Akko. There it is. Wow, last stock already. We've seen some early kills. We've seen some edge guards. Man, this is crazy. Super close. It's 1v1 and 1v1 on the other side. Oh, not anymore. They're mixing it up. He was right. Just misspaced it. All right. Akko's got... Very little percent on him. Got that back air. Keeping Woody on the ledge. Oh, what a good spot dodge. Picked up the gyro. The gyro plays pretty good. Another down smash. We're seeing a ton of down. And there goes the Arsene again. It disappears right when he runs off stage. Almost dead at 100. That back air is so strong. Yeah, the gun dash saved him there, huh? Oh, what a combo. That was great. I mean, that move just lingers. So He's lived that. I'm so surprised. Oh, okay. Okay. He sort of up smash there. Uh-oh. Not good. He lived. Oh, wow. What a jump catch. That was great. That was a great jump catch. That match is looking a lot more. Too bad for you. A lot more. It was a little bit more dominant. But they got some good stuff in there. Like, yeah, definitely. It's been know. it's been close, man. I mean, they're one game away from winning grands. You know, Zandome and Woody doing better than they did earlier today. But I mean, if they can't, if, if they can't even take a game, you know, this is going to be the end of the doubles tournament, and they're going to get second place. I like the confidence with Zandome sitting with Bob. Yeah. And I know Zandome's keen to do that sometimes. Where he's like, my brother's working right now. I'm a Joker. 
but his rob right here, his rob right now is looking really nice. I agree. Yeah, I think his rob is doing very well. And, and these two together. All right, waiting out the Nair. Good skill, patience. Sniping Woody in the face with a laser. A forward throw, that was interesting. The combos are getting stopped short by these Palutena's. Oh, he, he could have down aired in there, maybe. Going deep for the edge guard. Almost died. He almost lost the stock. He's at 87 already. Up tilt into up air. I don't know if that's a combo, personally. I mean, that's 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 messed up. Whoa, there goes Woody's stock. He actually took a back air from Rob. <laughs> yeah, killed his teammate. Oh. Uh, Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, big down air. Wow. Luis and Akko picking up a big lead here. Only at 98 and 88, respectively. Oh, Teleport cancels. Yeah. He's like, heck, that one's dope. Okay. If they can take this Akko stock, then he can even it up. Oh, he didn't air instead of back air. I'm surprised. All right, nice little mix-up there. Oh, big damage, Arsene. He's dead. He almost died. He's dead. Wow. That is so huge. I can't believe he killed him there. There was a kill spark there. That is crazy. Just like that, he stole the lead, man. It's like in the startup frames. Yeah, it's a small window, but yeah. Wow. That was an incredible edge guard there. Yeah, certainly, yeah. If they could team up, I mean, it's hard to isolate either one of them. You know, they're covering each other so well. Oh, and there, Arsene just showed up at the wrong time again. That keeps happening to Woody. Oh, he went all, all out for it. He lived, wow. You know, Luis is missing these down airs against Arsene recovery, and it's really, like, proving to be an issue. Oh, down smash his shield is a skittle. Forward smash. Wait, how did Woody die? What? How did Woody die? I didn't think he died there. I thought that, okay. I thought it was just the same demo. I see. Oh, I see, I see. I, and suddenly they're not so much in the lead. I mean, they, they've been kind of getting beat up ever since that edge guard pulled out. Can't pick up the stock off of Akko. Yeah, I mean, they're just living. They're playing good neutral. Good ledge trap. Woody almost died. This is kind of hard, yeah. He's going off stage. They got to get the kill. They got to get these kills. Honestly, just take one of their stocks. I would try to take. I, I, you want to take? Oh, uh, that's a, okay. 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 Yeah. Either one. Either one is fine. Right. Uh oh. Okay. 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 This is gonna be hard. They gotta play safe. They gotta not die. You gotta get their combo starters. Oh, just not patient enough on that air. This is rough. They're both at super kill percent. There we go. Getting the combo started. Drop that a little bit. There you go. Dropped it again. Okay, they're picking it up. They're getting their combo starters. This is whole part is a scramble right here. It's looking good for them. 85 already. Is he dead? He's dead! Wow! Insane yes. combo. What yes. a pickup. These two are I'm crazy. They they just they're, they're all They know what to do, man. It's like they practice these for an hour a day Dude, for whenever a year. I see, whenever I see them go back and forth, I'm like, all right, they know these. That's crazy, like, man. They know what's gonna happen. They're just ready to play off each other. That's crazy. Oh, we'll see. That's what they gotta do. Gotta take three more right now, and if you got a little more room. Can they get the reset? It was close that time, and they, they had to rely on that early I kill, too. Like, Nuts of the old tournament, we just don't win double. Three, two, three, <laughs> go. All right, let's see it. Oh, you think so? I think so. All right. It's looking pretty even so far. <laughs> Actually, I think Luis is already out of pools in singles. Oh, yeah, yeah, they've been going back and forth a little bit, yeah. Between singles and doubles. 
You know, you want to get that payout for both events if you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a big regional, you know, a lot of cash involved. Oh, and the lingering up smash kills him. They got a big lead here. They're both chilling, not quite a kill percent yet. Uh-oh, what a grab, good grab. Ah, uh, good roll, good roll. Wow, Gyro's doing work, comboing off of each other. All right, can he get the kill? Not quite. The down smash? Oh, I see what you're saying. The lingering, lingering smash back. Big back air. Good kill. Good kill. Okay, you know what? Xander almost still has his first stock. I just realized that. So it's like, it's okay. It's not as okay. Not as okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, sniped him. Okay, it was looking a little dangerous there, but Luis made it back. What a parry! Impressive. Oh, hitting his own partner with the projectiles. Gyro smacking everyone. Woody's dead. All right. Now they're down. They're not out, but they are down right now. It's not looking good. You might have been right with your call. You know, they might have gotten fed up like, all right. You know, you got your cute little combos on us, but it's time to get serious. <laughs> Big F smash from Woody. All right. If they can have a dominant stock right here, I think they can pull it off. But they got to do that first. Got to get the edge cards. You know, got to get the kills. I do not know. I don't think running the ledge is very good. Right. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Woody's like the first one to go off stage and try to get those edge guards, which has paid off in some respects, but a lot of the damage, yeah, it, a lot of the damage has been from the ledge traps here. Oh, they're comboing him now. What can Zambo, what can Zandomo do? Teleport cancels, they're playing with the gyro, keeping it away from Rob. Oh, he picked up the gyro there. Oh, little combo. Okay, not, not this time. Is that hard? I would assume though, All Palutena needs to do is one of them just needs to hold down B. The other one just needs to be extra Woo! Okay. There it is. That's going to be it for grand finals of doubles at the Cow House. Akko and Luis taking it first place. Who else? Some of the best reps from NorCal, you know, taking it over. Some, some of the best uh, reps from SenCal. Some of the best. Yeah, we had some of the best players in SenCal in there. Honestly, like, Great honestly, stuff. probably just the best. Doubles team in I would say so at like this point key, in time. So yeah, good. this is a Dumbo great team. Woody, Very impressive. That same wavelength. Yeah. They're just yeah, they're just ready. Up. You know what? It wasn't enough this time. Great showing from both players. Um, I wonder I what's going on next. You know, we're gonna take a little break. We might hop back on afterwards, yeah. start some singles and stuff. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just take a little second. We're gonna take a little second.
All right, y'all. Let's get into it. Yo Mama's back on the mic per usual. I'm working overtime today. Romeo is repping Yep and FOC, two of the best crews in SenCal. And he's repping both. All right, whatever, bro. <laughs> yep is, uh, you don't know about Yep? Damn, bro, you're living under a rock. Yeah, you got it, bro. I, I can hold down the fort. But um, Romeo versus Swag. I don't know what tag exactly Swag is going by these days. Hey, Tank! Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, Romeo versus Swag. All right, Swag's going to be using the Pokemon Trainer, I believe, his main for the longest time. Romeo, who knows? He plays Greninja. He plays Captain Falcon. He plays Meta Knight. I, we might see the Falcon, all right? I played Romeo last week, and he played Captain Falcon against me. Might like that matchup. I'm not sure. That's true. Got a lot of options. Romeo plays a lot of characters. You know, he doesn't really settle on a main necessarily. No shot. Okay, Greninja. The Greninja's coming out. That's that's who he's been playing. I think that's like Loki, his main. Greninja's a pesky, pesky person to fight as Pokemon Trainer, you know? And that, the matchup's not that good for Pokemon Trainer, honestly. It's really not that good. Well, you know, Greninja's super fast, has a great combo game against a character with, you know, not so much air drift. and It's hard to keep up. Even in Squirtle with fast frame data, you're not so fast on the ground. Well, 
Uh, he's got it. He's got it. Okay, he got the jab locks. He's doing well. He's doing well right now. <laughs> I, I, that's not his start GG tag. I don't know why, uh, what it is exactly, but he keeps changing it. Going for the edge guard here. Uh, did not pick up anything there. Romeo back on center stage. And this is where it gets a little rough, you know. You want to keep Greninja in an, the disadvantage, but, it, I mean, you could lose neutral really easily and then take a lot of damage with Ivy Sword. Not a bad anti-air dash tag. Here comes the damage right there, yeah. Yep, he almost just died right there. Shield pressure on the platform. Yeah, he was trying to, to uh, ledge drop. I've done that several times. Okay. Feeling each other out here. Okay, big forward air there for Swag. No follow-up after the Razor Leaf. Oh. Oh, uh, just went for the up smash and it worked. All right, let's see if he sticks with the Charizard here. He's got lots of options as far as killing, but you don't want to stay there too long. Take a lot of damage. He's very, very bursty, yeah. It's hard to deal with. No switch here, I'm surprised. Just put into that light. He's going to try and kill him with Squirtle. I mean, he's got a, you know, a strong back here for sure, but... Oh, this is getting rough. This is getting out of control. You know, I would maybe want to see Swag on the Charizard. Oh, yeah. Just couldn't get the kill there. You know, you really need to get it here at this point. Get a grab, get an up smash, anything. Up the out of shield. Easy 40%. Wow. And here's why you see this matchup is rough. You know, if you, if you really want to get that kill, it, it's hard. And if you want to stick with Charizard, then you're just going to take a bunch of damage. Wow! I can't believe that happened. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, probably, you know, he's got the Wario as well as the Roy. You know, it's just some pretty strong secondaries. But Pokemon Trainer, yeah, I mean, that's, that's his... His tried and true has been his main for the longest time, and he's got the most optimization with that character. Game two, running it back on PS2. Yeah. Man, Greninja, this character is tilting. <laughs> Why is that combo? All right, big combos from Squirtle here, too. Oh, he was ready for that side B. The Squirtle seems to be doing by far the best in this matchup, and once he gets him up to kill percent, then that's when he starts to struggle. You know, how can you get the kill on a slippery character like Greninja? All right, sneaky little up B. I know for a fact he's going to be looking for that forward tilt. Try to get a tech chase or a jab lock set up. Honestly, you just have to like, you have to guess right with Ivysaur. That's not going to be true at that percent yet. The back here out of shield, super quick option. All right, he's got him off stage. Can he get the edge guard? No down air, there we go, all right. He's on the board, taking a stock. Now he's sticking with the Ivysaur. If he plays defensive enough, he might be able to get some extra credit. I'm sure that's what he's hoping for. He's doing a good job so far evading all of Greninja's attacks. Good DI there on that air. Wow, the backer just goes straight through that. Yeah, th this is why, you know, a lot of people think Razor Leaf is not that good of a projectile. Because, I mean, it just gets eaten up by so many moves. Oh, that that didn't down tilt hit. He probably would have died. Waiting out that neutral B. Oh, not this time. Waits it out again. How can he get off the ledge? Good air dodge. Rolling back and forth, and then there it is. He's dead. All right, back to the Squirtle we go. Forward tilt. 
Down throw, okay. Good advantage state with the Squirtle. All right, here's some damage, wow. 44%, all you have to do is falling Nair, dash attack, up smash. That's crazy. All right, good advantage state. Slipped out of the up air, that's fortunate for Ivysaur. Oh, missed his full hop. That could have been a lot more damage. Oh, he's ready to parry that projectile for sure. It's looking pretty even now. Oh, there it is. Wow, what a conversion off the ledge. Up. Oh, he could have gotten at least another one or two up airs from that. Yeah, what a kill confirmed. All right, it's looking real close. This is game two. Let's see what Swag can do. 30%, easy 30%. Wow, Nair does so much damage. I didn't realize it's just like 15. Yeah. Nice. That was a good switch. Otherwise, he definitely would have got hit by something. You do not want to be getting edge guarded by Greninja. Yeah, he's playing it real safe. Got hit by that near there. You know, if he's not careful, this could be in kill, uh, kill confirm, like range for Squirtle being so light, tied for the fourth lightest character in the game. Yeah. Up, uh, B's got him off stage. Can he get the edge guard here? Good parry. Back to the ledge. Oh, and there goes stage control for him. Sticking it out with the Charizard. He's living barely. That up smash. Wow, it just confirms for so long. Back to Squirtle. Back to Ivysaur. Oh, he read that roll. So close. He can push him back here. Nair's not going to confirm anything yet. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that just covers roll. That'll co cover get up attack and normal get up, just like we saw. That was a great decision there for the last, last stock scenario. That's right. You can angle it down and hit most, if not all, characters while they're hanging on the ledge. Little known fact. All right, we're going to a game three here. Start the battle. Sticking out with Greninja. We got Swag maybe taking his time, picking a song to listen to. Pokemon Trainer. All right. Here we go. Oh, and the Opta switch to Small Battlefield instead of PS2. Which is oh, all right. Air Dodge is working out pretty well so, so far for Swag. Nice. Good adaption there. After you, you know, that forward tilt into grab is not a true combo. Wow, he went from 18 to 42. The damage output of, uh, of Greninja is just crazy. Oh, that could have been dangerous, but went back to the ledge. Smart choice. Razor Leaf, not going to cover anything there. Good tag. I mean, you would have possibly died there, honestly. Wow, snuck in it up in there, though. <laughs> trying to read the tech now. Good adaption. Some solid ledge trapping from Swag. Yeah, that Nair is just too safe to try and out of shield it. Down tilt into up smash. That's crazy. Oh, what an up air. That was impressive. All right. Big combos coming out here. 38%. He's working for it. Oh, you know, Squirtle's got 
very good air acceleration. So the micro spacing to try and sneak those forward airs in is going to be definitely a good game plan. It's playing against someone like Greninja with a good burst option. Get some charge on that neutral B. Oh, no jump here. He waited for the switch. This is not so good for Swag. Another switch. Got back to the ledge. Little burst option. I would definitely opt to sw Oh! I would switch out for charge up, but maybe that's why I'm not winning this set right now. Big forward tilt. Not quite dead yet. Ledge trapping from Charizard is super strong. Oh, he's all over him! The backer didn't kill. That looked like it sweet spotted too. The Nair. Charizard's actually doing some work here for the first time in this set. All right, let's see what we got. Normal getup. No grab. Wow, armor through the dash tech. That was smart. That was very smart. Got to be careful. Watch out for that down tilt. You will die if you get hit by down tilt. Still trying to punish out of shield with that Nair, but it's not going to work. Oh, good switch. That was a great switch. A little late on the timing. I mean, that, that dash tech can be hard to punish sometimes. Nice. Good options to get off a ledge. Here comes the up air. Wow, Swag's doing really well here. Missed his grab. Directional air dodge saved him there. Obstacle to ledge. Nair out of shield's not going to work for that move. Oh, that was great. He got one. He got two. Not three. Oh! And there's a kill. Okay. Greninja can do a lot of damage here. Let's see what's going on. Big up air. He's going to look for the forward tilt here. You know, if that's the perfect percentage, just below 100, you can get a forward tilt into a jab lock or text situation and get a kill confirmed and kill pretty early. Okay, the directional air dodge to the platform was really smart. You know, you got the better neutral here. I, yep, that's the perfect time to switch. How's he going to get off a ledge? Couple rolls. This is a very close situation. You know, if you get caught as Ivysaur against Greninja, I mean, you could take a lot of damage. Oh, not quite this time. There we go. Punish that. He grabbed him. Backdoor down throw. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Oh, the up smash. Here comes some damage. The switch. The grab. Wow. This is crazy. Anything could kill Greninja at this point. He went for the grab. Wow. This is not good. This is not good. The forwarder. That's going to do it. Wow. Really impressive stuff. A dominant third game from Swag. There it goes. Yeah, absolutely. He closed it out with the forwarder. I'm impressed. I mean, after that first game, you know, you would expect it might go the other way, but really good stuff from Swag. All right.
All right, y'all. Your mama's back on commentary. <laughs> they double doing well so far versus Olego from San Jose State. Tried to throw him into that tin can there. Did not work. Avoiding these projectiles. All right. Maybe a little matchup check for Zandomo, but it's still going pretty well for him. Barely missed that forward smash. Trying to get the edge guard. Not this time. I think he could do it, honestly. He could probably kill him with the forward tilt at this point. Wow, I'm surprised the gyro didn't move the cam there. Oh, sent him that way. He's dead. All right. You know, this is, this is closer than a lot of other matches you would see Zandomo in. Get some damage, back throw. Lilac, really interesting choice of stage here. Causing for some wacky things to happen, you know, with the laser bouncing and the can physics. Really awkward. Oh, wow. That frisbee, man, that's quite a move. Missed the shield grab there. And he's at high percent now. This is not going so, so well for Zandomo. Nair killed him, wow. That's pretty high percent for something like that. Wow! Duck Hunt actually low profiled the gyro throw. It's a short little dog, I guess. Directional air dodge for the stage. Getting hit by that frisbee. Into the up air. That's going to do it at 162. All right. Good reaction from Sandomo. He's got him at 51. You know, this is still pretty doable if he gets a solid, you know, any half of the stock here. You know, maybe he's just not ready to fight a character like Duck Hunt on this stage. Oh, Lego, you know, showing that the students at San Jose State University, they know how to play Smash. They know how to show up. They know how to play the game. Even the best in the region of Central California. They got to play on their top if they want to take him. Almost killed him. Great DI on that up air. Side B, that's going to do it. Strong move, such a strong move. Oh, a little dash dancing. A little dash dancing from Sandomo. Trying to show off a little bit. Forward air to Frisbee. I'm surprised that worked. He almost died. Great DI, though. Great DI. Little rolls not going to help you from that move. That move's crazy, you know? I hear some Duck Hunt players saying, oh, yeah, this move is like, you know, a junior electric wind god fish. I'm not sure how true that is, but so far we're seeing it do a lot of work here in this set. Sandomo keeps getting hit by it, you know? He doesn't know how to avoid it just yet. Big hits. Sandomo's narrowly staying alive here. Trades with the can and just runs right into it. There it is. All right, game three here. Sandomo versus Olego. All right, a little, little smiling from Sandomo, maybe. He feels confident. But either way, Olego's showing this duck count knows how to get down against the Rob. I wonder, you know, we're sticking with the Rob. Looks like maybe, maybe switch to Joker. Okay. The secondary strong, strong Joker here from Zandomo. I mean, that's some confidence from Zandomo to switch from your main to your secondary in a game three situation. He must feel good about his secondary. And at the very least, like he feels confident that he can take this player on. Not the best down B there. I'm, I'm assuming that that's why he opted to switch. Because he thinks that the down is going to be a lot better in this matchup. He's going to have better tools to deal with Duck Hunt's projectiles. Especially that Frisbee, like like I mentioned before, you know, he couldn't really deal with it very well. Just like that, maybe the down will, you know, give him the opportunity to, to deal with it a little bit better in his favor. Running into that can. You can press that while you're in shield. This is an optimized... Oh! Big forward smash. An optimized Duck Hunt here. Good edge guard. Let's see if he can finish it out with the arsen. There you go. You watch out for the can. He didn't get hit by it quite there. All right. Good start for Sandoma on this game. Good DI. That confirmed could have been real bad for Sandoma. What a grab. That combo is, is pretty cool, honestly. That's, that's, that's quite the combo. Try to hit him into the can. Didn't work this time. Directional air dodge. Hit by the can. Not the best DI. All right. Small, small lead for Sandoma. Back air that's weaved it in there. Joker's so tricky. Okay. Solid 54 damage. There we go. And that right there. That's why I think he switched. 
Now he's got full Arsen. Boom. He traded 36% for a full Arsen. And it's working in his favor now. But let go is at 112. That's definitely kill percent. A dog versus someone as beefy as an Arsen back here. Watch out for that can. Not quite this time. Got to be careful of that. He's getting a little bit better at dealing with it. That dash attack, that's going to do it. Maybe not the best DI. I feel like he possibly could have lived that. I'm not sure how heavy exactly Duck Hunt is. Uh-oh. That's not good. Big combo. 93-107. Taking some big hits here. Zandomo, if he doesn't pick this up, then he could be looking at a last hawk situation. Game 3. What even hit him there? Oh, that was the shooter. 143. Arsene is out. But it doesn't matter because he's dead now. Big situation here. Just like last stock, a small lead of 40% now. Arsene's going to do a good deal of damage. Big back air. Big hit. Oh, there's one. Oh, he let go just in time. All right, he's playing very aggressively, and it's not working out for him right now. Big dash attack. 91%. No way. I can't believe that did it. Wow, at 91%. Feeling a little disappointed, Olego, for sure. But, you know, when that Arsene came out, that's when Zandomo did his work. I mean, that's the opportunity he was waiting for. That was his win condition, and he played it very, very well. That switch to the secondary worked out for him. You know, his confidence paid off for sure. Great stuff from Zandomo. Moving on from winners. And I believe that means he's out of pools, if I'm not mistaken. But I could be not looking at the bracket at the moment. All right, hot set alert. Elite Xavier versus Carvia. Carvia representing either Turlock or from Central California for sure. Hidden boss of this range of this region doesn't come out much. Elite Xavier, the second best refit trainer in the world. This is gonna be a hot set. Pikachu versus refit trainer. You don't see this very often. Joining me on commentary is Free from Central California. Of of what you hear here from here. Uh, we actually can't hear each other in these. Okay. Yeah, so I just like have one ear out, yeah. <laughs> Falling up air combos from Xavier? 
Okay, so I'm not personally familiar with Xavier, but Carvia is a, is a killer. Hidden boss for a long time. Oh, a little SD oh. from Xavier, unfortunate. Let's see if Carvia can carry this one, man. So Xavier does have a D for you, so he's getting an early start. Oh, yeah, I mean, this is kill percent for Pikachu, honestly. Honestly, yeah. Uh-oh. It's almost like we know our second. Yeah, honestly, I mean, oh, some weird, goes. weird, like, Carvia's kill confirm. Here we go. Let's see what we got with the ledge trap. Tricky with the ball. It's not actually a hitbox though, right? When he gets it like that? I'm not sure. I know when he hits it, it is, yeah. but I, I don't know the specifics of it. I see. All right. The backer out of shield. Wow, parrying that. Honestly, like. I'm, almost, I'm more surprised that the first hit even connected. Yeah. <laughs> Against someone as small as Pikachu, huh? Down smash, interesting. Wow, that was a big back air. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> that moves crazy. It is. Oh, deep breathing. Wow, so much damage. Oh! He really snuck that in there. That was surprising. Oh, that is a little bit of trick damage. How heavy exactly is We Fit Trainer? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. That's crazy. This is one of those odd characters you just don't see very often. Exactly. Really one of the strengths going forward. Trying to get that edge guard. Wow, the hula hoop hitboxes. Oh, what an up air. These are such like... Oh, missed the down tilt. These are such like... Super cognizant of where his boxes are going. Yeah, definitely. With such like odd, precise hitboxes, Xavier's placing it very, very well. Finally got that dash tag. That's exactly what you'd want to see out of a Wii Fit main, though, right? It's yeah, cool. absolutely. All right, a little shift damage. Oh, this is pretty much even. Honestly, yeah, it is. Oh, here comes combos. Wow. There you go. You got to know someone like Carvia is going to have those unlocked. Wow, what not there? That was crazy. Maybe a little bad DI. Missed the deep breathing. Yeah, that's a big deal, actually. Okay. Oh. 24 just on the little chip damage from the hula hoop. That's crazy. Oh. He just went for it. The down smash. Oh. Oh, yeah. Up tilt. Yeah, definitely a real aggressive player. Oh, wow, the frame trap. Probably out of range from it's getting the up like smash from that. Yeah. Oh, up. This is crazy how close it is. Good DI on the dash attack. Can he get the edge guard? Not quite this time. Good drift. Ledge trap option. Not going to roll there. Down tilt. Oh, Go snuck in the back air. That's crazy. Yeah, just barely. Wow, what a close game. Really felt like was kind of yeah. Strong kill options, even from center stage from Wii Fit. What did he kill him at? Was that sub 100 last start? Um, like that. I don't remember exactly. Probably, especially if it was with deep breathing. Moving to battlefield. Yeah. Pretty run of the mill. Yeah. Sure. Alright. What uh do you know where region he's from? Xavier. I believe he's from Washington, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong. All right, going for the edge guard. Oh, wow. That spike is so weird. <laughs> Good parry of the soccer ball. Is this, it's a volleyball or a soccer ball? It looks like a soccer ball. I want to say it's a soccer ball, yeah. Okay. <laughs> spike again. Xavier's really good at sneaking in those down air. Yeah, he is. Because a lot of these characters, they, they can match so many buttons. And those strings, he's fighting those places. Yeah. Oh, that was close. He could have died from that forward smash. All right, good lead here for Carvia. Up throw. 
Not going to go for that. Yeah, I think he was looking for the air dodge right there, but Xavier just jumped away and didn't give it to him. I like that he's not giving up center here. Yeah. Good parry. Back to center. Wow. Keeps hitting him with that defensive soccer ball. He's definitely threatening with the thunder. Wow. That move is strong. For real. Oh, quick 32, 44. A little spike just for the damage. Wow. No get up attack. Wow. He's playing this lead extremely well. Back air. Nice, I like that. Yeah, this is crazy. Get the deep breathing off stage. Good edge guard. Great edge guard. All right, this is still doable. You know, if he gets his little his lightning loop. Oh wow! A little extra damage there. Wow. Xavier's covering the burst options in, like, even with the, the up B really, really well with down airs, with the soccer ball, and with back air. It almost reminds me of watching other brothers like Bruce. Like, like, yeah. He's just totally predicting an end place. Oh, big edge guard situation yeah. here. This is nice. no, still going. Oh, just barely missed that. Oh. He's seeming a lot more comfortable on edge this time. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if that's a good one. That little preemptive there with that up smash, their forward smash. Oh, a little footstool. He could die. Oh! He's playing around deep breathing so well. Oh! Directional air dodge. Still living. Oh, getting bold with his, his thunders. Ah, uh, extended the hitbox. Wow. And he did have deep breathing for that. All right. It's still fairly even. Ah, uh, didn't drag him down completely there. I don't know. If it, if it goes the way it's been, you know, Carby hasn't been really been able to extend or uh, capitalize too much off stage. Yeah, not yet. Xavier's doing great defensively off stage. Oh, wow! Great. Just caught him, not picking any option. That was amazing. That was great. Last stock situation. Oh, deep breathing combos! This is not good. 77% out of nowhere. Oh, it just red. Wow. Impressive stuff from Xavier. All right. Thanks, bro.
Into it. All right, sounds good. We got Tears and Yo Mama on the mic. This is going to be a hype set, all right? Mr. Game and Watch. We got Dre and Mr. Cheese. Mario versus Game and Watch, I believe. I know Dre does have a pocket, Steve. They use it on occasion. I'm not familiar with Mr. Cheese at all. All right. Mario. Here they go. Mr. Cheese. So, Mr. Cheese is from Merced, doesn't go to UC Merced, but out of nowhere last year just started coming to the tournament and started beating everyone at the top of the PR in SenCal with Game & Watch. Just a Wi-Fi warrior, started doing well, beating all of our top players. And Dre, known for being a top player of, of NorCal and SenCal, top 10 on both PRs at different times. Great Mario player, has won two tournaments this week already. I'm just, you know, just different locals, playing really well. And it's going well so far versus this game and watch. Misses double jump for that forward air right there. But yeah, Mr. Cheech just came out of nowhere. He's beat Woody, he's beat Spot, like recently. He's just taking names, yeah. Great, great stuff. Like really, like, just demonically powerful game and watch. Absolutely not, no. I mean, Dre's a grinder. Dre goes to tournaments all the time, fights, you know, all kinds of characters that you can imagine. Yeah, definitely so far. Very well. Stuck in that back air. Yeah. <laughs> oh, big down air. Yeah, no, it's, it's great, honestly, like, because I play Squirtle as well. Like, it's good not just for trying to, you know, get some cheeky kills off stage, but it's also good for taking center stage if you're stuck on a ledge or something like that. Evening it up with that powerful up smash. Up throw, it's down air. Another down air. Oh, you tried to kill him at 30. Good shield grab. You know, the, the frame window for shield grabbing Mr. Game & Watch's snare is very, very, very tight. It's minus seven on shield, I believe. So it's really hard to do anything if you're getting snared on your shield. But Mario's one of the characters that can do it. A fast shield grab and a very, very fast up the out of shield. Absolutely, yeah. So far, Mr. Cheese is not doing so good at finding his opening. Oh, wow, that was a great up smash. Snuck that in there. Up almost an entire stock right now, Dre. Boom, there's another up air. <laughs> All right, yeah, not gonna be able to punish that air on shield that time. Comes a little bit of damage with the up airs. Oh, there's another Nair. Yeah, it's just a ton of damage. Like, it's hard to get out of it with any character. Great disjointed, yeah. Great disjointed moves, and it's just like, the combo game is, it goes forever. Big combo here, almost got the DI mix up there and killed him early. Game & Watch is tied with Squirtle for the fourth lightest in the game. Absolutely. Especially if you DI that wrong, even a little bit. I mean, you're going to that top last time. Nice, that was a great upbeat. That move is so disjointed above him that it actually destroyed the bomb, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wow, the forward still killed him. That move is so deceptively strong. Oh, this could be bad. All right, he slipped out of the air, but he's still taking some up air. This is not good for Dre. He was in the lead, but it's starting to slip away from him real quick. Oh, he tried to lift trumpet, but he narrowly missed his, his uh, run off the ledge. Oh, that was an American air dodge right there. Not so good. He's going for the edge guard. He could die to a back air off stage. Oh, he just tried to. Oh, I cannot believe he did that. Oh, and there it goes. He dropped his lead. And this is what Mr. Cheese is known for. You know, he just keeps you in disadvantage for so long with Game & Watch. It, 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 he really plays Game & Watch the way that makes you hate to play against Game & Watch. You know, everyone's going to hate to play against this character 
you know, it's, it's the OG Kazuya and Steve. Before they even came out, this character was there. And he would just take you to zero, to 100. You had the lead, but you don't anymore. And now you're down one game in a best of three set. Yeah, certainly. certainly. He just waits for his opportunities, and he'll definitely create them in certain situations. Let's see if Dre can start this match the way he started the last one. A good frame trap here. Wow, even a uh, Nair as safe as Mario's is not going to be that safe against an up out of shield like Damian watches, which we didn't see utilized as much last game. I believe so. I, I think Mario's is, is that fast as well, and Lucina's. Lucina's is actually intangible on frame one. Uh oh, here comes the chair. Yep, there it is. I called it. I mean, that combo is true. It's a true combo. You get stuck on those little pieces of bacon, and then he just runs up and F tilts you, and there's nothing you can do about it. And it's getting out of control for Dre. You know, he had a great lead, but he's a visibly emotional player, and this is getting downhill very quickly. There's another up the outer shield. But yeah, like I was saying, they're both. Both of their upbeats are frame free out of shield. Lucina's is frame free as well, but it has intangibility on frame one. I'm surprised that we're not seeing upbeats out of shield from Dre with the nares on the shield. He's tried to do things like back air, and he's tried to do things like grab, but no upbeats, even though it's his fastest out of shield option. Back air, he's still living. Even a light character like that is still living. There it is. Close out the kill. All right, let's see if he can do it. There's that flood like we were talking about earlier. Great usage of it. Oh, wow. That Nair is just so disjointed. It's going to hit you from a mile away. Jump it away. Oh, that was a good episode. He was looking for a grab. Oh, no punish from the dash attack. Oh, he just waited for the air dodge. He almost killed him. The back air. Oh, what a roll. Waited for the down air. Great stuff. Good parry. Oh my god. He's cutting it close there. Wow, the chair. The chair is so strong. Still living. No fish this time. Or bacon, I guess. Not, not fish. <laughs> I always want to call them fish. They just look like fish. <laughs> oh. He almost got him with the DI mix up with all that rage. Jumping out of the way was definitely the move there. You don't want to get caught in a tech chase. All right, he's playing defensively better than he was at the beginning of this game. Great. Almost. Almost caught him with that down. Wow, what an up smash! He totally read him falling through that platform. Not, not at zero. What he'll do is he'll... At zero percent, Mario... This might be his biggest weakness. He struggles to start combos, you know? So what he can do is he can, he can grab you, he can up throw you, and he can down air. But beyond that, you've got to get to around 30% before you can start your down throw into up air combos. You can get the spike off the edge, or you can like do platform extensions to kill off the top. But at this early, Mario's really going to struggle to get a lot of percent. There we go. Now he's got him at 30. Oh, it really is. Here we go. Here's some damage. If you can get him with some solid up airs at the ledge, there's some good damage. 82%. Now this is how it looked at the end of the last game. Let's see if he can hold on to his lead. Oh, big up, he had a shield. Good shield patience. Unless the players really would have played both shield in that situation. <laughs> Oh, shield poke that time. Link green dash attack. Oh, snap. This is getting a little rough. It's getting a little messy here. Good grab. Great grab. <laughs> Uh-oh, the shield grab. Or not the shield grab, the dash grab. Not bad. This is so close. Oh, he just ran up to him. Great spacing, though. Great, great spacing. With the, the, the shield dash. Oh, he almost killed him off of that. If he just did a short hop downer, I think that would have done him. Oh my god. And there it is. Got the back air. Game three situation. 
This could be a top eight set with how good these players play in locals. But this is no local. This is Cowhouse. This is a regional. We got some top 30 players in the world here. So we got players like Dre and Mr. T fighting to get out of pools, I think. This is winner's round three. I think this is to get out of pools. That's crazy. Absolutely stacked bracket. So hard. We got people like we saw last game on stream was Xavier versus Carvia. Carvia. A hidden boss of Senkel, possibly a 10, top 10 player versus the second best Wii Fit trainer in the world. That was super close as well. And that was also to get out of pools. We're not even in top 32 yet. Yeah, very, very interesting. I mean, like, you're not going to have much places to run for either of them. So both of them are going to be more susceptible to getting hit by those combos. Just like that, you don't have anywhere to run. You can go to the ledge, you can try to go to the platform, but it's just so much less space to run away. Here we go with the fish. That's going to do a lot of work if you can get those. Uh-oh. All right, DI'ing up. That's great. We got a little bit of a floaty character in Game Watch as well. Strong lead for Mr. Cheese so far. Ah, and there goes the chair, the sliding F tilt. That's crazy. Okay, stuck in a couple up airs. Oh, nice to down here to get a disadvantage. You know, like I mentioned earlier, like Steve, you know, Steve can just use Anvil to get out of disadvantage or minecart. Game & Watch just uses down air, and you don't even need resources for that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, he's got the chair. He's a locksmith. He's got that key. All right, stock number two. The dash attack and no punish. Wow. You know, it's hard because he hurt box shifts. It's hard to tell which side he's going to go on. Up he had a shield. Here comes a down air. Oh, no follow up. Good SCI. Good SCI in that combo. Great grab. That was a good dash grab. Recognizing that the Nair was facing the other way, so he had an opportunity to punish it. Wow, he got the shield grab this time. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for up air into forward air. There we go. Now we're starting to see some up out of shield start to connect. Oh, he almost killed him! That S smash is so strong. Oh, he got him! He got him. Uh, all right. We got a lead for Mr. Cheese here. This is getting real close. Oh, the tilting of the shield. All right, we're seeing some real elite defense from Dre. I mean, he's reacting to everything, picking his options. Exactly as you can see. Boom! He read his roll. He covered it with the up smash. What a reaction. Air dodge. Oh! Barely missing these grabs, which can start a lot of damage. Just like that up, he had a shield. How's he going to get out of this advantage this time? There we go. Jumping away. Air dodging to the ledge. Oh. These multi hits. Yeah, you got to really watch out for them. Oh, there we go. We're starting to see some tricky stuff to get off the ledge. This is not good. He's in disadvantage at 65. Mr. Cheese has a big lead. He can kill him right here if he can get these fish. What an exile. That was great. He needed that. That was perfect. The cross up. Big damage. Uh oh, that's not good. Mario is that kill percent. Strong character like Game & Watch. Uh oh, here come the up -ears. Narrowly missed a massive combo. Uh oh. Oh, he almost got him. He almost killed him. Not going to approach that up smash just like you should. Watch out there. A little, little preemptive with that. Oh! The cape was perfect. Almost killed him there. This is the last lock situation. Oh my god! Don't. Oh! He's in his face. They're both looking for their kill options. Oh, he could have smashed him right there. Oh! The kill sparks! The kill sparked! He was throwing pixels off. Oh, he could have smashed! Oh my god. The chair would have killed. He grabbed them. What a grab. You have to be so brave to grab in that situation. Oh! That downer might have killed. Oh! The up air did it! Wow! Oh my gosh! He killed him with up air. What a conversion. Mr. Cheese up beat. He narrowly avoided it. Micro space it. Hit him with the up air to kill him off the top. That was. Crazy set. That was for top 32. Top 32 winners qualifier. What a set. This tournament is already crazy.
<laughs> Honestly, you sent him up there. Game Watch is up there. Goodbye. Wow, that was crazy. What a set. All right, Jimmy Chonga versus Pyro here. All right, Jimmy Chonga on that legendary Falco. So hard to beat this Falco. A menace of a character, honestly. They're neutral, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. I mean, Fox, like, that's kind of how it is. Like, I don't know. It's tough because Fox has really good neutral. He's really fast. And his combos are crazy, too. He's like underrated. You know, Fox is just one of those characters. I feel like Wolf is starting to fall out of the meta a little bit. Not as strong of a character. Not as polarizing as the other two. Yeah, definitely. Oh, P2. Yeah, I just realized who we got here. Solid. I mean, to make it this far, winners to qualify for top 32, you got to be a good player. And oh, let's see what Hyro the P2 can do. I've never heard of this player. Not sure what region they're from, but let's see what we got. Okay, Santa Cruz. I see. Nice. Nice. That's great. Let's see what he can do against someone like Jimmy. You know. That's one of the things I've talked to Jimmy about the matchup versus Squirtle, and he thinks it's one of Falco's worst matchups because it's hard to get your combos started on such a small character. So I imagine it would be similar versus someone like Pichu. And both of them are, you know, strong combo characters, but they both do die extremely early. I think that Falco has the tools to take it down. Yeah, that's true. You can camp a little bit more. You can definitely afford to. Oh, big back air. That's going to do it. Take the first stock off of Jimmy. Yeah. Boom. All right. Yeah, that seems to be what he's struggling with so far is just getting his openings on this character. And unlike with Pokemon Trainer, you don't switch to bigger characters at any point. You're staying this small little character. You always got to find your openings in a very creative way. Ooh. All right. Oh, I'm surprised. He okay, yeah, drag down into down tilt. That makes sense. I was like, I'm surprised he didn't just keep the forward air going without the drag down because that might have killed him. But the down tilt's definitely going to do it. Yeah, I mean, this character is the lightest character in the game. Absolutely. Strong, strong move. And he's up almost an entire stock against Jimmy. This is crazy. All right. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely. You gotta play defense though, because I mean, if we're being honest, one up tilt into back air could kill Pichu on the ledge at this percent. Good combos. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Down almost an entire stock he is now. Oh, got the jab. All right. Forward air. What's the edge guard? Doesn't make it back on stage safely. Good reflector. That was good. I mean, he didn't really have another landing option that was safe at that point. Uh-oh. Good tech. Good tech from Jimmy. I'm sure he meant the directional tech, though. He saw him shake a little bit in the player camp. Knew it was going to get covered. Oh, this is looking real good for Hyro. Wow, nearly avoided that. Event. Okay, a little bit bad DI in that down tilt. Got a DI behind Falco is what it looks like. Yeah. Rage is definitely going to help. Oh, barely missed. Barely missed that combo. Uh-oh. He's dead. That's going to do it. Wow, solid game one for Hyro against Jimmy Chandra, one of the best players in the Central California region. You know, I'm not sure uh, from what I hear, uh, Falco players like FD because, you know, those strong combo characters like Peach, like Kazuya, like Luigi, the platform can give you some extra mix-up defense, like, for tech options. So they generally like FD or those, those stages that are going to be, you know, have no platforms because then they don't have to worry about tech mix-ups for their combos. You know, it's less neutral, more advantage state for these characters. Yeah. Got some good combos. Wow, that Nair must be pretty safe on shield. He's just one of those characters. You don't really know the matchup that well. It's like, is this safe? Is this? Oh! Rare SD from Jimmy going the complete opposite way at 50%. Oh, the four tilt trip. He's totally riding this momentum. Almost killed him at 30%. Good DI in the up tilt. He would have died from that back air. Up throw, good DI on the up throw. You know, I think Hyro knows this matchup well. They must play against like a Falco often because they're DIing everything right. They're, you know, avoiding all the, the little tricks, you know, the matchup checks and stuff like that. They're playing it very well. Either they're, you know, a true grinder that has a lot of experience or they've got a Falco in their region. Or they're just some prodigy. <laughs> All right, that's still pretty even. Even with the SD that Jimmy had, it's still pretty even. He could definitely bring this back. All right, he's playing more defensive now. Not approaching as much. Pulling out the lasers. Making safe options, like that forward air. It has so much hit priority. It's actually way more disjointed than it looks. That move is my least favorite move about Falco. I hate fighting Falco and getting hit by that forward air. It never stops. Always throwing it out. You know, it doesn't matter how small the character is, that forward air will still hit you. It will still hit you. Good reflector. Tech roll in, there we go. Up smash, good call out there from Jimmy. Now he's got a leap for the first time in this set. Even with the SD at 50%, he's pulling it out. I think he's starting to figure it out. Oh, he almost killed him. He probably would have died from that at 60%, but he slipped out. Good shield patience, but the shield poke is going to prevail. Wow, that combo, that's crazy. Took him all around the world. A lot of damage. Try to S-Man. Boom, the back air. That's going to do it. Wow. Solid two stock from Jimmy this time. Turning it around real quick. He says, I don't need that first stock. I'm just going to fly off stage anyways. Crazy. I think he got in his head with that <laughs> He one. got his head. Huh? I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to go this way this time. I think I kind of relaxed after. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got this. I won the first game pretty handedly. And they're going to Kalos. 
I'm not sure how I feel about this stage. You know, he's going to have a good opportunity for some of the combos, but Jimmy hasn't really gotten a lot of, like, uh, traumatizing or, or like dramatic combos in this set so far. Or, or what's the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean, like uh, uh, devastating. There you go. It's a D word, one of the D words. Yeah. Hasn't got many devastating combos th this set. Maybe Peachy. Yeah, Peachy's like kind of a fastballer, so you would imagine it's easy enough, but he's just pretty small. Yeah, certainly. Another back air. He's got him off stage. Oh, almost hit him with that little soft spike from that side beast. Off stage, wall jump for both of them. Yeah, possibly, yeah, yeah. He's kind of like hiding under them. They've both been playing by the ledge pretty frequently in this game. Hanging out under those platforms can make it a little trickier for a Falco to approach you aerially. aerially so. He's approaching with a lot of falling down airs, Jimmy is. So, I mean, you know, hiding under the platform could help you a little bit against that. Wow, big F tilt! Dead at 119. All right. We're not seeing a bunch of, you know, the 40 or 50. Oh! Just as I said, at the 40-50% combo, he pulls one out. Absolutely. Packs a lot of punch. Even with the nerfs that they received, like, early on, you know, they got a couple buffs here and there. They're still very strong, but they're just so light. They do so much damage to themselves. The character's kind of falling out of the meta a little bit, but they still are very powerful. Hyro's showing that right now. He's got a good lead in Game 3. Yeah. You know, a lot of people try to camp Pichu because obviously Pichu does damage to himself. But when you're at this percent, you could die to anything. It's like, why not just throw out the Thunder Jolt? I'm going to die to anything anyway. Yeah. Almost killed him with that forward, or the forward tilt, rather. There it is. He's down three stocks to one. This is crazy. That ought to do it. That ought to do it there. All right. Jimmy needs a Falco combo right now. I bet he's going to look for his opening with the down air. Oh, he's got a forward air into the side B. Nothing more. Just a little chip damage. A Nair. Rarely seen. Yeah. Boom. Oh, the reverse up air. That was a little finesse there. Oh, he tried to kill him. He tried to kill him at 39. Smaller side blast zones with Talos just slightly. Uh, just barely missed that grab. Got a down air. Into the up smash. Great DI. Wow, DI behind him for that. That's insane. I would have DI'd the other way. It's looking a lot closer now. Peachy's at kill percent. He gets a drag down forward air into a down tilt. Or maybe not because it's Talos. He needs this edge guard right now. He almost got it. Uh-oh. Reflector. Jimmy's got to not take much damage right now. Oh, and he just took 15. Right above Peachy's head. Yeah. Try to go for the grab. That could have killed Jimmy, honestly. Oh, grab just on the wrong side of him. Double parry! Okay, a little rough DI. He didn't DI behind him like he did the first time he got hit by that. Jimmy's got to get his opening. And this edge guard could lead to the death of Jimmy. Chonga the Falco. He aired us through the combo. He's living. He's going to look for that down air. That back air is going to do it. There it is. Honestly, I think that's an upset from Hyro. Taking it 2-1 over Jimmy Chonga. Very impressive stuff to make it out of Pool's winner's side. All right, there you go. All right, well, I'm gonna hop off, guys. Leaving it up to your mama. Let's go. What's up, bro? Yeah. That's Carnage. There was a sign up.
Like they're about to start. Got Tuan joining me on commentary. Yo, mama. That's me. <laughs> yes, I believe so. At least the first one on stream for sure. Oh, big combo coming out here from Luis's Rob. Easy, 69%. Wow, that was quick. Down tilts. Boom, got him off stage. 100% unanswered. Yeah, definitely. 140. Oh, that looks like it's going to do it. Boom. Wow. <laughs> there you go. All right, 52, not bad for a Wario combo. <laughs> Just going for it. Boom, big Nair. Wow, all of top 32 is best five. That's great. All right, he was starting to make up for a little bit of lost time from the last stock. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Almost, yeah. Safely drifting away. Oh, gonna catch him all the way up there. Wow. Yeah, definitely. All right, he's got it right there. Uh, if he gets a good opening, the watch is going to be on in about five seconds. He can pick this back up. You know, I see the Wario's in the Senkau region doing this so often, they fall behind, and then just like that, all of a sudden, you're at kill percent with Waft, and this could be an even game, just like that. Yeah, certainly. That's going to change the neutral for sure. Oh, so I just got it right there. Get some percent back. <laughs> so hard to avoid. Yeah, I went deep for that. Wow, with the forward air, I think. <laughs> All the way down there. Right. That's right, that's right, Keo. But Keo, I think when he's approaching, he's doing it a little fearful, like always stopping and going into shield, rather than like keeping, keeping in motion, making sure Luis can't like telegraph where he wants to be. So he's got to be more proactive in his approach. But we'll see how he adapts in the second game. Yeah, he's looking a little shaky, but. You know, let's see what he can do. Kyo's definitely one of the best players in the Senkau region, at least. But you're not going up just some random person from your local. This is Luis, for sure. Top 30 player in the world. Big combo to open it up. It's the Wario attacks right there. Oh, nice. Got both hits of the Nair. Oh, okay. Nice tech. Oh, wow. He teched the first one, but then he, like, fell off of a second hit. Yeah. I saw him tech, like, one of the hits, but then he, like, bounced off. There he is. Yeah, wow. Great. Clean first stock from Keo. This is great. Good grab into missed up air. Yeah. Good shield of that laser.
Almost got that grab. Oh, big back air. Yeah, it's a little risky trying to parry a move like that. Not quite with the list round. Double up tilt. Wow, into the half waft. It's a great lead that he earned himself right there. Right. That didn't really send him that close to the blast round. Still living. Wow. Wario is so heavy, too. That's insane. There it goes. Oh, got some gyro combos coming here. Um, I see. Oh, that was a good fight. Okay. Almost got that back here. That's the gyro. <laughs> I never noticed that he's all like wiggling back and forth and he gets hit with that down tilt. Yeah. Woo! Went a little low. Going high this time. Nice. And he did use that half waft earlier. Oh, he's still charging it. Okay, there you go. Good patience. Good patience. Right. Oh, tech chase. There you go. All right. Time is starting to run down. It's been a while since he used the half waft. Another full one might be coming online pretty soon here. Yeah, I think I just saw this guy. Yeah. Gotcha. Ooh, he's avoiding these nares and the lasers extremely well. Barely missed that parry. Uh oh, that's not good. And there it goes. That's going to kill him. Wow. What a pickup from Luis with the Rob combo. Wow, crazy. Luis seems to have been working on his Rob for a while at Locals, you know, last week at TCC Dreamland Saga. You're from the same region as him. Is he planning on incorporating Rob into more of his main lineup for majors as well, or is it more for Locals and Regionals? Oddly enough, I've been thinking him to go Rob at a major. He finally did go Rob against Eric Burridge. Oh, I see. I see. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Not quite yet. Oh, wow. That up air is just joined through the like, last little part of the nair there. Good tech. Uh oh, here comes the Let him air dodge off, there it is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting down here there. All right. He's really got to pick up some damage here and get him into kill percent soon, or it's not going to look so good in this game three. Yeah. Nice little gyro pick up there. Trying to catch him going high. Not quite this time. Oh, that did so much shield damage. <laughs> Ah, oh, jumping right there. Still living. Wow. Certainly. <laughs> oh, that was an aggressive forward there. All right, I like that. Okay. He's got a lot of rage. He could get a solid combo. Never mind. Waft is on the table now. Absolutely. 
Nice little parry there. Oh, eating the laser. Ah, oh, missed his jump. Unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, I think he went for the footstool. Wow. There, into up tilt, into up air. Good tech chase. Yeah. Certainly. Oh, down tilt the wrong way. Rolling all over the place. Got hit by that back air again. Woo! Wow, I can't believe that scooped him. Throws the bike up and is already Yeah. Well, that's going to do it. 3-0. Luis over Keo. That game two was looking real close. Luis was able to steal it away with the gyro combo. Impressive stuff from his secondary with the Rob. Very nice. Sounds like Melee's popping off a little over there. Impressive showing from both players. Keo, when he got his game plan going, was executing it very well. Yeah. Making sure that he was keeping Luis at disadvantage. Um, up until Luis started going high, and I think he was just struggling to um, juggle Rob while Rob was landing with Nairs. Yeah, definitely. It's tough. I mean, that Nair is super big, and Wario is just one of those characters. Like, you have to get pretty close to get your hits. Not super disjointed or anything like that, but he played it pretty well. It's a great showing for both players. Fear and D tier on stream. All right. D tier is our resident Ice Climbers player. And Fear is uh, he mains Captain Falcon, has a secondary Steve. Both of them have been in the top 20 area of RPR. D tier right now is probably a top seven player in Senkal. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I saw they upset um, Klotsu earlier. Yep. As well as someone else, I think. Maybe I'm mistaken on the second one, but yeah. Yeah, definitely they, Klotsu, they though. Upsets to get this far. Like, they're showing that they deserve to be on this stage right now. And I look forward to seeing what they have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it's fun, fun character to watch. And D-Tier, at least for me as a resident Senkal player, it's very easy to root for D-Tier. The d things are pretty good. Yeah, definitely some of the, like, every once in a while you'll see them. Stronger, uh, probably a stronger sense of, of neutral, I would say, in certain situations. But they've, they've got their little, you know, decent kill confirms. Nothing completely outstanding like you'd see from someone like, you know, Big D or anything like that. But they'll they'll show up every once in a while. That's right. Oh, yeah. I think he's come up to a few field houses before, or something, it's something like that. Last time, <laughs> honestly, the last hack he had was fear and Morse code on Star GG. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the Steve. Now it's definitely a, a pre preferable Three, matchup. Two, one, go. I have to play a match, so I'll be stepping up. Hopefully, someone can control Joe Mama. Yeah. Well, big shout out to Quan. All right. Good luck on your match. Oh, all right. Little uh, little tomahawk blizzard action. Going on there from D tier. Oh, throwing him off stage. Getting caught in the ice. All right. Not looking so good for Fear so far. Big damage from D tier. Playing the matchup pretty well. Boom! Big pickup from D tier. Wow, impressive first stock. Up an entire stock. The damage output of this character is underrated and so crazy. 
Boom. A little back here. All right. Already a 34. Oh, 34 right back. Big diamond combos here. Trying to read with an F smash. Not quite this time. Big back air. Only going to hit the following mana climber. All right. We got... Whoa. Whoa. Throwing that pickaxe all over the place. This diamond's doing some damage. Can't run away quite fast enough, man. He was just slow. One of the slower characters in the game. You find it kind of struggling, even against a character like Ice Climbers in certain situations, like that bursty little tornado blizzard move. They're breaking down the blocks. Uh-oh. Throwing him off stage. Let's see if he can get the edge guard. No, nope, not this time. Opting to try and get some more materials. Build another diamond. Only at 15.8%, so not a bad choice. Oh, I'm surprised that made it through, but it is Diamond Pickaxe after all. Nice. That was a good pickup, but I'm surprised Popo's living right now. Good back air. I mean, there's not much you could do right there. Maybe an air dodge would save him, but it's a hard situation. That was a good blizzard, honestly. Like, the tempo mix-ups on d -tier is pretty crazy. Oh, he dropped the combo. That could have been so much percent with the diamond. The parry into the back air. d -tier's playing this crazy. Blizzard. No punish from Beer. Okay, little punish there. Now you're 74%. Without hardly having to work for it, Steve, this character is crazy. Uh, barely missed that punish as well. Some damage. Okay. Missed a little kill confirm out of that Blizzard. Wow, what an F smash! Incredible! Trying to break the blocks. All right, breaking the, uh, the crafting table as well. Good stuff. Wow. Oh, barely living with that air dodge. Pretty good. Now there goes Nana. Now it's just Popo. At 112. This, this is pretty close, but d -tier's had it pretty handedly over Fear so far. Hitting it with three different icicles. Oh, barely missing with that. Both of them are just the micro spacing was pretty impressive. Oh, try to read that jump. Cover that jump. Didn't quite work this time. Oh, got hit by that. He just committed to an option a little too soon and wasn't able to get out of it fast enough to escape the Minecraft minecart. Oh, those iron blocks are going to be a little tough to get through. All right, throwing some more icicles at him. Oh, there we go, avoiding the minecart. You know, you're seeing it, him narrowly avoiding the minecarts in this set so far, so... I would be a little worried about that you know, from watching this in d -tier's perspective. I would be a little bit more proactive of those minecarts. V-Sync, not going to get much out of it. Oh, snuck that back air through. You know, that makes it a lot easier to do because Ice Climbers is a floatier character, so you can really fast fall through those platforms and hit the back airs a little bit more accurately. It's a little easier to do which is someone like Fox. You know, you've got some fast frame data, but you got to time it really well because you fall just so fast. There you go. That's going to do it. Solid, solid, solid showing in the first game for D-Tier. Taking game one. This is best of five. Crazy stuff. Honestly, a dominant game. I mean, if I'm D-Tier, I'm happy about it. This matchup is really, really bad for Ice Climbers, and he's playing it very well. Here, you know, he's got to make some adaptions in this matchup. You know, you're playing a character who, I mean, you can switch up the way you play the nearly infinite amount with Steve. You know, you've got so many options when it comes to play styles and mix-ups and stuff like that. So he could definitely do it with this character. But let's see if he's got what it takes right now to take out D-Tier. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, wow. A little bit of Nana escaping action there. That was crazy. He's getting a little lucky, I must say. He's got luck on his side in this set. Boom, the get-up attack. That was smart. That was a very smart option. It's hard to follow what both climbers are doing when you're cobbling them. You know, they've just, like, got to keep track of both of them or you're going to get hit by some weird little get-up attack or falling there while you're in the middle of the animation of a move for the other one. Oh, this could be death right here. Not quite yet. He air dodged away. Building a little bit of blocks, trying to get some more material. Little trade. Neither of them are going to die yet.
Big back air still living. It was only one climber that got that back air. He's going to possibly re-grab, but he's staying away because he doesn't want to get hit by that up smash. I think the timer has escaped long enough now that he won't. There, he will have instant ability. Frames killed himself with the block. Wow, that's unfortunate for Fear. He was at 140%. You know, you can't be too bummed out about it. Get some damage going. Oh, big damage from the double up airs of those climbers. Grab. No tech from Nana. I'm not sure if you can tech that with Nana or not. I'm not sure how that works. So interesting. What a parry. All right. Threatening with back air. Nice. Okay, yeah. Just landed on the wrong side. Ended up getting F smash. Could have happened on either side, honestly. Jumping away from the minecart, getting hit with 14% from, I believe, a diamond. I didn't quite catch if he's got that yet. Missed the back air. He escaped. Wow. That is so crazy. Throw. No punish from the lead climber. Still no punish. He's getting away with a lot right here. This is Steve. Boom, boom. All right. Another solid lead for D tier. He's doing very well in this bracket. Or in this set, rather. Oh, a little F tilt. I wonder if he meant to fall through the platform there and do a back air. Wow, he got traded with minecart. That's unusual for a grounded move to do that, especially like an anti-air. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I mean, to have your... I don't think he has a jump. Wow, no punish there. Okay. And he kills him. He could get some good extra credit on this stock with the Sopo. Alright, he's got a diamond going now. Now he's gonna engage and try to kill this Sopo. You got 77%, like that's that's pretty good for you, but I mean, how much are you gonna be able to do? If you're someone like D tier, it's a lot. You're at 47% now. That's insane. This Sopo goes so hard. It honestly doesn't make much sense to me how he consistently is able to get extra credit in this capacity with such a bad character of just one ice climber, not both climbers. No S smash there, not successful. Little blizzard, little chip damage. We got Cav joining me on the mic. Yo, what's up, man? Howdy, Cav. Okay. All right, now for up air. Dude, this entire Sopo song has been so clean. It's insane. I was just saying how unreal it is, how he can consistently do so well with one ice climber, the worst character in this game. Oh my god, what a parry. He's just waiting for fear. Fear's getting so unreal. He's just waiting to see if fear's just mine yeah. car for him. That's true. Well, I mean, he'll he'll take his time when he's mining, but once he's got the resources that he wants and he builds his diamond, he's going to engage, and he's not mixing it up as much yeah! as he could. The Sopo oh takes an entire God. stock. Wow. That Sopo was like at 47% when Nana died, and he just completely killed him on his second stock and then just drained his last stock. Yeah. Crazy I mean, stuff. I mean... I, just, I don't know. I feel like I feel like especially with I feel like especially with the amount of tools Steve has, the amount of stuff you can just trap. Yeah. Why are why are, why are you forcing yourself to him when like yeah. he, he can't do anything? Right? right. Why don't you force him to approach a little bit more? Yeah. Why don't you wait back a little? Wait for Tier Two to do something. You don't have to be the first one throwing one. out every move. And with Tier up to oh, we gotta see if Tier is gonna fix that or Tier is gonna take a nice three zero in this second one. Yeah. I was just saying earlier, you know. D tier, you know, he's been a little 50 50 in the first game dealing with the minecart, so that's something to watch out for. But we're not seeing a lot of minecarts forcing D tier to react and pick an option. We're seeing him run at him, and then maybe in disadvantage, he'll pick a minecart. Oh, okay, we're picking up some, com oh, wow. some combos here. Oh, man, it just air dodged and killed herself oh, for no yeah. reason. You know, that's that's how it goes sometimes the nan attack. You saw D tier shaking his head a little bit in the play. Yeah, yeah unfortunate. Fine, fine. And, you know, we saw a good Sopo last game. Boom, big up there. You know, it's a good amount of damage. Wow, what a nair. That nair was crazy. All right. At this point, like, you really should be camping the Sopo out because, like, oh, okay, yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate. Yeah, one, one too many up airs, there was no way to come back there because you didn't have the second climber, no way to rise on the side, dude. Oh, we're going to see an up 
throw combo coming off from here. Boom, forward throw. Okay, still looking pretty solid, all right? Not quite in the lead. Fear has the lead right now, but D tier is he's still playing pretty well. Big Steve combo putt. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, and especially, like, especially with a character like Steve, Fear is piloting him to a, a much greater degree than we were seeing last game. He's waiting back, waiting for D tier to come in more, and he's getting a lot more openings. Steve openings oh. get so much more sense than people with that sometimes. Now up three stocks to one. Wow. Get the combo starter and already 37%. Up till 37. And we're just seeing it. We're Living good DI, wow. Even, wait, we're seeing him not running as much as that last game, and he's getting so many more openings because of Good parry, yeah. He's playing this extremely well compared to the last game. There's a big back there, and he's going to lose that first stock. But you are still Steve with diamonds with and diamonds. the entire stock up of your opponent. This got so much like resources. Oh, Blowing no. yourself up 16%. This is a yeah. pretty good trade, though. It's a very good trade. 72 Absolutely. Oh, make him run into that TNT. Wow. Yeah, that was really smart by here. Setting it up, waiting for Heatsier to finally run in, you know. Setting something up like we were talking about with Heatsier research. He has so many tools to set things up, and this is already looking so, so good for Heatsier. Oh, there we go. So much Such damage. Especially when Steve's on so it. Yeah, absolutely. He manages air dodge off stage, and it just didn't work out. As well that time. Easy Dog says, Cav, how are you? Dude, I'm doing great. Mic number two is really low, they no! say. I don't know how to turn it up. Um, I don't know either. These are generally just for the headphones, yeah. right? Uh, let's try this a little bit. Let us know how this is in the chat. Maybe get it a little closer. Say something. Hello? Is that any better? Is Cav's mic better? I just don't want to be like breathing into the microphone. Much better, they say. Okay. All right. We got it. Now I can hear you. Hi, Cav, Hi, says Peter. Peter, All you're right. the GOAT. You should be here commentating with us. We've got Munch, I love feet, heading into game four here. <laughs> Last game was a great game for Fear. We saw, we saw him go back. We saw Boom. a lot more. Big damage. Advantage for Fear, but the advantage for DJ, you're already 65%, wow. 76 now. Stuck in the Unanswered. Match. Oh, not anymore. A little 10% chip the damage from my curse. curse. The Yo Mama curse is real. Waiting back now, and this is all he has to do. You really, you don't want to approach a character like Steve. He's been waiting back and forcing Fear to approach her more, but you know, Fear waited back more in that last game, and we just gotta see Fear stay patient. You have something like, you know, mine, you have neutral beat, you can just wait back and get materials for free. There's no reason that you have to approach. Yeah, you know, like I mentioned in the first game, these mine carts are kind of catching Fear off yeah. guard in certain situations. You know, it's almost like he's not ready for it where Fear is placing it. <laughs> yeah. And so if he starts to rely on them a little bit more, it could do really well for him. Yeah, and we're we're seeing good minecart movement. We're seeing here not forcing advantage as much, but that was so committal, such a committal F smash. No reason to go for something like that. Oh, and little fistful. Down, down a whole stock D tier, 69% on his first stock. Fear with diamond, but you don't want to burn all these resources too fast because we've seen how fast D tier gets in and how much advantage they will really turn it to. Yeah. He, he's gotten in just one or two times and you're Ooh. almost at a kill percent or you end up dead. Great F smash from Fear, not dead just well, yet. Well, right over his head, there's another minecart. And it's and still out. living. Getting get a little breathing room here, up B to the ledge. No minecart this time. Nice. Oh, wow. I'm nice surprised there's no up smash. Barely missed that micro spacing. Huge damage coming out from D tier. 58%. And he's just waiting oh. back. Going to lose the AI there. Still living. Wow, she actually lived. That's no crazy. Way. I wonder if she just has less damage on her than the main climber does. She has to because there's no way, especially because she takes more damage right. than the base climber. There's oh, no sweet. way. You know, but the thing is about the mine, uh, or sorry, the oh, animal, and he gets big the forward he gets smash. The ledge trump F smash. The AI that was the, oh, the, the, the AI, AI ledge. Trump, I've, I've seen that before. Wow. Impressive. What a good that trick. That is such a good setup. You know, the thing is, like, Steve, when he's on the anvil like that oh, and it sorry. hits, it does a lot more damage and knockback, or knockback specifically, but he had jumped off of it, so it wouldn't do as much knockback as you normally see it do, because oh, he yeah. jumped off of it. And 15%, the, the AI getting comboed here a little bit, going to take some damage, but Fear 64% in D tier is just off of the races right now, just really up in Fear's face, 66. Ooh, big hit there from. damage on Banana, though. And if you can kill Nana here really early and get like a cheese stock on Popo, this is more than winnable. And Absolutely, there it gone. is. 
and we just saw so much damage immediately rack on that second percent. Yeah, we've seen the Sopo do some work, but Fear is using these mine carts now, and there's not much that Ice Climbers can do to deal about to yeah, deal with those mine carts. And now look, he's just waiting, getting his resources. There you back. go. He's taking the opportunity. Even if DTR is up, he's only on Sopo. There's no threat here, and he can build up for this next stock and take advantage whenever DTR does something too committal. Right, he's trying to scout his hits safely. There's another mine cart. It's just nearly uncontestable with a Sopo. Okay, there you go, jumping right over it. Perfect timing. Trying to destroy these blocks. Do a little bit of safe pressure. Hit oh, by that again. There yeah, it is. The Minecart back air at 90% is going to do it every time. And he still has he still has his, uh, his diamond tools, but he has another diamond in the pocket Yeah, right that's now. right. Big damage, 41%. His pickaxe is gone, but he's still got the axe. He tried to read him with that S-Smash. Wow. Hit him with a little now chip both damage. Players on last stock, but fear getting another diamond. That minecart might be low percent, but everything else is brand new. All right, he's trying to get some more materials. He's camping. It's hard to contest this with another ice climbers. Another diamond. He has two diamonds. Wow. And now he's just Preparing waiting. his materials. Uh oh, he set himself up for that punish. Wow. Seventy-seven percent. This is now anyone's game. We saw Dieter with such a big lead, ninety-three now, and fear in it. Oh, Dieter stuck at ledge. Nana did do a directional air dodge for no reason, but the up B did correct her back. That was a little dangerous. Could have lost that secondary climber. Oh, big back air. Wow, Microspace it well to hit that in the minecart. And there's another big minecart. Offstage, this is a bad situation. Oh, oh my gosh. Back air offstage, this is big. Oh. Tried to read him with the SMS. What a roll. That was a great option. Nana's dead. Oh, and those nerves. Those F smashes. What could those F Oh, the extension. The extension with the crafting table. Wow. You gotta think about it. You have to think about it. That back air pressure at the end. That F smash. What if that was something, yeah. that was something more safe? Those F smashes, after Nana died, it was so much harder to put pressure on. And that's what led to him dying. Yep, that's right. You know, at Fear is using minecart a lot better, and Dieter is struggling to deal with it. We are on the verge of a reverse 3-0 here. This is crazy stuff. This would be an upset. This would be an upset. Fear over Dieter. Peter predicts that Dieter is going to get an answer to the aggressive minecarts. Yeah, I did see Peter in chat, especially talking about um, the, the ice blocks, and we're seeing the minecarts beat those out. DJ needs to find another way in. Maybe maybe going underneath, trying to find something, trying to call out the minecart, just wait underneath them, wait for an anvil, something afterwards. But we're going to see where this game five goes, and so far, it's looking real nice for Peter with an early 64 to 64. Oh, wow. He's adapting very well, playing a lot better than he did in the first two games. Wow, that dash attack, good burst option. The ledge. Trapping is not going to... Okay, there you go. A little bit of damage. 29. No follow-up with the up airs. Desync action. Good parry. Good parry. Forwarders to destroy the blocks, but he's spacing him a little safer so he doesn't get hit by an F-Smash like he did in the last game. Destroyed. The crafting table. Keep wanting to call it the enchanting table. The enchanting table? <laughs> I mean, it might as well be with the, with the knockback four that it gives him. <laughs> yeah, smash. the knockback four, yeah. Yeah, and we're going to see the down smash come out, and that's going to be the first stock going to fear. And Pete's here. You don't want to be at these deficits against, no. against Steve. The, yeah, Steve can just tamp you so well. Oh, watch out for that. We don't want to land on that pressure plate. Steve. Like, Fear was just not camping enough those first games, and now we've yeah. seen these last couple games, he's really just turned it up, and it's, it's working greatly. It's working favor. very well. And the minecarts, too. Like, he's timing them pretty well. Dieter's struggling to deal with them. Great anvil parry. All right, just more camping. By those blocks. And, that, and this is why we say, this is why people say that this matchup is so bad, because once you set up those blocks, you start camping, there's not much that Ice Climbers can do. Oh! Nana barely oh. living. Can Nana come and save Popo? Oh. Not this time, because they were desynced. Yeah. So that's gonna send him into into free fall. Yeah. Not only that, she got stuck on the block and then yep. straight into free fall. It's not looking, looking so good. Real rough for D tier. Three stocks to one for fear. Yeah. Oh no, up smash. Okay. That's gonna be kill confirm. Oh, but oh off the block. He almost get him with that up air. 
Almost got him with the little F tilt, down tilt. Wow, the oh, hitbox extension there, with the crafting hard, table. And this yeah, is, yeah, that's this unfortunate. Is, this is looking like a, a potential GG. You know, here can lose a stock here, but Boom. Fear doesn't have any more to lose. 81% on, on Sopo, and Fear has diamonds. We, we got to see we gotta see a miracle here. Absolutely. He's done it on one stock earlier this set before Fear was playing as good as he is now, but, I mean, he's in a rough spot. He's in disadvantage. Wow, yeah. He pushed him right into the crafting table. Or the, uh, the the pressure plate, my bad. Yeah, and Here we go, reverse 3-0. Yeah. Wow. Like that set, reverse 3-0, game five. Wow. Let's go into fear. Oh, right. okay. So, so, for those of you in chat that may have not been paying attention, Xavier, the second best Wii Fit trainer in the world versus you man's the Mario from Central California. He might be the best. Varun's kind of inactive right now, no? Um, as far as the last results that were posted from uh, from Orion Rank, because uh, isn't Orion Rank dead? Uh, is it Orion Rank? Who's who's the one that posts like the uh, the results from from different people? Yeah, I. As as far as that, Varun had the highest results, and Xavier had the second highest results in the world for Wii Fit Trainer. I believe okay. Varun is still you know showing up and doing some things, nothing too drastic, but Xavier's right below him. Oncoming Storm says he's carried for real. Uh, it was Bernard Smash. Bernard's Loop. Yeah, Bernard's Loop. Who I think might have done um, the Orion rank. Bernard's uh -huh. Loop. I think this is the same guy that did that. But he, yeah, thank you for uh, Luisito. I recognize the name. Luisito the Go? What's yeah, Luisito? for pointing that out. Bernard Smash, or, or Bernard's Loop. He is the one who tracks who gets the most results on each character. And he did post the Wii Fit Trainer one, and Varun is still in first place from the last one that I saw. Xavier's right underneath him. Who's commentating? This is Yo Mama and Cab from SenCal. Yo Mama, I'm an unranked player, you know, from SenCal, new to the region. Just hitting it up on commentary. You know how it is. And Cab is the hypest hype man of the region. <laughs> Oh, you know of us, do you? Luis Luisito. I know the name. I'm trying to remember where Game Luisito's from. Game and Watch. Okay, yeah, yeah, I recognize that. I recognize that. What's up, Ez Dog? Easy Dog? Ez Dog? Word. All right, so. Dude, I love you man's his journey attire today. Oh, yeah? I really like <laughs> the Bucket hat. Tunes backwards shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a crazy fit. You meant to the best fit in the venue today. <laughs> the Looney Tunes backwards fit is so crazy. So, I am interested to see how this set goes. Because Definitely. I was watching Xavier play earlier. And this guy, I don't know if it's Xavier or Xavier. Yeah, I think it's Xavier. Okay. This guy was hitting some fucking freak confirms. Crazy stuff. He hit like, yeah. I don't know who he was playing. He was playing Carvey. He, he was playing Carvey on stream, like yeah. Deep breathing combo. Yeah, and oh yeah. He them at like 40 with up yep. smash. I was like, what? It's stuff? crazy stuff, man. This character's nice. Doing a little button check here. I think one of them might be on their own tag. I don't know. I think those are their tags. He was like, erm, I actually don't want to go to PS2. <laughs> I changed my mind. Yeah, I wonder if there's some kind of button check or something like that. Dude, okay. For anyone not at Cow House, I need to visualize this. Where me and your mama are sitting, there is a monitor in front of us that we are watching the set on and commentating it. But also, right above us, <laughs> there is a bright ass, like, movie 70, screen 70, size. 70 inch, like. 70 inch? What? Dude, this is like 300 inches. I, I, I don't. One million. <laughs> 90 inch TVs can fit in your living room. This could fit in my living room. I have a big living room. Big ass living room. It's, yeah, it's the big... size of a movie theater screen. No. And it's an LED it's screen. It's, it's like it's big. almost. Uh, it's, it's like it's the like, size of like a, 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 a nice wall. It's a big wall. Yeah, it's the size of a wall for sure. Right. Bigger than the wall in my bedroom. Anyways, here we go. <laughs> Game one, humans, Xavier. Ooh, big down air to down air. Wow. Xavier traveling all the way from Oregon, if I'm not mistaken. Is it Oregon or Washington? I don't. I want to say Oregon. I okay. really want to say Oregon. I see. Chat, please 
correct me if I'm wrong. Privileged living room? Privileged <laughs> no, 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 my living room is just like the biggest room Wow, what a my house. My room is like so small. Almost dead with that back air. Great DI from Xavier. You know, we're seeing some crazy stuff. There's been a couple times where pulling that soccer oh, yeah. ball out oh, yeah. has backfired for him a little bit, specifically in the set with Carvia. Um, so he's got to maybe you know, keep a little bit more distance when he's throwing those out just like that. Boom! Ooh. Such a deceptive play with that soccer ball. Wow! And so es tricky! Especially with deep breathing. That, that, it's lasting 18 seconds. It's there for so long. He's going to stall and get it right. <laughs> oh! You see him? Oh, you see oh he killed himself at zero. You see him? You know, he's a little surprised, but that was not a worthy trade for sure. Not a worthy yeah, trade. not at all, because now you're already on your last stock, and Xavier, for fresh deep breathing, full stock up. Oh, crazy I'm combos he here. Yeah, he's feeling good. Definitely feeling good. Yeah, the thing with Wii Fit is when you get in on Wii Fit, it, it, their, their disadvantage is not very good. Their disadvantage right. is pretty bad. But if you don't know exactly how Wii Fit works, which... What? <laughs> Carnage? No, stop lying to yourself. <laughs> We have no weapons, and a player like you, man, he doesn't travel much, so you gotta think maybe the character and experience is coming out a little bit, because, like, he's not playing bad, but if you don't know how to deal with certain things from Wii Fit, it's so hard. Deep breathing, right. soccer ball, but you, man's playing really well so far this, uh, this whole yeah. stuff. Yeah, no, I think he's doing really well. You know, he had the SD at zero, you know, sacrificing himself for the kill, which is a little interesting, you know? Oh, that was good Almost DI. That was nice good shot. DI in that falling up there. Just poking at him, doing some little tricky things here. Oh, you Almost not dead. Die I, don't, I think that was a side. That looked like a sour spot. I'm not sure. I think that move is just kind of weak, but it just like looked like it's a strong oh. move because of deep breathing. It looks really even aside from that SD. Like, honestly. Yeah. Other than that SD, I think this game would be like that even. Yeah. And that, that, I mean, that SD could be really costly for you men, but, like, you still got more games to play. With my kill. This, this game isn't even over yet. Mario is... Oh, that's oh. going to kill. Wow, while he was charging the yeah. charge shot. Yeah, Xavier's going to laugh a little bit there. Oh, that's going to kill. Yeah. Bonk. Deep, Deep breathing, man. Deep breathing is so fucking broken. Xavier did well against Kurama at main stage. Easy dog yeah. All right, Xavier. that's good to know. At some PNW tournament, like okay, I think it was major upset, but like that just happened. It might have been. I don't know if it was major upset or if it was Daddy's Den. It was one of the two. Oh, okay, yeah, those, think, those both happened within Daddy's the past Den, six actually. months, I believe. I think it was Daddy's Den. Xavier beat Luis oh, at Eugene. Bound. Bound. Interesting. Knowledgeable yeah, Luisito yeah, yeah. in the chat. In the Oregon Regional, I see. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can clean it up. You know, keep it approximately the same as it was last time, but hopefully without an SD here on the side of you, man. I mean, yeah, other than that SD, last game, you man's looked fantastic. Yeah. We, saw, we saw some great, he was playing around soccer ball really well. He got hit yeah. by it a couple times, but I don't really think he was playing around at all too bad. Um, and that's that's one really big thing you have to be aware of in the weekend matchup is how to play around soccer ball. Ooh. Big combo already coming up. I think he, wa he was trying to read a tech to the edge of the platform, yeah. but it didn't quite work out that way. Mario's a little floaty, so he didn't really have to tech yeah, there. Mar Mario has some weird properties. He's yeah. like weirdly like, he's not like super fast, but he's like, he's like moderate. Like, he's got good air speed. Yeah. yeah. His, air speed His air speed's really quick. He's got moderate dash speed. Not the best air acceleration, but he moves quick in the air. Wow. We think it's so like, we think it's so tricky. Because this character has so many deceiving hitboxes, like yeah. some hitboxes that last long, and then hitboxes yeah. that, like, at a certain part of them send a different way than the other part, like, it's exactly. so weird. Yeah, especially versus players that don't really play on autopilot, but try to... Oh, wow! 51 out of two hits with the soccer ball. Anyways, with players that really try to react to every little thing that the opponent's character is doing, you see him do little tricks like that, and it's going to deceive them. It's going to mess them up. You know, like we were talking about earlier, I feel like it's something that people don't talk about enough is certain characters being floaty. It prevents them from having to be forced into tech situations in certain scenarios. So yeah. they can just DI up, and you don't have to be forced into the tech situation. Strong against characters like Squirtle, who will look for F-tilt tech chases at high percent and stuff like that. Wow. You had a great F smash that last stock, or up smash that last stock, but... Oh, he now. Oh, almost getting that up smash. He man's gonna send one of his own out. Just get a little bit of damage. Probably, probably. Oh, wow! What a cape! Yeah. I wonder what the um, 
the damage multiplier is for his reflector. I know it's not necessarily the strongest, I but mean, it's fast. It's still a reflector. Yeah. You're still getting value off of it. You imagine a low shield here. Really, you just has to wait. You can't really be shielding too much. You don't want that that broken shield. But as Xavier off stage now, in disadvantage, and Umans has some great ledge dropping. Some great ledge wow, he's really like crawling his way back into even here. Yeah, but Xavier able to get off the ledge now, controlling controlling center here. And oh yeah, he went for that like four times right in front of him, and then he just fell for that last one. Oh, someone said that it's 1.5 times multiplier for Mario's Cape Reflector. That's good to know. Thank you, Juner77, or how you say that. Oh, oh. Yeah, Xavier is just getting so many of these combo starters, but we're seeing just a lot of these combos drop, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, kind of close. Wow, the spike. Wow. He's, you know, he's really good at getting that hitbox. It's like one of those weird spike hitboxes that people usually don't get. But I've seen him get it like three times versus Carvia. Now once against you, man. He's up 2-0 in the set. This yeah, is and, winner's quarters already. And I mean, that's, just, that's a good spot to do it, too, especially if you think they're going to either jump off ledge or if you think they might drop to do an attack, which I'm pretty sure yeah. is what you mentioned. Yeah, that's exactly right, yeah. Right there. Now down 2-0. Xavier going to take a second. You man's just waiting. And when you're down 2-0 like this, especially not only are you – you bet humans, I'm assuming doesn't know the most about Wii Fit, right? I could be wrong, but I'm assuming he doesn't know the right. most about Wii Fit. Um, you're down 2-0, you are playing on your opponent's counter pick, and you are playing with a character you're not the most familiar with. This is really hard, but if there's oh. any player that oh. can get back from something like this, it's humans. But Xavier definitely has something to say about that. And once it closes out 3-0 with a big combo. Yeah. Play. Wow. 61, and it looked like pretty true. You know, the DI may not have been, like, perfectly consistent, but... That deep breathing, like even down throw combos are super strong. Yeah, and we're just seeing Xavier get Xavier's getting out of so many of these up airs and it's getting out of so many of these combos oh. that are true. And you wow! He's yeah, dead! He wow. wow! What a conversion. Crazy, crazy conversion. The instant double jump combos into the platform extensions were crazy. Yeah, 60% 60, 60 of this matchup is really looking for the air. You're just waiting. You're you're waiting back. You're you're really just waiting for the to to just whip and if you can't brief it like they get deep breathing but if you can't be breathing and just run away like it's so good but you oh. isn't really the, the type to camp you man really wants to get in there we're seeing that a little bit 68 percent already on xavier on the second stock and you man's high percent but sitting nice almost seeing a forward air come out might go off stage here trying to catch xavier already at 90 percent wow this is going crazy a little bit of two frame action there so easy to do with mario's dash attack And, you know, I'm going to say it. I always thought that it was unfair that Mario mains, they don't have to ledge trump. They don't have to learn how to ledge trump. They just run off and use the cape. Oh, it's yeah. not fair. Oh, looking for these up smashes. Not finding them yet. All right. Keep trying to match him. Check him. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, wow. What a conversion. He's got these setups and he keeps finding them. Already, it took him 10 seconds to even this game up with deep breathing. That is crazy. The mental damage. Wow. That is crazy. Looking for the kill at the edge. Not going to find it. Another backer. You know, the backer's a bursty kill option. We fit, like, it's very strong. Yeah, and I, I was saying, you guys doesn't really like to wait back in the game. You know, the in there. And we saw yeah. that he was just running in. It's a great push option. You guys can get a That time, we will see the back end. This is completely different game. Either we're going to a game four and the start of you guys' potential reverse 3 0, or we're going to see Xavier coach us out in the 3 0. I think that's what we have to look out for at kill percent. Xavier's going to do a rising aerial into a falling back air and sometimes mix it up with a rising back air, especially with deep breathing. I'm not sure if it's that up air or if it's nair that he does rising and he can do a falling back air afterwards. But he's caught it, caught you mans with it like three or four times, it almost seems like. Xavier just waiting back, tossing out these soccer balls. I think that's completely fair. You really don't want to interact with a character like Mario. Oh. Especially if you get something going right here. Almost. He's going for the forward air. Going to go for another one. Tried to go for it there. A lot of damage. Directional air does oh, the, the F smash. Yeah, just threw it out and it works. Wow. Almost a full like stock to go there. Only 10% on his last stock. Crazy stuff. 2-1.
now. Playing on Xavier's counter pick. What kind of music are we going with? Let's see if he, is he picking some fire. Ooh, Cosmo fire, can. fire, 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 fire. Turn this up a little so bit. So gas. So Dude. fucking gas. Okay. That's a good song. I never heard it. Red, it's Red 13. It's where Red 13 from Final Fantasy 7 is from. Oh, I see. A big Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> All right. All right. Easy 25. Is that falling there or falling up air right there? The one where he like clamps? He, where he like turns into a U. Oh, uh, that's falling there. That's there. That's okay. Nair. Yeah, up air is the one where he like. Puts oh, his hands above his I see. Like, okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, so that Nair's doing a lot of work for him then. I th it looked like up air to me, so I've been getting that wrong. Yeah, that's that right <laughs> Okay, that's Nair. Okay. Ooh, oh, he does for that the down smash as an anti air. He's been doing that. He did a lot against Carvia as well. Big hit there. No more deep breathing quite yet. Good tech chase, but he read it. Yeah, he just doesn't really know how far we fit goes yeah. with their tech roll. Taking the first stock only at 50%. No F smash for you yet. Boom! Big combo. 43. Didn't get any more than that. Not until now. Oh! oh send him the back hit. This stuff is crazy. 82% already on the UMAN. He's and this is soccer ball rough. setup, man. You know, it's one thing to know these setups. But it's a different thing to find how to hit them against good players in bracket. This is crazy how he's finding these openings. Oh, Big wow. down air. He's already dead. Air. We're yeah. only a minute and 10 seconds into the game, and it's almost over. Great DI. Wow, he snuck one in there. Finally got it. A lot of shield damage, too. 32% already on the humans, and he really has to find something soon if he wants to get this reverse. Another deep breathing. He's going to keep Max checking with that, but he hasn't got hit by it quite yet. Yeah, and all Xavier really has to do here is just wait for u mans to win. Go back, charge that Sun Salutation, throw out these soccer balls. Boom. I wonder if he tried to turn that one around. All right, big soccer ball hit. That's going to do a ton of damage. Up smash, uh, that's going to kill. But rough the eye. Yeah, 74% now. Xavier on a fresh second stock, and Mario can definitely do it. Fans can 100% do it too. See if he can get something started early. Maybe get a cheese dog. Are you dead? Boom! You're dead. And he's dead. He almost lived. And he's dead. He almost lived. And there is a potential here for a game five. All right. Oh! Nice. He tried to extend his hitbox with that, but you man did not fall for it. He's playing a lot differently. You know, this is a tempo mix-up. Oh, oh! Missed the spike on the forward air. Another soccer ball there. Get that extra shield damage. Yeah, gonna Boom! Oh, if he had no sweet spot there. Yeah. This is not looking good. You know, he keeps fishing for these falling nares. Oh, now he's mixing up with the backer. Like I said last game, he might do some rising nares into falling oh. backers. That's going to do it. Yeah, there you go. That's the set. And we're going to see Xavier take that set 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, yeah. There was a lot of potential for a comeback there, but... Xavier just gonna just gonna get that forward so there. Who and Woody? Um, Who's next? Someone and Woody. Pyro, Pyro or something. Pyro, Pyro, Pyro. We oh. saw them earlier on stream. Yes, this was the one who beat Jimmy. Jimmy Tonga. That's right, the Pichu Pyro. player. Pyro is a Pichu from Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Okay, I see. They were in the crew battle, huh? Yeah. I see. Pyro did really good at the NorCal Arcadian. I'm pretty sure. Um, but. Um, Hyro did pretty good at the NorCal Arcadian, but I, 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 I don't know much about the Santa Cruz scene. I just know those guys kind of uh, fucking freak at the game. I know he's really good. Shout out to all of our sponsors today, by the way, out at, uh, out here at the Cow House. The Cow House. Shout outs to... UCM for letting us use this amazing ballroom as our venue. It's Super sick venue. Really nice. Looks like a major in here, man. And then. Oh, Hyro 3 0 to Infamous play. in singles? Whoa. Uh, wow. I actually didn't know that. That's crazy. I think it was 2 1 versus Jimmy, if I'm not mistaken. But I didn't know any of that. That's crazy. Three, two, one, go! Oh, 
All right. Good little 50% going off here, starting with the uh, starting with the uh, the inkling from Woody, not the Joker, which is, I mean, you know, this, this matchup may not be so good for Joker. You know, seeing people like MKLeo kind of struggle with these characters with Joker in the past. I mean, they're small, you know, that's what everyone, like, complains about. The characters are small, they're hard to hit, you know, depending on what character you are. And Woody often feels real comfortable. Oh, the double thunder. Oh, big down air. Okay, okay. Yeah, Woody, Woody often feels a little, you know, more comfortable with the Inkling. He's got so much time in the character, so much experience with the character. It can be hard to drop someone like that when you have just so much time invested in them. Wow, that dash attack just completely, like, beat out the roller. Big damage, 30%. Boom, a little bit of damage. You know, chip damage from the T-Jolts, the little T-Jolts. Going very well for Hyro so far. Impressive stuff. Good edge guard. Not the sweet spot for the spike quite yet. Not going so well for Woody currently. You know, Woody coming just off, fresh off a of win of uh, off of Dre previously before this, and I believe since he's still in meters, he beat uh, Tuan from NorCal, who actually beat him last week at TCC Dreamland Saga. Boom! Big back air coming out. Pichu. He's doing great with this Pichu. This is crazy stuff. You know, in Senkal here, we don't really have a Pichu to, to give us the experience from that. So Woody might be, you know, just figuring it out on the fly. Not as experienced with, against a character like this. But taking that first stock still. Wow. Solid lead against Woody. The Tomahawk. Almost killed him with a not like spike hitbox of the downer. Crazy. Try to up smash him. A little bit of damage. Combos going here. Back air. Oh, ball jump. This is a little possible misinfo with that roller, or maybe not. Back air so safe. Oh, he's starting to cook a little bit. Okay. Dash attack cross up. Now, I wonder if that would kill at that percent with this much rage. P2 is the lightest character in the game. Four tilt's gonna do it. Miss the tech. Unfortunate stuff for Woody. Let's see what he does. I wonder if he'll switch or if he'll start to make an adaption. You know, Woody's a very adaptive player. Good at, you know, mixing up his tempo, mixing up his options. And he's also proficient in several different characters, too. So, I mean, he's got a lot of options here. Send in the chat says, big Xavier fan. Sorry, I missed that earlier. hyra has been catching Woody's shields and outer shields consistently. These tomahawks and grabs are all just working. It's true. They're all very effective. Wow. Little spike there. Not going to take it quite yet. Still a pretty even stock. Wow. Hyro's advantage stage is doing really well. He's aggressing Woody effectively. Good tech. Back air. Slightly missed that platform extension for the combo. Still fairly even. Wow, a rising full hop up air. That was some crazy combo stuff right there. Making it back. He's got some, you know, some damage to himself. Not gonna die yet from that back air. Boom! Big forward air almost killed Pichu. That's crazy. Now that's going to be Inkling's main kill option is that forward air, and hopefully he can pull off a couple more if he wants to take this game. Good grab. That was a great grab, honestly. Looking for the air dodge. Not going to get it. Big forward air. 164 is definitely going to kill anyone. Boom. Oh, he tried to give him... And he slightly missed his angle just a little bit. All right. It's looking a little a little more even here. And there. I wonder how safe that is on shield. It looks pretty safe. All right. Picking up. Wow. He just fell out of that jab and started comboing him. Pretty impressive stuff here from this piece of player. Oh, what a pickup, too. Hyro is really showing a lot of promise in this set. 
Nice get up attack. Good mix up. Up throw into up air. That low key took him like pretty close to the blast zone. Boom! Another up air. Not this time he's gonna air dash right past him. Wow, back air right over his head. Things, you know, a little small. Big forward air, not gonna kill quite yet. Ooh. Little trade there. Wow, it's rolling right there, dashing right past him, hitting with the F tail, that's gonna do it. Wow, I'm surprised that missed. That looked like it went right through him. There. That's a great edge guarding tool, honestly. Just kind of caught him off guard with a couple of those. Up smash is gonna finish out the stock. This is one of those real weird matchups. Ooh, jab damage. Good grab into the up air. Gonna miss. Frame trap with the back air. Another up air. Frame trap not gonna hit this time. Boom. Opting for the roller. Wow, converting off of getting hit by the T-Jolt. That's impressive. Woody's starting to make some good adaptions. Over, shooting with a dash attack. Air dodging really well out of that combo. Not quite. Not quite there. An up smash will do it. Okay, you got to be careful here because you know he's going to look for something crazy like that. Back throw. He's got him off stage. This is dangerous stuff here. Watch out for something like an F smash or... Oh, he wanted to combo him into that thunder. I know he did. Okay, F tilt almost going to do it. Throwing the bomb. Trying to get a back air. Not going to get it yet. Up air. Can he close out this stock? Uh-oh. Okay, get him off stage again. Oh, he just went off stage. Try to go for it. Covered both options. Back air, no way. Wow. That is crazy. All that rage on Pichu just worked out in his favor. Hyro, what a slippery Pichu. Looking to 3-0 Woody, one of Senkal's finest players at the moment. This is winner's quarters already. This bracket's looking crazy. Let me take a look at this bracket. Let's see here. Let's take a look at this bracket. Let's look at this bracket. Top 32. Some jab damage. Now I see a lot of inkling players doing a lot of jabs in their play, and it really seems to like you know be the main part of inkling's play. But Woody is a little more creative with the, with how he gets his damage. Oh, rare SD from Hyrule. That's crazy. All right, but it's still it's still pretty even. I mean, he's got a lot of damage on Woody. He's overwhelming him. Woody's the type of player who wants to play faster than his opponent, but it's not working at this current moment. Hyro is playing so quick. Big down smash. Wow. This is four top eight. This is a winner's side top eight qualifier. Boom, boom. Reversing the back air. His combo extensions are very optimized. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Boom, another back air, extending his advantage state, throwing out those T-Jolts. Boom, he's chasing him down every inch of this stage. He's not leaving him alone. Boom, little back air, little roller action, not quite going to get anything out of that. He's going to make it back. No ledge trump, but slightly mistimed. It's a little too safe on shield to try and dash up and do something like that. All right, a little more patience on the ledge. Going for the up smash, wow. Up throw, missed the up air. Another grab, missed it again, wow. I wonder if it's a little more challenging to get that combo on a character like he too, just because of his weight, you know, maybe this fall speed. It seems like Woody's not as consistent with getting it as he usually is from watching him personally. No get up attack this time, he's gonna get punished with a dash attack. Yeah, good point, Peter. Hyro is doing a lot more consistent with his tech follow-ups than Woody is this time. I wonder if, you know, his inkling may not be doing as well. Good forward tilt there. All right, Woody's showing certainly signs of life throughout the last two games. Let's see if he can just pull off getting a game. That's all you need. If you can take a game, you can take a set. Big damage from that back air. He's, like, whiff punishing very accurately. 
Okay, landing hitbox. That thing is annoying, but worked out very well in Woody's favor. Boom. All right. Looking for these landing nares a little bit, you know, a safe little combo option. 94 to 96, 96 to 96, super even here. Let's see who can close it out. Oh, and there it is. Hyro taking it three over narrowly over Woody. Impressive stuff. This P2 is playing on fire, and Hyro makes it into top eight. Joining Xavier is the only two in top eight so far. These winner's side top eight qualifiers are crazy. All right. Weapon Raid called it. Luis versus Al Soda, both from NorCal, playing on stream. Hey, anybody in the chat know their set record, Al Soda and Luis? Has Al Soda ever taken any, uh, any sets, any games off of Luis yet? I know they're from the same region. This whole time, man. I've been doing singles the whole time. <laughs> That's me. You already know. I'm the next top commentator of Senkai. What can I say? You know, I'm at every event. I go to everything I possibly can. I'm hopping on the commentary now. You already know. I'm the next up-and-coming commentator of this region. Let's do it. Voice of the Valley. I like that. I like that. All right. Here we go. Start it. Starting to set off. Yo. Okay. There we go. There we go. Joker versus Rob. You know, I was talking to Tuan, resident Min Min PT player of NorCal as well. Um, and he's been trying to convince Luis to... Oh, okay. And in the combo a little early. He's been trying to convince Luis to uh, pull a Rob out a little more often. It's like his secondary. He's kind of pulled it out... You know, maybe once or twice at majors, but mostly at regionals and locals yeah. as the secondary. Very strong Rob, as we're seeing here. He's been using it almost primarily in singles. So, absolutely a strong player. And his Rob is extremely optimized. We've seen him, you know, steal some games with the, the gyro zero to death combos. Very, very, very strong secondary. So, you know, he's, he's getting it, getting some practice in against these other players at this regional. and. You know, if he's not forced onto that Palutena, he's just going to keep using the Rob. He's going to keep up smashing Jokers left and right. When you say optimize, I just saw how he uh, recovered earlier. He did not get uh, outside a chance to set He's just on the top of the screen and back down. He's taking his time to get a lot of patience. Yeah. yeah. Oh, more gyro combos. Oh, okay, yeah. A little, a little mess up on the combo, but you see, he's got these. And he's going to do some damage with them. And if you're not careful and he's a little lucky, he's going to kill you with them. Oh, where'd the gyro go? Oh, big down air. Al Soda's not doing so great. In the chat, we got Civics Honda saying he's got Al Soda in this set. All right. Okay. Making a little side bets in the chat. Maybe. It's going very well for Luis so far. I'll take that action. Who had Al Soda? <laughs> That's Civics Honda. <laughs> Five bucks. He said uh, one to a thousand odds. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. That's $5,000, man. That's $5,000. If Al if you, if you, if Soda loses, you owe him $5,000. And you'll never find me. Or maybe, or no, maybe maybe it's, maybe it's if Al Soda wins, you get $5,000. Yeah. But if not, then wins. you give him five. All right, maybe maybe that's how confident he is. I'll, I'll take that. I want $5,000. <laughs> that's funny. Civic Honda said that in the chat. I don't know if he's anywhere around, but you take it up with him. I'll check the later. Civic right, says, money. someone tell Luis to throw so this bet pays. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Now nah, it's not. It, it, so far, Luis is showing a very strong, you know, a very strong matchup. And this is a top eight qualifier for winner's side. Um, so, I mean, you know, 
He probably wants it. He probably wants it. He wants to get, everyone wants to get in top eight. Let's see how it goes. Nobody wants to do the losers run. For real. Betting my Balenci runners, Valsota losers. Damn. Betting it all over here. All right, little chip damage. Boom. Wow, what a conversion. The down throw of the gyro into falling there. Rob's got it all, man. This character's broken. Yeah, and there. Gyro just, like, makes it ten times better. That was a strong, meaty hit from that, what do you call it, the, the laser. Oh, strong combo stuff here from Al Soda. He's dead. And he got it. He's dead. He got it. Wow. I'm Maybe a little DI, you know, bad DI possibly, you know. I mean, that upper is no, no slouch or nothing. But all right, he's got our send. He might be able to make it back. So you You're dead. He's alive. It's not going so well. Oh, uh, he tried to shoot the gyro. It didn't work out for him. That sucks. I mean, he basically edge guarded him from like 60% to death. Top tier. Some people would argue, you know, Rob's a little easier than Joker. <laughs> and uh, Rob is, you know, Rob's a pretty easy character to win with. Once you're like, you know, you got the fundamentals down, you got the optimization down. Rob, you can win with this character. And Joker's similar, but maybe a little more technically challenging in some regards. Like when it comes to micro spacing and things like that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I'll say for sure at least those gyro combos are not the easiest thing in the world. You gotta set it up, you gotta be able to execute it properly, you know, that, that stuff's not easy. But you don't need them to win, because I mean Rob is Rob is the GOAT. Big back air, you got our sin, almost fully charged, you only have 48%, big shield pressure, big nair. Gonna DI that properly. Good anti-airs, you know. He's got a lead. Just like he did last talk. Good parries from Al Soda. Uh, he wanted to kill him early, but the Arsene just left him at the wrong time. Good little combos here for Al Soda. Good grab. Yeah, he reacted to that spot dodge. That was good stuff. Hey, Civic Honda, I wonder, uh, you feeling a little nervous yet? I wonder. <laughs> he just said, all right, those Valencia runners are off the table. <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, screenshot the chat real quick. Just so I got the proof on contract. <laughs> wow, he actually anti-aired him with a grab. That was kind of crazy. Boom, that's going to, yeah, that's going to do it. I mean, Robin, or not, uh, Joker's pretty heavy, but not that heavy. That move is strong. All right. Al Soda's, oh, he is fishing. He is fishing for that zero to death combo. Let's see if Al Soda can take it. Taking a meaty 46, 55%. All he needs is, you know, a drag down, up smash, drag down. Oh, down smash. Maybe smash tackle will do it, but Luis has been making the comebacks in this game. Up smash right there. I I, I would have done it. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I would have done it there. Starting to lose this lead really hard. Luis is coming back. Yeah, he's covering the wrong option there. This is grab. Good get-up attack. Wow. I'm surprised that the gyro didn't turn into his and, like, go and hit Rob. And that's going to do it. Lost his lead. Unfortunate. Peter, you were right. It is Rob. The game is even. Even when he was down that much. I mean, he didn't really get the gyro here. The death combo, even though he was fishing for it. But he just played well. You know, he got... I think that's one of the things that I've heard a lot of top, top players say. It's, like, the thing that's going to differentiate you from your top players in your region is how hard you get or, or how often you get reversal. And that's something we saw a lot. Al Soda would get his openings, he would get reversal, and Luis would get a lot off of that. So it's just like, once he has that lead, Al Soda was playing a little sloppier than, you know, he would be able to get away with versus a player like Luis. That's tough, you have to be on your game at all times. Yeah, absolutely. You know, playing it maybe a little more safe and in the advantage situations might help. That was actually interesting. The, uh, the invincibility from the startup of his upbeat with Arsene saves him from a back air. Nope. Oh, and Arsene is gone. Not going to be able to get any edge guard there. Good get up attack. Wow, that grab almost got him. A little nair. 
Oh, I, I like the gun extensions of the combo. I like that little extra chip damage. I, I think it's good. I think it's strong. And Civics Honda, his bet is back on, he says. He says he's giving 1 to 10,000 odds. Luis take or uh, that, that Luis wins any takers or a penny. <laughs> uh, he wants uh, he wants a little more than that, I think. <laughs> All right, it's pretty even so far. Good DI on that up air, that little cheeky up air right there from the ledge. You see people like Zamba doing that a lot. I believe he actually won a set versus Luis doing that. Um, or it might have been a might have been Chag. Might have been Chag. I think it was another Palutena player. A penny to someone's hundred dollars is a pretty good bet. <laughs> That's what Civic Sonic says. <laughs> I can do the first penny, I'm down. <laughs> hey, tears is down. Peter says, I'll take a loan out and bet on Luis. Damn. Oh! What a tech! That looked untechable! Both of them teching very impressively. Is he really gonna recover? Mixing up his understatement. Boom! Big back air. Media ass back air. And he spent all that time down there just to still get caught. Alright. Alright. These guns are starting to mix him up a little bit. Great parry into dash grab. That was good stuff. Got hit by that up B. Not gonna kill quite yet. Tech roll out. Wow. That was good. See, the thing is there, when you're getting sent almost straight out, you don't want to DI in. You want to DI up because that'll have you closer to a diagonal, and that path is longer than if you were to just DI in. You know what I mean? So when you get hit almost straight out, you want to DI up, not in or in and up. You know, it's perfect DI from Al Soda. Got to survive. Wow. That was a crazy combo. Was that like a in a back or something? Another side B. Good reflector. It's good that we're starting to see a little bit of those in this set. All right. Almost nearly missed him. Boom! And Rob is too big for that combo. That sucks. Okay, there we go. Starting to clean it up. That sucks because, I mean, that's an arson up smash, not killing at 100. Like, that's crazy. It was a great, like, beautifully found confirm and everything. But we got to kill right afterwards anyway. Big combo's coming in. Yeah, not unless he gets like you know a good rebels guard, a good little little down B. I mean, he got that 50% pretty handedly. Missed the down smash. Okay, here we go. We got some advantage state going. Boom. No forwarder. Try to opt for the up air. Suddenly, this is an even game. Let's go, Alsoda. Alsoda now Alsoda's the one making the comeback, not Luis. Going deep for the edge guard. Not gonna get it. Oh, no. Are you heading out? Oh, bro. I'll see you later, man. You have a good one. Oh, and I missed it, but there you go. So he takes it 3-0 over Al Soda. Oh, fear versus spot. All right, it was a close set. All things considered, two of those games were extremely close. It could have gone either way. Luis was able to take it, though. Good stuff. Great stuff. Al Soto's a really strong player, you know, PR player from NorCal, like we mentioned earlier. He's been on stream about three times, including doubles now. Great stuff. Great stuff from Al Soto. Yep, Spot and Fear. That's right. Oh, wait, wait, let me say his full name. Sun Fear, K.O. Ken times, 10, <laughs> times, 1, times a thousand. Times a thousand, yeah. <laughs> Super Saiyan, Sun Fear. <laughs> so do you think we're going to see the Steve Mirror or? Um, That's a good question. I mean, you know, Fear has kind of like a co-main situation going on with Falcon and, and, uh, and Steve. So it, it really is like hard to know which one he prefers, you know, like. Against the Ice Climbers, he'll go uh, Steve. But versus, like, Joker, he'll go Captain Falcon. Um, I think so we're playing Minecraft. You think we're playing I double Steve? Playing that would be real interesting. I mean, honestly, Steve probably does better against Steve than Falcon does. It's not the greatest of matchups. You see people like Infamous from NorCal Steve. opting to go. Yep, you were right. Somebody. Infamous would go, like, Cloud or, or Sephiroth on occasion, specifically for Steve. Because, I mean, his Falcon is a great Falcon, but Steve is just a character outclass. It's, it's a bad matchup. Yeah, it's a bad matchup. 
That's well, right, Steve Ditto. Blocks with blocks, mining with mining. All right, Zombie versus Steve. Uh, so I'm a little lost already. Uh, fear is on the zombie? That's right. Okay. Fear is on the zombie. We got some fear fans in the audience here. Let's get the cab power up. So oh. Picture? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'll be right back. Your mama will be right back yeah. unless someone else takes my place. Hold it down for me, bro. All right. I'll try to hold it down. All right, Chad. Your mama will be back soon. Just give him some, show him some love after just holding him down for the whole day. Singles. You did a great job. All right. Let's see this. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm going to be a little bit slow on this because I'm still getting mixed up between who's Zombie, who's Steve. Spot is on Steve. Both players mining right now. Both players sitting on the diamond. And Spot was able to poke through the wall knock him out. Right. So I've never really seen a Steve mirror that often. I'd imagine both players are looking for a you know, minecart. Follow-up. Sniper out of the minecart. I'm at very even right here. Both players sitting on probably 70%. Both have a diamond. No. One has a diamond. Here has some gold. The hand closing out the stock. Far for the edge guard. Steve Just like Icarus. Wins. His wings ran out the last second. Spot is up one. Don't worry. That was just KO Ken times 100. We're about to see the KO Ken times 1000. They're running it right back. No stalling, no way, no, no need for strategy. Right back in there. Right. Spot starting off very aggressive this time. I like his, his the blocks and the combo and the conversion. With the anvil drop it on his head. Alright, this is a different spot right here. 120% to 20. The down tilt holding him in shield. Found it, the back air. That wasn't even a diamond pickaxe. All right, gone fishing. You didn't catch anything. The mine cart. Right. These ladder combos, I love them. So Spot is making a couple adjustments here. I'd say he's playing a little more patient now. And he's baiting and punishing a lot better. has to do something about these anvils falling on his head. It's been, uh, Spot's been able to control the match. Oh, and he caught him all the way down. He still made it back. Oh, this time, Fear made it back to the stage. Fear answering with his own 
up tilt back throw is not a kill, that's alright. Accidentally using the lava. Like, I have to say, Spot has been coming like with an air raid. Everything's coming from above, landing on the top of here. And that's just the key to the matchup, finding the perfect angle that your opponent isn't going to be able to cover a play from. I have noticed about Spot, he has a very creative use of the upbeat. Saw just there, he used it to platform cancel and drop a mine card. Edge guard. But fear, catching him out, an up smash. On his last stock, he has to do something. Alright, Spot's up. That's an E creeper kill screen. Hope everybody's been enjoying the matches today. It's been a wonderful event. The cow house. Steve. Quick little break while they choose. Now let's see if Fear wants to stay on this uh, mirror match or if he wants to switch off somewhere else. A different character, maybe a different stage. Sometimes you just need to catch your, you know, get your composure. All right, he's bringing out the Falcon. Gotta try a different angles Three, sometimes. Two, one, go! And looked in the mirror and said, I gotta do something new. Oh, the double card. Alright, here has to warm up his falcon legs. Like. See that we got the switch on uh, on Fear. He switched to the Falcon. You know that he's I know he's main Falcon for a lot longer than Steve. But he has had a Steve for like about a year. Sometimes you're more comfortable when it's not a mirror match. Yeah, definitely. I mean some people are just not comfortable with that. But uh haven't missed much. The spot started off really strong. Almost an unanswered 80%, and then now Fear's tied it back up. All right. Eight. Oh, man, that fourth throw sets a, such a messed up angle. Almost killed with down tilt. Almost killed him again with down tilt. Damn, I'm going to do it. I mean, that's a strong move right there. Maybe he's at like 180 almost. Yeah, the last match, man, he dropped at least four angles on his head. <laughs> Bonk. Looney Tunes, man. <laughs> Oh, big back air. Let's pull up the chat real quick. Oh, here you go. this one. He's got to pull it back. Peter says that he feels like Fear is better than the Ditto. Honestly, maybe. I mean, he just lost his whole stock. Double spot dodge from spot. I mean, he just knew that two attacks were coming, you know? I mean, he's not, not mashing them. You could tell that for sure. Right. The winner quarters. The winners quarters. I believe this is a top eight qualifier, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. I don't think we're in top eight. Luis is in top eight. Um, I literally just watched all the sets that were top eight. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tyro is in top eight. And oh, who's the last one? Can I remember off the top of my head? Sorry, right, man. It's been a long day. It has been a long day, certainly. Xavier. Xavier is the top eight. All right. And now Spot joins them. Winner's side, we got four people. Luis, Hyro, Spot, and Xavier. Winner's side, top eight. Let's see. Definitely. So far, it's looking pretty hype. Tuan and u -Mans. This is losers qualifier for top eight. Tuan versus u -Mans. Tuan from NorCal. You know, we saw him earlier a little bit. He lost to Woody in winners. And now he's fighting u -Mans. another one of St. Cal's finest. Um, Woody actually uh, lost to him last week at 2CC Dreamland Saga in Stockton. Okay. And then he got his run back and beat him this time in winners. Right. Looks like we've got uh, Woody and Ness Boy are fighting in losers for a top eight qualifier. Al Soda is going to be uh, fighting the winner of Dragomer and Plum. U-Mans versus Twan right here. And then Lemony Lemons 
is going to be fighting the loser. Uh, it looks like he's going to be fighting Fear oh, okay. for top eight. Yeah. So it's, right. it's going, you know, it's going pretty good. We got a good lineup here so far. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'll still be commentating for top eight or not. I will definitely be willing to, but I think uh, Miracles is supposed to be on. Uh, Miracles is like a big yeah. commentator who oh, yeah, used to be in the scene before and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I just want to say again, thank you for holding it down all day. Solo commentary. Easy you dub. It, man. Thanks, bro. You know, I, I've been wanting to commentate a little bit more, and I mean. You know, other people signed up, but no one's come came up and like even when my seat next to me was open, you know, only a handful of people came over. No one was like asking for a spot. No one's in this general direction asking any questions about it necessarily. So it's like, all right, man. You know, I got Tank helping me out. I got you helping me out. I got a uh, Tuan helping me out too. I mean, that was great commentating with him. Shout out to him. Hopefully, he makes it in top eight. We're about to find out right now. Mario oh yeah. Tuan play. So Tuan plays Pokemon Trainer and Min Min. Pokemon Trainer Min. That's an interesting. Yeah. Piece. So I am a Pokemon Trainer main, right, for the past year and a half. And let me tell you, Mario, this matchup sucks <laughs> for Pokemon Trainer. It's so bad. And I'll tell you why. All right. Squirtle's not that fast, right? It's a common mistake. Squirtle is actually pretty slow, but he has very, very good frame data, quick frame data, some of the best frame data in the game. Yeah. That's fast, but his running speed. Not that fast. He's a pretty slow character. And in the air, he has a very slow fall speed. Very, very slow fall speed. He falls really, really slow. His air speed, not too good. He has good air acceleration, which is great for micro spacing. Yeah. Um, and then when it comes to Ivysaur, it gets even rougher. The okay. air speed's slower. Air acceleration is way slower. The run speed, I believe, is also slower. Your frame data is slower, too. You know? And so it's like, you're like a really bad sword character, you know? And, Pokemon Trainer is a pretty easy character, but you just have some glaring weaknesses. Ivysaur is not that great of a character, you know, especially in a matchup like this. You're just going to get comboed so hard, and there's nowhere you can go. You know, your defensive options are not that good against a character like Mario. And Charizard's pretty big, you know. Charizard's faster, actually, than the other ones in ball speed and run speed. But, um, you know, he's, he's big. Body, yeah. He's a big body. That's so you got to rely on Squirtle, and the matchup's not that good. You get out hitbox very commonly by moves like Nair and back air. Um, you might see that a lot in the set if he, if he opts to go Pokemon Trainer, which it looks like he wants to. Stick it with it. All right. Yeah, but I, I personally would prefer the Min Min because this, even according to players like Tweak in their matchup charts, will put this as a minus two for Pokemon Trainer. Yeah. That is a Mario Pokemon Trainer. Certainly, I think so. At least you know, after my experience, I'm not the best player in the world or anything. But no, no, you have great insight. I think it's a, I think it's a rough matchup for those of you who have the Here we go. Juan is no player to to mess with, you know what I mean? If it, it, people deal with rough matches all the time, and Tuan is one of those people. The Pokemon Trainer is very outstanding. Boom, up tilt extension, good up airs. You got the discount Mario up air combos with Squirtle. <laughs> Some people would argue it's the other way around. I don't think so. I think Mario's got the upper hand when it comes to combos. Oh yeah, Mario, this version of Smash is iconic for his up air swings. Absolutely. All right, we've got a good lead here. He's finding his openings very well. He uses a down smash. Even if it's a tough match, if you approach it smart, get, get around it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. That down smash is one of those down like, smash attacks that's like, super safe. You know, it doesn't have like any lag for some reason. So he's throwing him out, maybe trying to mix up U-Mans a little bit, try to like get him to approach and punish, but it's not going to work on that move. You can't really punish it. He's playing the matchup really well, you know, sticking mostly to Squirtle. That's right, he's still got his jump. Oh, no, he doesn't actually. You know, he thought that that side B was going to get him on stage, but it didn't quite work out that way. Just hit that, you know, the hit the ledge. He did not let that face, he did not let that face him. He got nope. right back into it. Right back into it. And he's opting for the Ivy Sword. He wants to try and get this kill soon, but this is exactly what I was saying. I mean, free 66%, pretty much unanswered. You can basically combo this character like the the punching bag. You know what I mean? Oh, right off the stage. Almost killed him there. Good switch. Frame one option. And now he's down a whole stop. I mean, in my opinion, that's just because, you know, sticking with the Ivy Floor, you're just in disadvantage the whole time. Wow, what a creative up for you. Holy cow. He just landed right on him with that. That was crazy. All right. Falling forward air. Out of all three characters, which one has the most kill power? Definitely Charizard. I mean, it, it's pretty close. Like, 
Ivysaur's up air, super strong. Down air, super strong. Uh, even the up B, you know, you might be finding more kills. It might be a little easier to kill in certain situations with Ivysaur. But what he lacks, or what she lacks, rather, is grounded kill options. You know, you don't really have a lot of them unless you're ledge trapping with forward smash. Oh! Straight to the blast zone. You got the up B. Not quite going to make it. Yeah, he just sent him straight to the blast zone. Th that's what I'm saying. This character's so easy to combo. You just have no options, man. But, um... But Ivysaur does lack grounded kill power, which you do need in a lot of matchups, you know? So you're going to need to opt for the Charizard sometimes because Charizard has great out of shield. You've got a frame 6 up smash out of shield, frame 9 up B out of shield. So if you're, you know, fishing for some parries against single hit characters like Mario, you might be able to find your kills easier with Charizard. But you have to be really careful the way that you want to play this matchup. Stick to Squirtle as much as possible. Try to outspace and whiff punish Mario when you can, when he does maybe some unsafe moves. And then once he's a kill person, then you can make the switch. Try to catch him jumps with Ivysaur. Or, you know, if they're playing more, like, pressure heavy on your shield, switch to Charizard. Try and get some out of shield kills. Maybe some grabs, too. Blow him up with Charizard. That's everybody's strongest character. Yeah. Start throwing the flare blitzes out, man. That's all you need. No up out of shield. Little punish here. Nice. Great start for Twan here, you know, with the Squirtle. And what I imagine he's doing now is going to fish for those F tilts. Hopefully, he can get a jab lock situation or a tech chase situation and try to, like, seal out the deal with Squirtle, which, you know, if you're really good at the matchup, it might be a little hard, but, you know, sometimes you get him. You got to rely on it sometimes. Oh, Mario's up to Yeah. Stuff is so disjointed above him, it's like not fair. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, and you man's DIing up with a floatier character of Mario, so he can avoid the tech chase situation at this point. I I'm not confident that you'll be able to get a kill on Mario unless you get some more neutral wins and then get a back throw. You know, so it's like at this point, like yes, you do want to stay on your Squirtle, but you risk dying earlier, and you're not really gonna have many opportunities to kill. Here's a back throw, not quite there. That you know, like I mentioned, you know, you gotta win neutral a couple more times before that's gonna kill. It's pretty strong, but not that strong. But you call it exactly before the back throw. That's right. Oh, he almost ran right into that down throw. Get pretty close to killing with even the upbeat. And going for edge guard as Squirtle is not going to be easy against Mario because, like I mentioned, his upbeat is disjointed above him. You can't fall on top of him with a nair because you'll just get hit by the upbeat. It's, it's not going to work. So he's really sticking it out with the Squirtle. Let's see what he can do. I mean, you know, it might be a lot better. He hasn't lost his stack yet. It might be a lot better than some of the other Pokemon. But how's he going to get the kill? Right you think so? I mean, you know, if you're Ivysaur, you would have forward air as a kill option at this high of a percent, which is something that usually isn't the case. So, I mean, you've got a lot more options for killing at this high of a percent. So maybe that's what he was hoping for. The GI mix-up does not mix him up. Nair almost killed him. The back hit of Nair would have been surprising. Yeah, this is crazy. I mean, I think it's just this unique because he was sticking with the squirrel for so long. And what you're doing there is, like, you're just playing neutral. You know, you're just going to keep going for neutral. You're not going to play too risky, so both of you are going to live a lot longer. Uh, almost. You know, if he would have done up I think it would have killed because it scoops from lower on Charizard's body than up smash does. See, this is where the matchup starts to get really rough, you know? It, you struggle in neutral so hard with the other characters, whether it's because you're too big or you're too slow. Absolutely. Boom. Wow. I mean, this this whole stock has essentially been unanswered because he's not on the portal. Yeah, it, it, it's really hard, especially on a stage like this. Me personally, I don't prefer it. You don't have a lot of room to work. He's going to switch to Ivysaur because you're at 135. You could die to anything. It's Squirtle. You're the fourth lightest character in the game. There we go. A little couple neutral wins. I mean, you got to be... Yeah. The short hop is really short for all the Pokemon, so it's hard to avoid something like that. All right. Here we go. Oh, wow. That was great. The IGI behind Squirtle to avoid a combo there. Nice. 
Not going to get the down air right there. Uman's is really good with the preemptive up air, or, or the up ease rather, to, to avoid any kind of edge guards or ledge traps. Ours recovery is really good in that way. Yeah, definitely. Looking a little rough for Twan. You know, I'm surprised we're not seeing the minion right now. We might see the switch after this one. I would hope so. I mean, with how bad this matchup is, I don't think it's uh, as bad for Minmin, personally. I mean, Minmin doesn't really cover Pokemon Trainer's matchups that well, but at least for this one, like, I don't imagine it being that bad for, for Minmin, because, you know, Mario's not the quickest character ever. Playing it real, real safe here. Patient on the ledge, very good stuff. You know, I, I you might want to switch to Charizard. You're faster on the ground, and it might be hard. You know, if you lose neutral, you might just die. But I mean, yeah, you, you've, you've got your opportunities to uh, to get some up smashes and, and uppies and stuff. With that much rage, it might it might prove useful to you. He's already died to one four throw in this game. So let's see if you guys do another one. Up smash is gonna do it. He messes up 2-0. It's not looking good. This matchup is just really rough. flagship for Nintendo, not Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly. Maybe you got the, the Mario movie buff. All right. Looks like you're taking a little bit of time now thinking. And I think another thing you have to consider is u mans as a player is very aggressive. Loves to be up in your face so he can right. get those combos. You know, I see a lot of people say that. I think um, I think it changes sometimes. Like, he's good at mixing up his tempo, but generally, like, compared to some Marios in our region, like Dre, I've always thought he might, not necessarily defensive, but he's kind of, like, he plays neutral. You know, he doesn't really mash, per se, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I've always felt like he wasn't necessarily the most aggressive player, even though a lot of people would say that. But personally, I think he's like more of like a really neutral-based person. And his combos aren't necessarily as optimized as some other Mario players are. But he's, he's got his little things that he's good at, you know, he's confirmed. Sticking out with the Pokemon Trainer. I am surprised. Yeah, he's got a great minion. This might be it. Oh, I thought he was going to upbeat him, and he might have died. Could not space him with the forward tilt there. Yeah, this is just super rough. There we go. All right, a little 37%, not bad. Let's trap it with the Ivy Shore. Maybe, yeah, it's a little bigger than uh, Smash Bros. was. I, I don't like going to Smash Bros. because it's so small and you don't really have anywhere to go when you're being comboed with Pokemon Trainer. Yeah. You don't have to just go straight to the ledge every single time. I mean, you see Pokemon Trainer on the ledge a lot. And Pokemon Trainer, in my opinion, gets ledge trapped harder than any top tier or high tier character. They really, really struggle on the ledge. So, I mean, if you've got nowhere else to go but ledge, like, you're not going to have a good time. Got a lot more space, yeah. And I think bigger blast zones, right? Uh, the side blast zones are smaller, uh, but the top blast zone is higher than other stages for sure. Mix them up with that you know, turn around up smash. Wow, big back air. All right, there we go. Even game. Right back. I like that a lot better. It's going well because he was able to play neutral and get Mario to a high percent, and then he got his kill when he needed to with Charizard, and that that's why he was successful on that first stock. But here, I mean, look at the disadvantage state. Like, what are you supposed to do? Even when you switch, you have to use your air dodge right after because you can punish right after the switch. You know, it's it's not as good as it used to be as, like, a disadvantage option. Ivysaur, I mean, if you're U-Man, you got to be happy that you're fighting Ivysaur. Like, free combos right here. Look at this. This is what he was looking for. Yeah, and then, I mean, even, like, rising back air out of seal, this is safe. On hit. Here we go. Starting to make it back to stage. Trying to perfect. Yeah. The little tricks don't work all the time. You know, you get F smash for doing something like that sometimes. <laughs> yep. I mean, you can angle that thing down. So, yeah. It's explosive. It's certainly. 
go. Even with parry, that portal forward air is extremely safe. I believe it's minus four or five on shield. So even with the parry, you don't have a lot of options when you parry it. Oof. Yeah, that down tilt into back air, I feel like is U-Man's like signature combo. He goes for that often, and he really doesn't miss it. Boom! Big down air. That's going to take the set 3-0 versus Twan. You know, he did what he could. He tried a lot of different things as far as when to play what Pokemon. You know, he was really trying to figure out new things to the end. But at the end of the day, it is a rough matchup, and he couldn't take a game. But still, good stuff from both players. U-Man advances into losers. Top eight. Excellent, Sean. Let's see who we have next. Oh, wow. It's already 7.45. Jeez, it's getting late. <laughs> it's getting late. How many viewers do we have? What's up? Oh, people in the chat. Let's see. 66 people watching. A lot more than earlier. We had like 20 people earlier, but now 66. Like, that's a lot. That's a lot of people. Looks like we got a... Uh, starts with the H. Hyra? Hyra. 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 I believe that's right. Top 8. Top 8. Well, here are U-Man's top 8 being played. Not on the mainstream, but still on stream. All right, we got Luis versus Hyra. Is it Hyra or Hi? Hyra? Because I thought it was like Pi. Hyros? Hyra? Is it just Hyra? I'm blanking. I'm blanking. Super broken P2 player is all I know. Very, very good player. Yes. All right, word. Well, this has been Yo Mama. <laughs> this has been Yo Mama on commentary. Hold it down for all of singles, most of doubles. Thanks for listening. This has been uh, Tears helping out. So far here, a rogue up smash it, you know, hoping he land on it, whatever. Oh, the Thunder Joel actually, because him Rob is big, the only time that that was actually applicable. I will always, always chirp at Rob players for spouting the propaganda. Being back here for that first stock in our top eight today. Wither's semis we're starting off with too. Really deep bracket already. Look at that back throw, keep that stage control. Yeah, and this is, this is one of the best things about Rob is that you have so many mix-ups just because of your recovery being able to go so high. So you can go high, come down with the Nair, you, you have Gyro, I mean, you have, you have plenty of tools to land. Great combo from Gyro there to take on that first stock. Only 12%, that is a lot for Pichu, though. That's, that's all, that's all shot before, I guarantee you. Yeah, pretty much. And that's the, that's the danger of this character, right? You have to play so careful at times, right? But I mean, like you have to play your careful, hits. yet so explosive at the same time. Yes. Like if you're not if you're not pushing your advantage, and making the most of all out of all your hits in V2, then why are you playing the character? Very momentum heavy character. You can't whiff punish a lot of your electric moves, or you can't whiff a lot of your electric moves. It's going to take a lot of self damage. You really really need to make sure 
make the most out of every hit with his character, or else one hit from him. Oh! There it is. He 80% off the top there. Lightest character in the game, and that's showing. Always had gyro in hand, laser out. Yeah, he's been going mostly Rob. I guess he figured it's a good time to work on it. Um, I don't know if he's gonna, if he ends up having to play spot, I wonder if he's gonna stick with it. Either way, gets him off stage here. He's up a whole stock now. This is the struggle of Pichu is trying to come back when you're down, especially a lot like this. You have some pretty deadly combos, right? Yeah, your damage output's pretty good. But if you can't get the kill, it's a little more tough now that you don't have that forward tilt, right? I mean, even that hasn't had it for a long time at this point. Oh, yeah, for a very long time. Very bad. Luis just kind of keeping the pace of things right now, making sure that he's able to uh, keep controlling all the space he needs and keep his percent of control here as well. Yeah, I think he was trying to up tilt there. <laughs> it's a up tilt the Thunder Jolt. Mm -hmm. Iro having a really, really hard time closing off the second stock off the limit here. Yeah, and pairing Rob's Nair does absolutely nothing. nothing. I mean, some characters get a, like an up the out of shield. That's yeah, something. Ooh, that's a good back air, okay. I mean, that's kind of your main kill move, right? So you're kind of fishing for back air a lot of times with this character. I mean, eventually f tilt will kill still, but nowhere near as what you would you would probably like as yeah, a Pichu player. Uh, I used to kill so early. I feel like right now you're okay to take that. I mean, you didn't follow up off it anyway, but I think you were okay to take a punish that up smash whips, right? Calculated risk by Louis Money. You see, with just how explosive Pichu really is, Pyro definitely could end up stealing this in the end. Yeah, if Very he gets a possible. thunder off stage or if he gets like a down tilt down air, it could definitely happen. That down air actually hits pretty hard. Pichu at 135 here. We've never seen that. Up throw, up throw will 100% kill her. 100%. Up throw from Rob, down throw into a fall off. Back air, though. Huge. Hold on. I said, Wait, that, is your, that is your kill move. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, he gets a spike hitbox and doesn't la manage to connect with it. Yeah, there it is. So close. I are laughing that one off. That was a good showing, though. Very good showing. Very close. He was, he was bringing it back. Like, he very, very good performance overall. Now, if you're a Pichu player, what stage are you hoping? Well, I guess, first of all, what do you expect Lu Louis Money to ban? I don't know. Probably. I mean, you're playing Rob. Like, Rob doesn't have any bad stages, no, right? No, like, but, like, I think, it's, I think it's more so about what stages he wants to be. What, what stages are going to let Pichu live longer? So, like, Kalos is probably going to be off the table. I need to see if he picks. If he picks down. down, yeah, that's a good choice. Yeah, higher blast. I mean, the side blast zones are a little closer. Uh, and we're probably, you know, if, if you've you know, been around for long enough. You're probably a little bit closer to the stupid left. Top left's a little higher. Uh, I also do have our uh, top eight pulled up here. So we got Louis Money and High Hi playing now. Okay. We've got Spot and Xavier on the other side of winners here. Um, and then losers, we're gonna have uh, Fear versus U Man, which are playing on the side stream, I believe. Yes, on one. And then after that, it's Nest Boy and losers, and then against whoever wins between uh, Plum and then Shot is uh, uh, Al Sato, yeah, the, the Joker boy. Yeah, so we're gonna have it's a pretty good looking top eight. We got a, we got two people from Senkal here to defend the turf. Three. Three? Yeah. Fear, fear, yeah, fear, you man's spot, yep. Fear and you man's the team kill though. So that's unfortunate. We're right here back on this set. We're gonna have about 100% for both players here. The Louis Money a little bit of a disadvantage what it seems like, but 100% on PC at this game. Honestly, I mean, you're probably right. Yeah. Unless he gets a backyard delay, you're probably not going to die. Mm -hmm. or, or if it's just not too bad. Oh, no, yeah, gets, gets a uh, slide on uh, Oh, up there right through with the Thunder Jolt there. That's such a tactical move. Mm -hmm. Okay, Thunder not going to bring him down. Okay, up there, Thunder. Looking for the Thunder? No. Nope. He's probably for looking for an air dodge. He's probably hoping to get a back air forward. Uh -huh. Now forward at the ledge with the kill. Nair at the ledge with kill. Now a lot of Pichu's moves with kill right now. Yeah, and if you're Luis right now, like, now you're chilling to like, stay on that side platform, draw your projectiles, you got plenty of time. You know what, what's going to kill you, and you just play around those. You know, now he's got center stage. Town of the City is such a weird stage. It feels like stage four is on, on because now we're on FD. Yup. And now we're back to Town of the City. And it has almost a Kalos, you know. Yeah. Good up smash in the roll. Not a movie see often. No, not often. I think he does have intention on right? I think so. I think something started here for Hyro. Another rogue up smash, but sometimes Luis just gets You just let him rip. You just gotta let him rip. You're a madman. Dude, Pichu's at 80 and he's next to you. Of course he's gonna up smash. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's gonna die if he hits, right? Exactly. Why not? I'll take like what? 30 if I don't hit? Yeah, you are. 
Gone, yeah. Only 100% there across the stage. Pichu, lightest character in the game. Getting a bit more damage here, but it is looking a little bit grim. Not the worst situation, but definitely not when you want to be in. He's <laughs> going for that up smash. That definitely would have killed. Yeah, the, the jab just looked funny for him. Bobby Jack, you know, he's looking like get a response out of so or something, or something else. Oh, oh, almost got the snipe with the laser. I don't know how anyone edgeguards this character, honestly. Would up be the way it is? Horizontally, even that's tough to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get a second angle there. Again, laughing that one off. I like I like this guy's energy. I like this vibe. I thought it seemed pretty cool. Yeah, he looks like he's Enjoying yeah, he's just having some having fun. In top eight, winner's side still, too. Making quite the run. Yeah. Yeah, next up, we're going to see that same matchup again. We have money up 2 0. See if Hyro can give us up on the board. It's coming, just, man. Just more and more people are just like, you know what? It's time to play Three, Now, two, thankfully, one, we only have one in our go. top eight here. One Rob. <laughs> I respect it too, bro. Yeah. Do it. I was like, I want to watch the world burn. <laughs> it doesn't affect us, it's fine. I don't mind. I don't see it. I don't see what the problem is. Well, on the left, it's just way through. All the changing uh, with projectiles here. And yes, I don't know what he's going to do. Louis Money is always ready for him. There's a way. If you got some good recovery, you're not in any danger. Make, make Rob project this field way slower. Next game. In the next game, you should not get that back after like what? Three seconds? Four I want, seconds? I want him to go back. That's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm in Brawl Rob. I'm just trying to Brawl Rob. I'm Brawl Rob was I. I think he was, he was starting to rise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he died. Even yeah. game right here, being having a nice roll, just gonna throw back on the fourth throw. You can't really get much there, right? Yeah. Maybe go for the other one. Yeah, it's not a reliable. Not at all. He's just throwing it. Isn't that great? I'll be honest. Like low percentage low is percent. good, but when you actually get to the percent where you need to start closing out these stocks, it's not really going to do much good. Get him a going to get him off the floor there. Get a little off there. Okay, so on the other side of the stage. But he definitely has a charge for laser. Yeah, he's going real low. Like you just got so much time. Yeah, and, and you can mix up your timing so well with that, right? Like, you can, you can pass ball, then you can air and pass ball. You can just wait, drift down, and air. Like, so many mix up with that. 200%. But, does have a stock, it doesn't really matter like for your P2 right now, just because you're at 2%. Up yeah, throw, probably good. Good. Yeah, up throw, down throw, follow up, back air, strong air. Up throw, the up smash. Up smash. Yep. Go for an up smash, why not? I did not know how to rob until very recently. Yeah, same. And I'm like, man. It's man. it's it's doing some work. Hey, no, it's been putting in work all bracket. Like, he's, Dude. he's pretty much cooking everybody. What a combination of characters to have, too. Palutena and Rob. Oh, my oh, God. I saw the box. No wonder. I kind of missed that. I, I do, too. I, I miss the Louis Money box. Either way, Rob gets the job done here. Mm -hmm. Hyro definitely showing that he um isn't just a oh, pushover. No! And there's my the the curse coming in. I am so sorry, Hyro. I did I did not mean to praise you like that. Never again. <laughs> oh my god, man! I did not mean to do it. I swear. <laughs> oh, Louis Money showing some really strong showing here. Oh, yeah, this is really this is gonna be oh, oh, big You're back not here, yeah. Back from that. It's so we, it's so Already wild. Pyro had the momentum for that entire game. He was up in percent for that entire game until the he died at 40 off stage that that rotor arm. Yeah. And then it all just went in the opposite direction. But they're laughing it off. They're having a good time. That's what I love to see here. I'm glad we're seeing some uh, some friends. Some friends having fun here. Yeah, I mean, Hyro is probably going to be able to make a little run here. In oh, yeah. Bracket, I think. Definitely. You know, the combination of Pichu. People being pretty unfamiliar, I think, around here with Pichu. And Hyro just obviously really, really strong player here. Mm -hmm. Playing really well on top of that. Like, And that's going to bring sure. Hyro down to he's going to be playing either Fear or U-Man's next, whoever wins between those two. And then next on stream here, it looks like we're going to be seeing Spot and uh, Xavier. Xavier, that is the Wii Wii Fit. Fit. Yeah. yeah. 
We've got Steve and Wee Fit right now. That's going to be a fun matchup. Man. How do I commentate Wee Fit? Oh, God. I do. I, all I know is that deep breathing is broken. And that's a, you can do like so many just janky things in the character because the character has really awkward Dude, hands, right? something I've seen Xavier uh, abuse a lot today is he will, like, he'll get you off stage, right? And then he'll throw a header. He'll, like, cancel header right next to the ledge. And then he'll up smash it. And that will make that hitbox linger for so long. Oh, my God, dude. There's a few shenanigans you can do with, like, kind of hitbox extensions, right? Because you're hitting the soccer ball. Yeah. And then we think they'll pretty solid recovery, right? That's a good projectile game. We think it's Because then you're just gonna let Weep it heal. Because Weep is, yeah, Sun Salutation, deep breathing heals as well. It, it does. It's small healing, but it's still there. It can, it can matter, especially depending on how defensive Xavier wants to play. You can absolutely, like, it can matter. Yeah, definitely. The timing for deep breathing is so weird. You have to hit it so early. Yeah, like, you, you don't hit the, hit the B button to get to the next circle. It's really weird. Big, big right before. Yeah. Yo, you can also get some shenanigans with like the off, off the backboard with oh the freaking head to the gut with the soccer ball. I hope we see some board. of that. I hope we see some shenanigans in the set. I mean, it's just goofy characters, bro. Uh huh. Like, yeah. Disney Spot. characters. Spot has gold and Donnie right now. He's chilling. I, I think he's okay. Like, he's just finishing strong material. Get yeah. more redstone, get more iron, right? He's got two diamonds on deck now, so I'm honestly expecting him to craft a one. That's so he might be able to cheese it. Back air or a forward smash. He gets about 21%. Now you're in danger. Now you're in danger, but I don't think he's going to go for it. Oh, oh no. The shenanigans. Good F tilt. Great F tilt. That is such a weird move because, like, I know it's F tilt, but that's one thing. Right? Yeah, kind of. F tilt? F tilt is so weird. F tilt the. No, that's forward smash. That's forward smash. Oh my god. F tilt? I don't know anything about this player. Nobody plays it. Nobody plays with it. Nah, not some Parker. <laughs> oh my god, man. Quick. Again. Steve is a teacher, 100%. Oh, he thought he was gonna ask me. He thought he was gonna air dodge there. Not quite giving it to him, though. Steve is my favorite teacher character, honestly. Me too. Oh, I'm gonna force an air dodge there. He definitely wanted to roll the play. Xavier's back in this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some up, some up there stuff. I know Nair one or landing Nair stuff. Oh yeah, dude, Nair one F smash, or up smash. That's that like, would be good. That's what's up. Uh huh. Like spot can't get lost here. I love the way spot places blocks. By the way, I feel like spot places the places blocks differently than like every other team. Yeah. Yeah. He just knows like how to use it to survive and just also kind of stuff. Yeah. Just like, he, he, he builds blocks in such weird patterns compared to everyone else. It's so weird. Like, I see him do, like, two, two block thick walls, and it's so, so strong. Even, like, when you're in, like, that situation where you build it, like, above the ledge, you just get that next thing, and then you're, like, just push You can't ledge jump back, because you just get that block your head. Like, look at this. L. L. It's a staircase, man. He just wants you to get up there. 
I don't know. I don't think. It's a good thing too, because like, yeah, like you can like get a heal man, but if you're not worried about that, then like, you can't really approach it that well with a block. Yeah, like, like, Xavier has to approach it. Like, he doesn't have a choice. Oh! oh that could have been bad. Oh, he's throwing him out. He's doing a whole, he's doing a whole, like, uh, yoga instruction right now. Oh, wow, the sun salutation. Building with the iron now, though. We still got plenty on deck. Like, this is the hard spot. Like, what do you do? Yeah, I agree. I, I love it. I love spot speed. Spot Ness definitely goes hard, but the Steve is it's a different beast. Those are always some of the scary situations. Kind of have a lot of places where there's so many things to look out for. Like there's always two legs and every single leg scenario. Yeah. Okay, Goes over the high profile for the mind part. That's <laughs> another projectile. Let's see the block. The place is blocked really well because block is off. Out of materials. Oh, oh, the oh that. The back air, that got the hitbox extension there with the header. Spot with the ice. Watch this out game one, but if that game one is anything to go by, this we're in for a very nail biter series. Yeah, this is gonna be quite the set. Like blocks just are forcing Xavier to play so like play passively, but you have to approach at the same time. And Weefa just does not have the, the kit to be able to deal with. Stop that and I know I'm just preaching the choir at this point, but that's one of the strongest points of speed. Mm -hmm. You can just dictate so much of the game. Like, you have yep. to be a very specific character to be able to tell Steve how to play the game. Yeah, we're, we're playing Minecraft. Pretty cool. We're playing that's Minecraft. Cool. I love it. We got the Gladiator you know, remix. Love this song. Oh, we know that. We got to go balls. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not not that afraid against Steven zero percent, especially with you creating the game. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Unless you get like Yeah, ground jab is not good. That's a very bad spot to do. It. Imagine, imagine if Cloud could just refresh his limit whenever he lands. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. Keep breathing is just. Better limit. That's all it is. Okay, interesting recovery option. I thought. I know Spot was talking earlier with fighting spirits. Sometimes you just charging sun salutation on the ledge is giving me shades of Samus, and I kind of hate it. Yeah, it does look like discount charge shot, which is never a bad thing to be. That's really all it is: is discount charge shot with a heal. It's oddly hard to kill Wii Fit Trainer because of the breathing. Increasing their fall speed is actually really important to this survivability. You have to kill him off the side. 137 for Xavier here. This is definitely scary. Ah, there it is. Up to the back there, yep. Even game here. Chunky. You can break, see, yeah, you can break, you can break the wood blocks, you know, pretty easily, but. There yeah, we go. You get the stone and iron blocks, then you're, then you're in for not a fun time. Even wood, even wood is kind of hard for them. Did you see that header, by the way? Did you see that? See, he like did a header, like he, he threw the ball out, and the ball was just chilling, and then he did a header again, and he hit it the opposite direction. I, well, I, I don't. Trust me, I don't understand we hit it. Like, what is wrong with this character, man? <laughs> oh, the berry on the jab. Okay, gets nothing from it though. Something I love, I, I love seeing the trainer players using the weirdo moves like jab or like reverse forward air. I love that down air. Like we saw, we saw Xavier mm -hmm. there. I love that. I, I don't remember it. which one that was. I, I saw that one. I was like, wait, which move is that? Oh yeah, that's down air. That's down air. God, why? Why? Why is we did you do this? How long has character been a thing in Smash? It's been a big Smash Four. Like what? It's been nine years this character's been around and we still don't know what they do. Yeah, Smash 4 Command 2014. Mm-hmm. Well, us getting older, so I guess everybody's getting older at the same time, sure. right? Except for these new with the new wave ultra yeah. players. Most of the speed players aside from like spotting a couple others all like 15 Oh, he saw a reef there. He just didn't believe. Ooh, I love the angles they send headers at. I we've been we've been trying to play if you doing trigonometry in the head. Like, how do you how do you even send it in a different angle? Like I said, I don't know it. 
You just, it's like it's like Link using his bomb. You just use different moves on it. Okay. You just hit it with different moves, and then it goes to different angles. Oh, he wouldn't have died there. That actually, the blocks actually hurt Steve for once. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Terrible mechanic. Why did they add that? Yeah. 18 seconds. Limit is for 15, by the way. <laughs> hey, so do they. They have to time it. True. That's that's very true. Your kid is just better than theirs. 72 on spot. Very good. Mm -hmm. Xavier is definitely um definitely showing that he can take the the, the pace of this game and, and run with it. Uh oh. Really time. Yeah, there it is. Uh, no, he did. It's out of his inventory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets he he can he crafts them and gets the tools before the bar even fills up. It doesn't even matter. Like you need the bar like halfway. It's ridiculous. Uh, again, but the, the, we talked about it earlier. This is gonna be a nail biter set, like the situation we're in now. Another diamond on deck though, just in case he needs it. No iron, no, no mats here, no materials. Oh, that! Oh, oh, almost I didn't have the Xavier's been going for that down air every single time. That's what's been Yeah, but then he's to actually punish it. You have to get so close to the blocks to yes. be able to break them with Wii Fit Trainer, and that's not good. It sucks because, yeah, obviously back air probably isn't the play if Xavier's not using it. It doesn't last long enough. Back air doesn't have a long lasting hit box. So you, don't give it up. Yeah. Yeah. you hit one and then you're in end lag. If you hit the top one, yeah, you have more lag, then you have to wait. Uh -huh. Right? So then you have even more time to get punished. It's and just if you hit the low one, you still have the top one you get, which is in a lot of scenarios, the the block that's the, at the second spot, the higher block is the bigger problem. Yeah, hundred percent. Like in a lot of scenarios. Like dirt doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. You can do that with head air. Oh, gets the air dogs tag. There's the up tilt combos, the classic Steve. And just a second ago, Xavier was at 23. Just a moment ago. See, I like that spot just went into the damage right now. Because early, you know, obviously, that's how he ended game two. Because he knows that he gets the later percent. Great up smash. Well, right back to neutral now. Header honestly seems really good against Minecart. It seems like it just beats it out. Uh oh. Uh huh. It's got like a weird Bowser Jr. type mechanic. You can hit his head. If you hit it, hit actually Steve himself. He just gets knocked out. Fantastic music. Oh, see what I'm saying? He makes that back though. Oh, he did it. He didn't have any materials for Minecart. Oh, he did have TNT. TNT, yep. That was a great forward air from uh, Xavier. Sixty-eight. Ground. Oh, my car right out. I thought for sure we'd. I thought for sure we'd see an up smash from Xavier there, but nah, he just went for another jab. And... Maybe. Mm -hmm. Xavier's running with this one. Look at his lead. That weird back hit box F tilt. The on the on the header ball is so funny. It just deflates the ball and it makes it go flying. One forty-one. A lot of things will kill here. A raw back air. There's that forward smash on the down air again. Man, that that lead is gone. It's pretty much gone. Sword's gone. No more sword. We still on wood tools as well. Only can make stone. Yeah. Whoa! Mm -hmm. No, not again. Yeah, I think he's just expecting the tag. Good forward air. Wow. The wonky hitbox has actually worked. That's forward air, yeah. The wonky hitbox actually worked out in his favor. It went up, like through the minecart. It just went right with her hand. I got to stab his hand through. 
metal, a metal minecart. <laughs> it's like Steve was like towering I mean, inside what, the minecart. I mean, like, if we fit even human, like, I mean, they look like a mannequin, so it's like, are, are they even human? I don't think so. I think they're like, I like, to, my headcan is that we Fit, the we Fit trainer is like a Mysterio Dark Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking, right? Of the Fit Realm. <laughs> yeah, the Fit Realm. The Fit Realm, dude. dude. the balance board is, like, they, they like talk to the balance board. Oh my god, dude. It's in the same, same, same universe as Ring Fit, guarantee it. Oh Alright guys, game four here. You know, I wanna, I wanna mention too, the spot usually is no one's not on this ball, that one's going on. Yeah, and we just went with the alternative PS2. It's a, it's a, it's a little different. Steve is a little better on small battlefield, but PS2 is still gonna work out. Platform being a little lower, so sometimes you can Yeah. Whoa, he died. You are dead. I think he died to his own header. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, the light lingering down there. It does. Yeah. Yeah. I have to ask this week, I don't know. <laughs> no, it spikes, but only at the very beginning. It lingers quite a lot, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's why it's really Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Really yeah, yeah. Just not no. as good. <laughs> not as good. There's a I diamond. That's the, the, one of the nice things about when we get set in the game, we're always going to be able to get a full of holding and then we're going to be Yeah, definitely. No. Why don't you go to here and here there with the back air? So I'm going to have to craft this diamond now. Yep. Yeah. We've got another one, though. Oh, he didn't even craft it. I thought he did. I like that set. I like the block down the smash. And it breaks the block. I like that set a lot. That was a fair hand. Yeah, that was a punch. Oh, what? Excuse me. Whoa, what? Steven Minecraft and some silly, <laughs> silly stuff happening. Oh, what is that angle? That, okay, we're, what is that angle? We're, we are in a Disney movie right now. I can go watch like regular show or something else. But what? The Cal House Tournament, sponsored by Pixar. <laughs> not actually, not actually. If only. If only, right? Pixar making a Smash movie. <laughs> I mean, people were saying the, the, the MCU, the Nintendo Cinematic the Universe, the Mario movie. That's right? so dumb. I don't want Illumination doing a Zelda movie. Get out of here. That, really that does sound awful. Xavier kind of clawing his yeah. way back in now. I'm still down a whole stock, a little extra percent. You really gotta get something big. Why does that combo? Dead, basically dead even percent. Hit it just a little bit. Gold tools on deck now. That's really scary. It's chasing him. Open forward smash. This is really looking tough for Xavier. I was just waiting for him for an option out of the corner. You have no reason to open this win here. You usually kind of can if you want to, but you don't need to. Another diamond on deck here. Xavier, about the same percent. Xavier really needs to take the second stock if he wants a chance at this. Yeah, no, no reason for Splot to rush this. I love the mutual agreement they have sometimes. Again, the blocks not being able to tech on them, hurting him. I love the mutual agreement they have whenever whenever Steve starts mining, they just back off and just deep breathing, mine. We're all good. I don't need to stop you. Mm -hmm. it just, no, it's just how it's how often you use it. There's a cool there is a cooldown period, but yeah, I mean you're probably not used to this time by this point, right? Yeah, no, definitely not. You are dead for sure. 3-1 for Spud. Great we, stuff for Spud. This is kind of a... Uh, kind of a uh, kind of a... Uh, something we'll, I think we in SunCal look forward to Spot versus Louis Money, mm -hmm. I think, at this point. Definitely. Um, you know, I know that, you know, people feel any type of way, right? So I think a lot of people Hyrule like to see this match. Ooh. Hyro Hi U-Mans right now. We're going to jump down to losers because this next set's going to be winner's finals. Louis Money and Spot is winner's finals. So what do we got on the loser side of things? Losers, we got uh, Hyro and U-Mans, and then uh, the winner of Plum and Nest Boy versus Xavier. Okay. Damn, Yoshi player made it all the way here. Yeah, man. That's kind of cool, guys. I, I like Yoshi. I like seeing it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm a maniac. I, I actually like Yoshi. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm honestly excited to see how well Plum does, see if yeah. he can beat Nest Boy here, because, like, I played Plum on round two today. I, I, I lost to Plum 2-0. But damn, it was a close set. I really think I could have done that. And seeing seeing someone who I know I could have beaten 
this far in bracket, that's motivating. That's nice. Feeling, it's a yeah, good feeling. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, they're over here on one of the side streams, and uh, man, I'm just sitting here thinking, man, those yeah. are two characters that hit a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hundred percent. But now we're gonna see U Mans and Hyro. We got the mar the classic. Uh, no at one point, number one in Senkal against the Pichu. I guess newcomer. I haven't seen him. I'm I don't, not I gonna lie. I was rooting for Fear to beat U Mans. Oh, me too. <laughs> I, to, be, to be fair, I'm usually rooting for Fear. I like seeing Fear do well. I do too. I do too. More Steves is the merrier for me. I, I'm more. Pichu, I'm still so okay with more Steves. Also, I like how he's got 419 in his tag. That's a funny tag. I like that tag. <laughs> I feel like I, I want to ask because I don't know what the reference is. But it's I just probably it's just one below 420. I think uh, that's funny. Okay. I think that's funny. <laughs> but is that the reason? Why it's Maybe I don't know. In my head, Canada is. We'll, we'll roll with it. Either we'll way, Pichu and Mario definitely a much different match than we, than we saw earlier. Very different. Either one of them. We got Team Aqua versus Team Magma here. Pretty much. Yep. Yeah. I'm always a Team Aqua enjoyer. Me too. I, I love this. I love this one with the Team Skull hat. For, uh, oh, it's so good. It. It's so good. PG has such good colors in this game. It does. It does. I, lo I love PG. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty even game here. Now, I, I'm eh. always interested to see how we... I mean, it's Pichu. Yeah, it's, it's not that it's even. <laughs> I'm always interested to see like how people from Senkal can handle this character because we have a Pichu in Carmia, mm -hmm. but we don't really have a Pichu player. Not really, no. We have, I mean, Fruity, Fruity's been kind of splitting his time between Pichu and Sheik. But like at the top level of our region, we don't really have a Pichu yeah. at all. The rats are always kind of wow. Kill, but they had that back throw. Just gonna have back throw killed at a hundred. Yeah, light throw, the lightest, character. lightest yeah. character. This this character is bad with lots of really bumps as well. Though yeah. you might be able to not be in danger of up kills at some percent because they're just too far by the upper potential. Yeah, maybe. But you are going down smash. Yeah, down smash. Usually that's kind of the next like back air down smash your team cover, especially at the legs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, down smash being so active, you can catch a lot of characters. Uh, catch neutral get up, maybe catch the ending of the roll. A lot of upbeats coming up from you, man. A lot of DPs. Basically, yeah, basically. Pretty much, yeah. What frame three in this school? Frame three uh, hitbox? Does it yeah, it does. Why does he have that? I don't know. He yeah, Mar it. Mario's head is made of steel. What am I saying? <laughs> True. His head is made of steel. Very true. Yeah, good fade back on him there. Mm -hmm. Great spacing well, from Hyro here. Well, actually still gets flipped even though he caped him. I hate when that happens. Yeah, Trading yeah. with cape. That was a freaking melee reverse hitbox. Yeah, it was. Okay, actually expecting, you may as well expecting a spot now just to go start picking him up. No, honestly, the get him attack. Given. Both of these players doing a really good job playing around each other. Great DI from Hyro. I mean, you look at the microphone. It's very impressive. Oh, no, you barely. Oh, not enough to That was a very that excellent was a great game. Yep, very good game for you, man. Oh, yeah, just simple jab gets some little damage. Mario, that's a one time that Mario does not like. Unless he can grab you, Mario does not like having his opponent at zero. Yeah, not at all. A lot of his stuff negative on Twitter zero. Why is that a thing? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm always going to have a bone to pick with moves being negative on hit, but enough about that. Down, down a stack, down 40% already, make it 53. So I hope he had a shield again for you, man. I don't know, really need to... Uh, should have his jump. No, but this is up, B, good high recovery. Don't even give him a chance to contest you. He could have maybe gone for a thunder and clipped it, though, maybe. Yeah, a little bit but risky, though. Him, you know, you're just going to send it back up, and then he gets Ooh. back on the stage, doesn't get back there. A little bit of missed time on the cape from you, man, here, getting that T-Zone again. Follow-ups there. Oh, actually, there we go. Basically a tick throw. You've been shooting after taking out that shield there. The little combo from Hyro taking control back in this match. Ooh, good avoidance there. Definitely starting to adapt to the up. He's out of shield. That's a few here. They're out of that combo. Not quite going to kill yet. An up smash, a back air, forward smash. A lot of things to kill here. Back throw at the ledge. Back throw at the ledge, yep. You still need some more percent if you're if you're Hyro. Oh god, Ooh, what an air dog. Scary situation. You missed ready for it though. There so it is, four smash. smash. That's no the worst way. game. Yeah, yep. you're gone. That four smash is so strong, Scales especially so with rage. rage. Yep. Yeah. Great stuff from Hyro stealing that game from you, man. That's why you gotta hit your techs. You gotta hit your techs. Highway robbery. I mean, I, you know, it's fitting. You got the team Aqua. 
You know, mm -hmm. the villainous team, you steal some parts of Slate for it, right? Yep. You steal a game here or there, tech shit, or you miss tech. <sighs> All right, where are we going this, on this game? Town and City? City? All right, yep. Yeah. I was kind of honestly expecting Stop to the PS2. Then again, you know, like, it's more about his conversion into forward air mm -hmm. as opposed Definitely. to like the, the ladders. Definitely, and then just having a little bit of time where the stage turns into FP if you get, that good, if you get a good hit at the ledge there, there's nothing to stop you from getting that upper forward air. Yeah. Sometimes you, you get that Ooh. landing air into it as well. We got color counter fix here, and that, that we're both on Team Skull. Oh, let's go. I love the Team Skull cap. It's so good. I think he heard you talking about that, and he wanted to, to appease you. That, that's my guy. All right, <laughs> I, I, maybe I want him to win. Maybe I want him to win. Oh, wait, I can't say that on commentary. Y'all didn't hear nothing. Nah, we got to have Senkel. We got to have Senkel defend. Senkel needs to defend. That's true. That's true. Anyways. Uh, pretty, pretty simple fellow start here. Mm -hmm. Trading a few hits here and there. Platforms are gone. Now we're on FD for a little bit. Your Here's that FD. Stage. Love this stage, man. <laughs> Shout out to Kazi Amishma. <laughs> Waiting for that big hit here from either side here. One big hit. What a forward hair. Oh. Good well time there, guys. There. Wow, that upper is there. The platform is probably going to stay in there, too. Definitely. Only 54 here on you, man. Hyro. Oh. oh, yeah. See, that, that situation, we've had several situations right, where Hyro is like, you're just holding shield, so I'm going to either hit him in the bottom or I'm going to grab you. You, man, is now calling it out. Getting an up smash and getting himself a kill. Mm -hmm. Good ledge pressure here from Hyro. Oh, why does it hit him? Oh, go get him off, back off stage. He's trying not to take too much chip damage, per se. Uh, but sometimes I kind of, you know, you're kind of looking at something. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, not quite timing that down smash right this time. That's always a scary scenario of getting close to getting up the mm -hmm. Another upbeat flip, hold down just long enough. Beefy, yeah. That's from the Beefy Smash food. That's what that's from. They, yeah, they, they originated that, so now it's just called a Beefy Upbeat. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Alright, I'll give it to you. Down okay. To the okay, tech just all This is the jab. jab, not quite close enough. Probably also just because, like, Mario's way in, it was, he was able to fall fast enough mm -hmm. where maybe you just don't have any time to fall out of the jab yet. Yeah, uh, great landing there to avoid the, uh, Mario's there. Good, good Whoa. pressure. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Good DI. Okay. Oh, I slayed down with downer. I love that. Grab Back him on quite. stage. I mean, you're not really going to edge ride this character too hard, but you do have moves like, you know, fly, maybe you can... Recovery. Yeah, we did see you man's got a good cave. Good cave. Yeah. Yeah. Good cave, yeah. And the active friends on the dash tech could help you put the center. Should live this. Yeah. 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 Not from stage. center stage, no. Not Mario's back though. Okay, weird forward area box, but we'll take it. Oh no, he falls. The multi hits. Out. That, that definitely would have killed him. Max rage. Ooh, the down tilt trade. Oh, not all right on that Not at all. all right. Pichu at 180 almost. No yeah, tech in that. <laughs> Barely didn't die. Wow. Uh, removal of player skill. <laughs> you are no longer allowed to catch. I, I, I guess I just wish that that didn't come into play so late. You know? Right? Like, I don't know why. Like, I don't even know why it's in the game. Like, what? What is the point? <laughs> hey, you see the rage coming to play here for Yumi. Not really able to get much off the down right now. No, it's not really. Oh, uh, he just went way too low with that one. I think he's, his brain just, just buffered there for a second. But now you have a better combo game. But it just That's combo true. You know, really been getting it much in general. I think it's just a combination of each. That might have been strategic. He might have just meant to kill himself there. <laughs> Imagine. I'm really? not gonna, I, 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 I don't know. That, that might be that might be a stretch. Might be too much credit. Might, be, might be too be much credit. credit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you man's a lot of credit. I don't know if I give anybody credit for that. Yeah, <laughs> unless you're Lucario. Unless you're Lucario, exactly, exactly. But that would be the beginning of the game. Yeah. Okay. Up smash. Hey, yep. Up yeah. smash. Bringing things to one one here. You man's getting himself on the board. Saint Cal on the board now. I want to see another color counterfeit. I would love to see us just cycle through different colors. The uh, which, which which one you want, which one you want next? The flower or the or the head? Mm. The little, little ear I, li I like I like I like spiky ear Pichu. Spiky ear Pichu is good. I love spiky that one. ear Pichu's great. I just we, love we're the switching sides. I I, I'm really glad they caught this. We're switching sides now. Beautiful. So we can actually have the correct 
uh, orientation for the layout here. Yeah, trust me, my, my uh, okay. game OCD. We're just back to uh, back to default Mario here for you, man. So. Town and city again, huh? Okay, I mean, you know, pretty close game, right? Yeah, why not? You know, this this stage seems pretty neutral in this matchup. Right. And maybe uh, is DSR uh, a part of the rule set? I believe so. It's oh, Genesis it's 9. Right, so uh oh, oh, good air dodge out. Not quite gonna. Oh uh, no! Right. Mix up from the landing. Yeah, I think there you can just kind of position because then you can still try to go for the drag down. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. A little anti pyro, but it's all right. Still doing all right here. Might be in danger of up smash now, though. Yeah, definitely. I think up smash is totally kill. Big edge guard here as well. Great dash attack. Uh, P2 up to get him to back. Up air kill. A Mario up air kill. Only on P2. Yeah. P2 and maybe and then, maybe, maybe, maybe Pug. Wait, wait, wait. We saw a little bit of game launch with Drake. Did we? Oh yeah. Really high up to be fair, but like that was like God like Mario. Ever ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, U-Man's only at 65 here. Not really in too much danger from anything. Hyra really just needs to get something started. U-Man's <laughs> rolls his way back on stage. Now we're just back to playing some neutral. There we go. Yeah, okay, Yeah, definitely. Just reset at that point, take the damage. Yeah, you don't you don't wanna give up the stock lead again. Stock lead against P2 is not. Yeah it is. Okay, air dodge. So we can get an edge guard here. Good F tilt, that would have killed at one point in time. <laughs> yeah, see now see now Hyrule was waiting for the uh -huh. Yeah, the adaptation to these players is incredible. There's the down air. You don't see that often. You see, I feel like you see it from Peach, Pikachu a lot more often because it's a bigger move on him. Hey, whatever's going to mention his stock, you want to try to even up the stock now. Because as long as you don't lose the stock, no matter how high percent you go. to get a couple things going here. Oh, back airs right out. Okay, up the high recovery back on the stage. Not ready for that one. Big back guy's gonna take that next stock. Yeah, this is huge. Yep. Yeah, both these players, uh, U.S. has done a really good job uh, adapting to what Hyra really wants in the set. It's not often that Mario has a good in this matchup he does. Definitely, 100%. Yeah, he keeps going for these F smashes. He wants to get some kind of early kill here, but I don't, I don't blame him. It hasn't really been working out for him. I'm still up there. No down there there. I thought down there for sure. Yeah, costing a lot. 132. Just down tilt to another up there. I, I was seeing just back there there, no? Another dash attack, yeah. Yep. You man's doing a great job spacing around Pichu right now. Hey, good catch. Good stuff from you, man. Bringing, the, bringing up the lead right now, 2-1. Mario wins! Pikachu players in the top bar, they don't like that Mario. Um, I would assume it's fairly similar. Obviously, Pichu and Pikachu have very noticeable differences. Oh, yeah. I think this is kind of one of those cases where Mario is shot to battle. Pichu, Mario! Definitely. Umez has just been swapping between default and black and white. And he just swapped between the two. I want to say his tag's a little shot. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what the reference to. I'm not sure. I'm not going to ask. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Landing hit, yeah. I hate landing hitboxes, man. All right, this is going to be a big punish for Hyro. There we go. Clean 40. What a trade. Alright, Hyrule definitely keeping the momentum here. I mean, you think it's like, yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, and that Nair eventually will start killing too. Like if you're at a high enough percent next to the ledge, that will kill you if he maxes out. Never, ever, never, ever. Unless you're somehow like trading with them off the box. Yeah, but like, eh, that's super rare. This is a dead even game right now. 100% even. Ooh, okay. That's a nice little leader for you. Yeah. I was waiting to see when we would see that just seemingly random F smash. And we finally saw it. E-Man walks right into it and it works out. Now he's got to get as much. <laughs> oh, barely didn't kill. Want to get as much extra credit as we can here on Ira, but only 22%, which isn't nothing. You know, it's better than nothing. Yeah, you might get the DI mix ups on the combos as well. Hyrule's just getting messed up here with uh, his follow ups at the end. Can't really close out any of the combos. Yeah. And then you never expect them to do it again, and then you keep doing it. <laughs> these two just exchanging nares and up airs. They just want to get something started. Both these players just want their big hit. Yes, they are. There's that down tilt. One ten. This is really dangerous. There it is. Yeah, great catches from you, man. Pyro mm -hmm. one stock away from his uh, bracket life here. Yes, yeah. It shouldn't, no. This game don't make any sense. Yeah. There we go. 70% though. This is a scary percent to be at. It's as Pichu. There's a chance. When there's a will, there's a way. Wow, barely avoiding that. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, melee, yeah, pop it off right now. Some type of Mars mirror would happen over there. I do also want to point out that uh, Ness Boy did beat Plump. Okay, he uh, did. Don't know the set count. So now we're going to see uh, Ness Boy versus Xavier and Losers, Xavier, yeah. which I think is going to be our next set, I Should believe. Be. Should be. And honestly, I am just going to – oh, no, they're – yeah, Plum Nest Boy, 3-1 Nest Boy. Xavier Nest Boy, yep. Honestly, I'm just, I'm, I'm sitting here until they decide if they want to kick us off. Yep. And if they don't want to kick us off, I'm good with that. cool with me. Yep. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get food when we're done, whatever it is we're yeah. doing. My tummy is rumbling, though. I am hungry. Of course, All right. of course everything. Uh, yeah, honestly though, when we leave, we'll probably it's probably better to just get food in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some quick fast food, or I'm honestly kind of thinking canes. <laughs> there, there's a canes here. No, in Modesto, in town. Oh, when we get back my, to town. My fault, my fault, my fault. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, or I mean, we can oh, pass by the one in Manteca, no? Do we pass Manteca? Well, no, no, Manteca, no, no, no. Manteca. Other way, other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I do, thankfully. Yeah, so we'll figure that out. But now it's crazy to me we have a Wii Fit trainer in top five. Yeah. On top we had a Pichu in top five because you never seen Pichu. Yeah. Like what is this character? I want to say that's a really good showing by Hyro. We have a we only have one uh, repeat character. Uh, no, not Rob, right? No, Steve. Steve, yeah, Steve. In top eight we have Louis Money with Rob, Hyro with Pichu, Spot with Steve, Xavier with Wii Fit, Plum with Yoshi, Ness Boy with Ness, Fear with with um, Steve and you man's with Mario. 
everyone's different except for the two Steves, but like, what a weird top eight, man. I mean, these days, I feel like if you're expecting a repeat character, you're probably expecting, you know, Steve, Steve or Hub. Or Kazuya. <laughs> or maybe Kazuya. Not in this region, not in this nah. region. The Kazuya, I'm part of this. I, I can say this. No no shade to any of the Kazuyas, but none of us are really good enough to get to this point. <laughs> Damn, I wasn't, I wasn't even talking about that. I just the character's not as common, you know? Oh, uh, no, I disagree, honestly. Yeah, there was like six Kazuyas here today. Ah, that's incredible, Dude, actually. I saw I so that. many Kazuya. There's me, Werner, Zambi. Uh, we also had, I forgot his name, but he was in the crew battle earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we had... All I know is his, his team games had his trails. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if that's... You know, Zapelli so. was here too, and he's been he's been playing a lot of Kazuya lately. Is he dropping no. He's playing all three? No, he's playing all three right now. Um, Terry, uh, Terry Kazuya Belmonts. Yeah, yeah. But like he's been playing a box. Whoa. We got a box. Is he only playing Kazuya or just playing the whole Just 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 Kazuya on box. Wow, you're actually kind of a chad. You have two different. I, dude, I played him recently and it destroyed me. We're going into this set, Nest Boy. Oh, I am so happy I get to commentate a Nest Boy set. I see this dude's clip because I see him on TikTok, on Fresh Cut, on Twitter all the time. He is on a content grind. Really? Oh my god, dude. His stuff actually gets some pretty good views and he, he always goes for the clip. I love watching him play. He is so entertaining. This is like the coolest Ness I've ever seen. I love him. No shade to the other Nesses, but man, Ness Boy's wild. And Xavier not even taking a percent yet, though. I should stop singing the praises. I should stop. <laughs> it does. It really does. Yeah, basically, you cannot give Oh, there we go. Oh there God. we go. Don't worry. That's going to be on Fresh Cut later. I'm going to see that on Twitter later. I guarantee it. Nest Boy uses Magnet like no other Ness. Oh my god. The Magnet usage on Nest Boy is wild. <laughs> I'm sure that's been one of his, one of his descriptions. Wow, that didn't... Wait, whoa. He must have canceled it. Dude, he all... Like, I always, I never think that Magnet's gonna be a true combo into other stuff, but it's always true combo. It's so wild to see. Good ass tilt. Yeah, deep breathing, really carrying the set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he must have. It heals a lot at full, when it's fully charged, too. Yep. He's mashing, mashing. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's a bar. Yeah, American No, a bar, right? That's how it goes, right? Always. You're an American player or a foreign Yo, you at the ledge. That's going to catch. No, he could have checked that. I don't think he expected to, though. No. This is weird because that was up smash, not down smash. Yeah. It's so good, man. They made that down tilt. Down tilt so good in this game. You cannot absorb No. Oh, I thought he was going to make that. That's such a weird mechanic that if you hit the gate under two, it just doesn't go as far. Yeah. That's so odd. It doesn't work that way for Lucas. No, it doesn't. No, because his multi hit, travel, you travel with him. Dude, good down tilt. Not quite going to close it out, though. Has his jump. Alright, see if Nest Boy can sneak this one out. Deep breathing back. Oh, he got deleted. I thought maybe he might he might live that. No. <laughs> deleted. That's we that's we fit though. That's that's deep breathing for you. Deep that's breathing true. is it's just There's so better, strong. It's better limit. You may as well have our sin. Honestly, it's Arsene and Limit put together. I hate that. I hate the thought of that. <laughs> hey, man, at least, it's a, at least it's on a character with a weirdo kit. At least yeah. her kit isn't very good. Like, you have to be some some maniac to play Weefit in my bed. And I mean that in a good way. Like, you have to be just look different. It's like, so weird. Because this character's awkward. It's so weird. I feel like there are so many characters that have, like, like Weefit's a character that has 
really a really not great kit, but their attributes and like buffs really help them. But then there are other characters that are the complete opposite. Like Kirby, terrible attributes, great kit. Ganon. Solid kit, oh. terrible attributes. Look at the oh. damage! You're already 82%. You're wobbling. I love I love Weefit's voice lines. He just up smashes. You're wobbling. <laughs> Try and keep your balance. <laughs> like stop, why are you so BM? <laughs> this is why male Wee Fit's better. Male Wee Fit is way better. Somebody in the chat is very angry with you right now. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Male Wee Fit's funnier. Funny over waifu every day. No question. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> hey, oh, did you see that? Weak back air and a strong back air? I don't think it was true, I just don't think he had a jump. Like down throw cross slash. <laughs> we made it up. It's not real. By a writer. <laughs> Best boy finally finding his footing here in this set. A 119 here, the forward tilt, a down tilt, anything's gonna kill. That was a bit of a weak spot back there. It didn't delete him this time. That was weird. That's interesting. The the graphic for deep breathing, it goes oh, it's it's on a layer above everything else. You see how he got he got a screen KO and the deep breathing was still there? That's super weird. I love little things like that. This game's full of that. Did he take extra damage because the guy hit header? But this set, this character, any set with this character is full of just like, oh, did that just happen? Oh, this just happened. That was weird. Oh, that air that needed that air dodge. You were definitely dying for that. Okay, watch the soccer ball. Oh no, yeah, I was really. Scared. I thought we were gonna Didn't see a follow up. Like quite the hit you needed for that, or like a trajectory. A little bit too high for center. Oh. I think you still make this back. Yeah, still oh, yeah. jump. Oh, yeah. We put some coverage overall pretty solid. Ooh, good good tech, tech there. Great tech. That one. And the stall with the header to stall out the, the next down smash. Mm -hmm. Great choice. Really, really good stuff from Xavier. Actually, that might have been up front. I don't know. They look the same. They're the same. Whatever. <laughs> one sends up, one sends at a racist angle. <laughs> <laughs> a quick F tilt or a back air here with deep breathing to the call it for Nest Boy. Yep, there it is. Mid screen, 111. I mean, like, you're. I know you want to get back to center stage while also pressing the shield there, but I mean, you, you've taken that hit about five times now. You probably just want to drift that because the, the back air really kill you before the forward. Yeah, definitely. Granted, the forward air will kill you. At some point, especially with deep breathing. Yeah. Oh, he goes for it. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the header and still clip we did. Oh, no. Oh, barely. Yeah, no chance that. to take a down smash. I think he's still alive though. No, he's not. He wanted, he wanted to go over it, but he just couldn't get high enough. That is a big. That big is game. such a crazy move. I can't believe they gave that back to him. Remember Smash 4? He didn't have that? I take, missed that. Take me back. Take me back, take bro. Me back, bro. He did not have that in Smash 4. He did not have that send, brawl. Send Lil Bro back. He doesn't need this down smash, bro. Send Lil Bro back. He had that in Melee, but it was garbage. He was terrible in Melee. Bring me back. Take me back. Take me back to Melee, Ness. Give me back my stun jacket. PS2, the Gladiator. They got great. They got, uh, these guys got great taste in music, in music choice. I gotta say, I mean, as, as weird of a character we fit in, I'm loving what I'm seeing. Like, right? Trust me. Like, the character's weird, but entertaining. Yes. And I love watching them. And I think the way Xavier plays, so, like, both of those players are pretty explosive, so that's mm -hmm. always exciting to watch, right? Okay, hold up. Oh, watch it, watch the damage. Hey, yo! Oh, God! I'm gonna see that in first cut later, too! And he's back. Crazy stuff, man. Hold on. Did you see that? Yeah. What was that? Off the stage. Did he? Off the stage. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, no way. No way. Uh uh. Uh, I, you know what? There is a sport that we 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 is bad at. It's called Smash Four. <laughs> that was awful in Smash Four. That's weird. It didn't bounce off anything. That's just how that works. Yeah. What? <laughs> There's the forward air. Deep breathing is gonna definitely carry that one. Salute the sun. Look at the damage. He, he just lost his stock. He's at 77 already. 
Oh, yeah. wow. Hit by from the soccer That was ball. a great catch on the ledge jump. Oh, hold up. Yo, the drag down. He's so stylish, man. You see what I'm saying? He's so cool. He is so cool to watch. Oh, what a force smash. Now you're just showing off. Look at him smiling, dude. He knows. Hey, I love it, though. He's putting on a show. I respect it. I want to see more, bro. I want to see more. Yeah, you're punish. going for sure. Good punish. Dead even game right now. Hold up. Hold up. Whoa. Whoa. The grab release. Hold up. This is crazy. Oh, he wanted to break the shield. Yeah, 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 for sure. Crowd, dude. The crowd is going crazy behind us watching this. Well, I see why. He's, he's mad entertaining. This set is like the best set we've had all day. I, I love this set. Whoa. Yeah, back throw. See ya. There it is, yeah. No, no he lived. If he had deep breathing. <laughs> if Ness had deep breathing, it would have killed. <laughs> yeah, there's the F smash, yeah. for sure. 2-1 uh, for Ness Boy here. Back, yeah, definitely. And you can tell these guys are having a good time, though. This is such a cool set. God, Ness Boy's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> bro, both these players are cool, bro. I, I love what I'm seeing, like the setups, the mm -hmm. converts have been great. I mean, Ness Boy's conversions are, are one like, 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 like he actually has the ability to save. You haven't seen Ness like mine. And he's not like he's not lying. Like, he's actually being real. No, that's real. On the flip side, Xavier Center with Header have been two, immaculate. One, and used to uh, Sun Saltation, obviously deep breathing and great attribute as well. It's been a fun set, man. I'm down for a game five at this point. Hold up, this is all true. This is all true. Alright, yeah, drips away there, no downer that time. Dude, Magnet is so I can't get over how good Magnet is, and especially his usage. It's so good. <laughs> it's over here, bro. Come over here. Okay, double in the air. He tries to go for a reset there. Does he get it there? Okay, I got a shield in the four there. These guys, these guys look kind of happy to the close and blow. That's, did you see that? I didn't know we could get the short hop four there and then a landing back air. I, I didn't know you could do that. It's a good catch. Dead even game again. Deep breathing is going to uh, be really scary here for Ness Boy. Maybe careful with the sun salutation usage here, obviously, Dude. because he needs to absorb it. Ah. He commits him a header and hit him out of it because it's a physical move. I wish Mufit's forward throw was better. It was a better kill throw. I really wish that move killed. Small with the EK flash. Really smart. Salutation, though. Whoa, Better. what an angle. Bad trick? Oh! Yes, sir! The snipe, bro. I do too. Now look at this, the momentum's all in Xavier's court right now. Look at the movement with the back there. Yeah, you're gonna die barely, but you will die. Oh, that's almost killed actually. Oh, yeah. Who has the script? Who's got the script? Who wrote it? Alert the sun. I did. I did not just hear something. I just said women deserve to be down throw up to you. Why? What? Why would you want? Like for a kill game? I don't know. Whatever. Some whatever. That's boys uh, starting to take back a little bit more of that momentum. You know, we haven't really seen too much of that double game. I mean, we're all in flash combo. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought we got to see something insane. Oh, I, I like okay. it, I like it, I like it. Fancy stuff. Uh, no dead? Way. Dead. Oh my god. It's, oh, He's it's so combo. good with Magnet, dude. I have not seen a Nest use Magnet like this, like, ever. Oh. That was good, that was good drift by Xavier. Alert the Sun. Alert the Sun. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. Everything does. I, literally everything in their kit does. It's just a flat damage increase. That is not okay. Nope. The shield pressure. Oh, good uh, roll in, good roll in. That wasn't broken. No. Nah. Look at the damage, he went from 42 to 80. On a forward air with header in it. It's down to the wire here. That's actually huge. Uh, actually, take a fight. 
Oh, he didn't oh get hit by that. Oh, Xavier's so confused. Yes. No, Xavier's so yeah. confused. I am, I am that too. Looked like it would, it would have hit. Right? I get, yeah, I guess it just, it wasn't the right hitbox of up, up smash. Because up smash has a tipper on it. And it has way more hit lag, so I guess he got the inner hitbox with that, and it didn't extend it as much. Because that definitely catches neutral get up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was just, I guess, slightly miscalculated by Xavier. Still, Still. a great showing by Xavier. I mean, mm -hmm. piloting this character extremely well. Great stuff from Xavier. That was, that was a masterful showing by both players. Mm -hmm. that, that was, as, as far as I'm concerned, that was so far the best stuff this Oh, yeah, 100%. I agree. And now we're moving up to, oh, we're going to do loser semis next. Loser semis. So Nesboy's well, going to stay. Uh, Nest Boy's staying. Okay, yeah, I guess they're... Yeah, we're just going to go straight into Nest Boy Unions, I think. I mean, usually they do they do winner's finals, and then they just go through losing time for us. Yeah. Be, yeah, I think Nest Boy's going up. Oh, okay. Okay, Maybe. cool. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. He's getting water, but I'm pretty sure there should be winner's finals. They're going to water. See tournaments do. So they, Everyone... You just do loser's uh, semis, you just kind of go away, too. Because the idea is that you don't want the person who just lost the loser's finals... You don't want them to in winter finals. You don't want them to play immediately. After. Yeah, that's fair. And even yeah. if they want a break, right? It's like they probably want a longer break than you would like. Mm -hmm. So I, the idea is that you, you know, can just. That's why you do winter finals. Yeah, they're gonna take it. Yeah, we're gonna win. Louis, finals, Louis and Spot are stepping up right now. Yep. All right. Quick reminder to everyone in stream. Everyone, if you have water next to you, drink some up right now. Hydration check. I wish you had water, but you don't. I have some in my car. Ah, it's warm at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm running real low. I need to get me one of those. Yeah, you do. Those are life changing, I know. I know. So just throw, throw a bunch of water and ice in there. Yep, 48 ounces right here. Beautiful. If y'all don't have a, a, a nice, solid, large water bottle at home, pick one up. They're a little pricey, but it's definitely worth it. Pay like 40 bucks for a decent water bottle, your life will be different. For the rest, your rest, rest of your life will be different. Much better. Oh, disconnect your pro controllers. <laughs> there, there we go. I was trying to get to player one, right? Yeah. Please hit minus players. Please hit minus players. Thank you so much. These guys are goaded. Louis Money, my goat, dude. These guys are goaded. Steve. All righty. We got the Palutena coming back. No Rob for this one. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I think he's just going with the safer pick here. There's this tried and true Palutena. And let's I'm, see. I'm We've real, I, I do love Luis Palutena. Dude, we have seen this exact set so many times in the past. And I am excited to see how it goes this way because both these players do nothing but get better. And I, I think one of my favorite things too is that, like, you know, spot over the picture. I know it's the first time. I think it's the first time spot. Yep. Yep. Of course. But I, I love, like, Yo, know, there's always a there's always good time watching you play. And you know I can go either way. Oh, yeah, I definitely can, but you know what? I don't care if I'm a, if I'm a commentator. I'm going to be biased. Let's go, Senkou! <laughs> Let's go, Senkou! Always root for the boys. Yeah. Well, whichever way saying. it goes, though, it'll be great. Luis is one of my favorite knockdown players. Oh, yeah. Luis is great. I got a big back 151 though, you are still alive, and what a recovery, avoiding that. Wow, the back air failed on the Nair kill. I guess I have not been expecting him to that way. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I... Yeah, but the block stop it. Yep. Block yeah. stop explosive flame, and I find that so funny. You don't understand how bitter I was when I found that out. That's so funny, man. I love it. Yeah. Supremacy. There's the anvil to take that first stock. Sponsored by Acme. Look at this. Look at this. The material is in the spot. He's just not had a chance to mine at all. That's been happening in, this, in several of his matches. I mean, Lord is just jumping a little bit at that time. Balls and counts. You're going to eat a punish. Oh, hold up. Here it is. Here it is. Here. Oh, is I love Steve. We love Steve, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 am, I am perfectly okay because, like I said, at worst, I like to watch the world burn. And look, he, he lost and he got iron for it. He's losing, and the game says, no, it's okay. Here you go. Here's, here's the materials. I mean, realistically, when Joker dies, he does have a little, little bit of our set meter, yeah. Speed. But Cloud has empty limit. <laughs> man, he's not DLC anymore, man. He's no not. more privilege. I mean, he, doesn't get, he doesn't get privilege anymore. 
No more. Yes. Yeah, does have privilege though. It's at least me here. But Luis with the privilege of a lead. It's just been so like rough for Spa in this set, not being able to mine anything, but we got a diamond on deck. 43% is not that bad. Can definitely come back from this one. And hey, there is, I guess, a little bit of a benefit to losing your materials early, because now we're able to just play with stone instead of having dirt and wood all over the place. Oh, this is a big combo here. Okay, losing Even to it back up. Up there as well. Oh, oh what the hell? That was, that, was that was incredible. That was clean. And that guess what? Clean. We're going to see that one on Twitter later. Yes, we will. Guarantee. Yes, we will. We will be seeing that on Twitter. Man, great stuff from Louis Money. Spot definitely started pulling it back, but he just pulled Louis Money just pulled the rug right from underneath him. He's like, nah, bro, nah, you're not getting that. You're not coming back from this. I already have that lead. Uh, these guys, these guys laughing, laughing about it. You know, these guys are having a good time. Best right? part, these guys, these guys are just so cool with each other. I love it. I love, I love the energy these guys have. Stop the battle. Nah, most of, most of people. Steve. Steve. Yeah, I mean, these guys are pretty, pretty cool people. Mm -hmm. you know? Definitely. Um, and you know, I can, I can definitely. I've talked to you know Luis plenty of times. Very, oh, very cool guy. Very we got cool. Swedish tennis Steve coming out. This is that color counterfeit. Well, I was like, this, this color is. Like, this is the this spot is, color. Uh, well, also, just because I, I know the spot looks like you've actually tennis player. <laughs> I, feel, I don't know why you just give me tennis player vibes. Oh my god. I love how, how Spot will do like a really low percent. So he'll do the reverse snare and then link it into up tilt. I like that a lot. Oh, oh yeah. no, okay, not quite. Nice Fox Illusion. Fox Illusion, yo. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you were ready, bro, because I was going to say it. I know. Yeah, Spot with the uh, the, the quick, oh, oh, the quick my first stock. Yeah. Luis shaking his head a little bit. He's definitely surprised by that one. Yeah, right on the edge of the Because randomly, Anvil will, like, you'll be able to clash and just knock him out by Yeah, because Anvil is stronger when Steve is standing on it. And so if you trade with it when he actually brings it out, it's at its strongest state. Okay. Trading with it with an anvil out when it's already falling, that's not a big deal. That's whatever. Look at that pressure. Great stuff from Spot. Good avoidance. Also, also love the upset. Like, Woo! Way, Look yeah. at the the swing and momentum is so so different in this game. Barely missing the foot of shield. Oh, that's not a back air. Basically, even in terms of percent, but a whole stock lead up. Of course, only counter. Small battlefield. Definitely working out a lot much better for him on this set than it was in the last. At least try, starting to get his footing here a little bit. A lot better avoiding. Runs right into the jab. Almost close. Not quite gonna kill though. Just in there, now push yourself up the ledge. Yeah, he's gonna plank for a bit. Oh! Oh, barely didn't didn't uh, get saved by the blocks there. He didn't use PMO. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad we've decided that tech is just bad. It just doesn't do anything. Is it, does it's it really dude, it's not very good. Because it's so situational. Sure it, it's not, dude, I swear. <laughs> it's it's really situational. And like you have to have like a, a nair or a different move out first. Whoa. And it only works on small multi hits. Well, Luis almost scared me there, bro. Not be you know, pretty much it risk of dying to anything. A little too far for the scoop hitbox there. Oh god, Luis kind of, ooh, kind of bringing it back now. Back air is so, Pelican in the back air is so good against Steve Minecart. Absolutely, that would be invincibility. I mean, it's good. Mm -hmm. Maybe Sephiroth. I think Kazuya. <laughs> 171 on Luis here. Spot really needs to find the, uh, the stock here, but he's having a really hard time. I mean, you don't need to rush it, right? Like, you know you can find your kill eventually. Yeah, he grabs the down tilt. Luis takes that lead that back. I just flat out kill in a long time. 170, it's been a while since Spock got a hit. Hold on, hold yeah, Luis, on. Luis is in for flow state right now. He's cooking. Someone got to turn that stove off. No, that dude. Friend. Wow. He stole that game. Wow. Spock started that one so strong, too. He found, his, he found his flow mm -hmm. and then just kind of snowballed it into the whole game. That's the thing about being a top 50 player. Like, you can unlo you've can unlocked that flow state and you can stay in it. It's like... This guy's like... Oh, Steve! Is he? I don't think... Not recently, actually, but I know... I oh, know. Yeah. Around there, yeah. Master that Ultra Instinct, bro. Ugh, the Enderman, Enderman coming out. Three, two, uh, one, go! Pretty 
pretty sure the sun's down now, so it's about perfect timing, if you ask me. Drew, it's nice. Already, yo, the landing up there with that? I found the one. I think so, yeah. Oh, no, no, I think it's a mare. I think it's a mare. Whoa. Whoa. That's a banger song. Donkey Kong music is so good, man. It is. Love this song. Yo. Repair your wooden tools. <laughs> Did he just edge cancel off a block? Oh my god. <laughs> that's it. That, that, that's top player privilege right there. That's the difference in the top player right there. Wow, you can't punish that move, man. What? What? Excuse me? The how to the back here just clang with that and not beat it? It's not like that move's invincible. Whatever. Whatever. This game sucks. <laughs> One of these players need that stock. I mean, you're at the distance where it wasn't really going to matter, but sometimes that Whoa. Oh my god, off the backboard! <laughs> Not a single tech in all that. Self alley oop. Oh, there we go. That's gonna be the stock. Yep. Nothing you can do about that. Nothing you can do about that. Wait, that traded with Politan in there. I am very unhappy about that. Whoa, that hit from below the platform. I love this character, man. This character's awesome. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, DI, good DI out for me. Oh Woo! my god, you're Woo! almost a genius. <laughs> Point blank auto reticle. I'm gonna say that was intentional. That was 100% intentional, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, if you hit it, it's intentional, you're big. Exactly. And if you miss, I didn't mean to do that. If you punish her, I didn't mean to do that. Wow, I saw the jump too. Spot's definitely not happy about that one. There you go. Oh, my well, he's been able to get this close, but it doesn't seem like he's still going to Back here right now. You have a sword pickaxe. There he is. He's very parry on the anvil. All right, there we go. We're gonna run up, punish the explosive flame. We got a diamond on deck now. This is definitely not uh, outside of the realm of possibility. I think he meant to get back in there. Good there to shoot. Kind of risky on the up tilt. I think you want to run off forward air there, not a dash down. Yeah. Good grab, He's okay. Walk away from both of these taking the grand finals here. One solid back air will do it. Good edge cancel. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can edge cancel that. I don't see that either. often, yeah. A lot of people do it on the, on the actual ledge of the stage. Full sword already going, has more gold points on him. He needs to be able to crash something in here. Back air. Yeah. Oh. oh, no, jumps into that. You're probably going to find Yep. This is looking pretty grim for spot. Oh, that would have killed. He can, he can, he can steal, steal it, definitely. But with, no, with no iron to his name right now. There we go. Got a little bit. Oh, I thought for sure we see that smash. Barely. There it is. Yeah. Great stuff from Louis Money. That spot played him close, man. I think it was really bad. Too bad for you. That game really too, you. yeah, that definitely swung the momentum back into Luis's favor. Yeah. Even still, I mean, he almost won that game three. So, yeah. like, good composure by spot. Uh, you know, no. you're dropping out losers finals, you still got a chance to defend home home turf. Now we get to see the GOATs, Nest Boy. True, true. I guess you mans. So here's my predicament. I want Senkal to win, but I really want to see cool Nest stuff. So who do I root for? I'm rooting for the Nest. <laughs> I, want, I, hate, I hate to say it. I like the Nest, bro. The Nest clips have been... The Ness goes, hey, yo, Ness boy, you're sick as hell, bro. You're so cool. You're so cool, man. That was dope. We're going to see some of those clips on Fresh Cut later, yeah?
Hey! <laughs> All right, and we're going to see Nest Boy coming up, and then we're going to be joined by U Man's here in a moment. There he is. Coming right up here. I, I will say, the bucket hat is pretty drip. Is it's, pre it, it's, it's pretty drip. I can't. I, okay, lie. I think I, it works on him. That's yeah, it. Yeah. There are exactly. very few people in this world that bucket hats look good on, but U Man's rocks yeah, it. Some, yeah, some people it works, bro. Yeah, U Man's definitely rocks it. You got the chain on as well. This boy wears sunglasses really indoors while he say while he's playing too. Yeah, he does. How's I mean, he do bro, that? U Man's is just a cracked out absolute maniac. Yeah, honestly. Like, homie is is usually usually blinged out, always trying to have some 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 fit of the other man. Uh huh. And uh, he's always always going for absurd things. Absurd plays, yeah. Works. Where's he going? I don't know. He's way back there now. Yo, realistically, we have two kind of, you know, just people who play for the clip here. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited to see it. We better see some cool clips. Yeah, I hope so. He's just gone. I think he went to the bathroom. You know what? I'm taking a break. I'm taking this off. That's why I just have it. I, 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 did, I did have it. But then it, oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't. Like, I, I can't move. I can't put my head down. And then get to my eye. <laughs> you have to master having the headphones around. I know these are just. It, it's honestly, it's a, it's a talent that Call of Duty players have. So that's why, I, that's why I'm good with this. This works. There you go. Yeah, this works fine. Whatever works, bro. Uh, just kind of chilling here, man. Waiting for uh, you, man's to do something. He's icing him out, bro. Probably. So Ness versus Mario, I mean, you probably got, you know, it's probably a pretty, like, Stop the battle. Mario, right? probably. You're well, probably expecting, I mean, Ness outranges Mario, I mean, just, you know, just doing a hitbox, right? Yeah, a couple of a hitbox. Maybe like forward air, right? Like forward air, a little bit of air. Like back air, probably lower. Yes. I wonder how Melee is going with that side. Probably, I wonder if uh, Hazel and Spark are playing in Grand Cities. They played in Winners Finals, and I think Spark won. Actually, it has an Ace on the right? Yeah. He's got a lead, yeah. You guys don't get him. I actually, I had heard Spark was going to be here, and then. Uh, I haven't seen him, I, yet. I need to go see him. It's been yeah. so long since I didn't get a chance to go talk to PJ either. Like, I saw him, but he was busy every time, so I don't want to bug him. Anymore. I talked to him for a minute. Uh, he got like seventh or fifth. Okay. PJ, PJ's always been a homie. I always, oh, I always love PJ, bro. I love that guy. He's such a clown. If he's still around, I'll try to catch him uh, before we leave. The second place master. Oh, I remember that. Man, then, then, then I became, you know, the, the second place master of Smash 4 for all. I remember him and I talked about that, and he was like, oh, you're just like me forever. <laughs> Shout out to all our, all, all our uh, sponsors today and our ad reads going on right now. And to the Mania just saw. Thank you so much to UC Merced for letting us use this incredible conference center. Oh, this so, venue is so baller. good. This venue is fantastic. It's such a good venue. And then our sponsor here, Workforce Development. Super, uh, super, super good stuff here. I had them talking up, uh, talking up here about what they got what they got going on earlier. So, Joystick. Joystick. You know, yeah, Arcane here in Merced as well. Arcade. Man, what more could you ask for? Good right. food, probably good drinks, and mm -hmm. some video games. Shout out to MNC as well, Carnage, for. Uh, Putting all this together, I think they do. They did a great job with all these events, just like they do with everything else. Yeah, just all these sponsors today as well. Blue Shell, Senkel Standoff. I'm Fast excited forward. for that, man. I'm so excited for Senkel Standoff. I'm so sad you can't come. Uh, I'm man. so. Sad. I am so sad for I'm two reasons. Because one, I wanted to commentate Smash, and I wanted to play DBFZ. Like you know, I was gonna go so hard at DBFZ. Dude, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter four games at Senkel Standoff. What? Strive. Strive. Ultimate <laughs> melee. No, Ultimate, 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 Strive, Street Fighter, and, oh, yeah, and Dragon Ball. Six, huh? Yep, I'm gonna play Street Dang, Fighter. Man. Yeah, because I, I was thinking about entering SM6 as well. I need to, I need Dude. to cancel my registration. Yeah, I know. Like, if you were coming, there's no reason not to enter no. your SM6. No yeah. reason. Because it's, it's a week one tournament. Yeah. Like, the game comes out a week from. Going around, having fun. Right? Yeah. And I'm gonna play Dalsim. I'm gonna throw my funny stretchy limbs at you. He's got a different Mario. shirt. He got a different shirt. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, you man. All right. All right, we're jumping straight into it. Nest Boy versus Wins. Second count versus North Count. I believe Nest Boy's going to win. 
Before I put you in the body. Hold up, I'm not comfy. I need to be comfy. I'm going different shirt mode. <laughs> that or maybe he's on his like, you know, vengeance store. He's got Vegeta on. Yeah, yeah, no, he's got, he's got the Vegeta Mario. power. The drippy Vegeta power. <laughs> Alright, moving right into game two here. Three, two, <laughs> okay. One, I like go. the on. Yeah, it is. I don't want to give Mario any platforms here. I like the choice of Nesboy. For the most part, especially the way Nesboy's are playing. Yeah. 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 There are certain moves that characters hit, and if you see these big moves get hit, your brain goes into immediate And <laughs> <laughs> Mario is ending Mario. Mm -hmm. Mario up here, Ness down here, Magnet. Spacing, man. He's trying to get aggressive out of the door. Oh, up smash, catching the landing. Jabs on the wrong side there for this play. Back throw. Not quite. Good DI from the uh, U-Mans. <laughs> Wow, 
Wow, that still clipped him. I'm so proud. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna back off. I'm just gonna pop him up. Gets it there. And I just commentated first. That, that's my commentator <laughs> curse. It's a pretty easy game. But what is the perfect percent of the moment? I love the way bounce magnet though. His movement with magnet is nice. Plenty of mix-ups, big show pressure. Plus mix up his landings. He's actually different. so he can get himself a better angle or he had to try to like end up going to the stage again yeah, and hope he can kind of go up. Oh, 
Oh, oh no. Nice. The rage. Oh! You're not in danger of dying to anything aside from the sweet spot for smash. Yes, that'll kill. This is hard, but definitely possible to come back. It's doable because you're out of like super friendly combo percent by this point. Jump over and then probably go for back there. But if he shields, then you can get shield pressure with magnets. But I like the patience as well. You're not confident in something there. Just take a shot. He needs a good percent. Okay, no. Go down. There it is. There it is. That gets jumped. Yes, he's dead. I honestly. I think he screwed himself over trying to go for the wall jump there. Yeah. I think he could have just made it. Well, I don't know if he would have made it back to the bouncer, but it would have been easier. It would have been, uh, he would have actually made it instead of if he had gone for that wall jump there. I feel like he was too worried about trying to avoid the PK Thunder. Like, yeah, you're going to get popped up and he might jump off of it, but if it does a combo, right, you have at least a better shot of living than going down that low. Yeah. Sometimes you have to take the hit. Yep. Right? And that's what gets one, gets one on the board, though. <laughs> You're a real Ganyak, bro. I'm a Ganyak, bro. I could go for a Ganyak. Mario! I mean, to be fair, they close at 2 a.m. True. But also, it also depends on how hungry we are, like, trying to get Three, out of here. Yeah, two, yeah, worst case scenario, one, we grab some fast food and then I go for Kane's burger. Do you, bro. All right, Town and City for the pick. Yeah, I, I know you guys have been doing something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially with, like we talked about, he's not as center on ladders. Granted, you can get him on this game, but it's not fine. Like so. Oh, okay. Low ceiling on the stage. Try to get him with a reverse up tilt. Good luck, yeah. See, that's where Nessa and Mario really have some of those air to air situations. Plus, the play bit is where Nessa is concerned. I don't understand. What were they thinking? Felt bad for him and said, Yeah, you know what? You deserve to be really, really, really good. Probably the recovery spot, but that's the boy knows what those angles. That's something I, I will always respect PK player, PK boy players for is their ability to control PK Thunder and get the angles. That's so cool to me. I can't do that very well. Good roll away from the green ends there. Oh, no. down to okay. another up air, even percent. Quite close enough to the grab. That's got stubby little arms, little baby arms. <laughs> his up smash his head is there. like half his body. Exactly, he's a little baby. <laughs> wow, the avoidance. The platform. Oh no! Oh, that would have been sick if you went for ladders. Get the sour spot. In there, out. A hundred percent. Wow, he didn't make that back. Nice he didn't have a jump. Yeah, landing down here, you need to do somewhat of a big jump. Kind of cake spawn here. Yeah, that actually clips him. Dog B. Honestly, okay that it clipped him because he had the double up there. That should be an RC. Oh, oh my god. Woohoo! <laughs> Don't miss RCO. Oh no, down tilt. Oh, no strong spot on the back there. He's going out there. Oh, oh whoa! No. He's taking a win! He's trying to drag him down. Oh, he's back! He's back! He's back. What an incredible play from wow. Nesboy! And they get down smashed. Oh, my Immediately up smashed. But that was incredible from Nesboy. Wow. wow. Man, people started getting hyped too for that clip, man. That was great. That was great. That was a great play. Play. Are we gonna see a game five? A game five? I want it. I want it. I always want it. Especially as we can watch one S-Boy. One S-Boy, yeah, I'll always take that. plays like that, right? Shield pressure, man. Imagine I mean, you, you, don't, you don't die at zero to get your shield broke by S-Boy. Well, he's a 38, actually. So yeah, he probably would get pushed to the edge. Okay, Thunder. No, PK Thunder. Yeah, Thunder. Yeah, no. Oh. He just barely didn't make it back. We are seeing the game five. Not in the way you'd like to see it, but we're seeing it. No, 
all we wanted. Yeah, I, I'm glad and I maybe, maybe I cursed you mans. Possibly. <laughs> so yeah. don't give me Nest Boy grants. <laughs> Hey, you man's no stranger to hitting crazy clips in top eight, so I'm, I'm, I'm down to see that too. Three, two, one, go! Town and City for game number five. I love it. One of my more favorite stages. Oh, yeah, you need FD number three. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't blame him. I would be too. He's gonna put you in a really bad spot with this game for the Yeah. So he kind of has to recover low like that. Oh, okay. He was a little bit. He can probably get reflected by the game. Yeah, he gets an air out of shield. Probably he's going to get back there. Yeah. So the fireball doesn't really give you too much. Oh, what an emphatic wow, back air! That was huge! You missed Chris Steeler right back on the right play, but now you don't really have to. You gotta get an honest kill. Mario returns to be a Mario returns to be a hard worker. You got a plumber. He has some Brooklyn. Look at that. Off stage. Balls the F smash, but probably not what he wanted there. Just like that, you guys eat it up. Nice little string here. Oh, got it. Got it. Back here. There it is. Oh my god, are you dead? Uh, not uh, quite. It's Mario. Now, you now, now you're dead. You An incredible play by. That was That's practically a little bit. Pretty much. I'm surprised the actually takes the clip from there. Just made with the magnet back here. Yeah, landing there. Gets you a combo here. This is gonna be big. I like I love what he was going for. He wanted a combo up there, get him a little higher, probably get the whole beat. Not even close to out of this. We usually with downer combos, you kinda want to a lot of damage here. You're dead. dead. Yeah, you man's gave it up. He knew he was wow. dead. That's playing with the reverse. The reverse the yeah. You man's shaking his head too, yeah. Reverse sweep. That was a great oh. play out of him, though, man. Boy, like, this boy is fine with me. <laughs> it's a shame that Senkal's uh, one, of, one of two Senkal defenders is gone now. Uh, spot is the last one. The oh. last one, yep. Kind of reminds me of Stadium a year ago. Well, yeah. Or what, nine months ago, or, or, or say like yeah, seven, eight mm -hmm. months, something like that. I don't know. Time starts to blend together. It reminds me of. Um, and what was that one tournament that we had? Oh, stadium. Yeah, you said Stadium, right? Yeah, Stadium. You said that, okay. I was like, I was thinking of the venue, I'm like, wait, was that Stadium? I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The spot got a second. There it is. Ness versus uh, Steve for this one. Steve! Yeah, this, this mirror. God, imagine. For the Ness mirror spot? He <laughs> <laughs> would probably look at you. No, bro. You're saying no the way that spot way. always says about I'm not doing that. <laughs> Alrighty, getting right into this set here. Losers finals. We got two sets left. This one and one more. Possibly. Yeah, the, the, the only up here. I really like that. I don't see that. That's serious. Not really, no. Nice, nice little uh, newer development. Yeah. Put an advantage here. Picking fire on the landing. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! Remember, remember what I said? It's stronger when he's on it. What? Now I will always want to see more Nest Boy, but I'm at the point where we need Sam Cal to bend it. Sam Cal has got to take this one home. I believe most of these players are. I don't remember, I think it was earlier in bracket. Oh, I'm making a little bit of a losing run. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, there out. Play through the mind fight. The get me back to stage express. Mm -hmm. That's why I kind of have a struggle a bit to find his way in. <laughs> yeah, I love the move in the spot. This avoid is really good. He finally has to click the back of it. No. You hate to see that. 
Oh, barely missing that spike. That one of his claw flips. Spot is cooking right now. This is a really tough gun. Oh, he got the balance. Wow. Wow. Stays there. Really impressive recovery. He's so good at recovering with this character. And up smash. Yeah, he did not mean to have smash there. No way. No, no, no. He's laughing it off though. He's laughing it off. I mean, you got, you gotta, you gotta love the, the attitude, right? Yo, Ness Boy is just having the time of his life out here. Oh yeah. You love to see it. A guaranteed top three spot, man. That's real good. That's a very good placement. I would be very happy about it. Oh yeah. Great bracket run, man. Regardless, win or lose this set, it's been a great run for both these players. Mm -hmm. Start the battle, Ness Steve. The home state here. Singles bracket, 160. Three, two, one, finishing around go. the same time as the melee bracket. That's how you know we got some good skills. They are good at what they do. 
Man, they really program Steve's up air and up tilt, and they're like, yeah, I think that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We can put that in. I don't know who greenlit it, but you and need to send, it, send Lil Bro back. And it's still not the best up tilt. Oh, no. Oh, you're alive. Fist tagging to forward smash, but you are not dead. Oh, you should not. No way. No way that would grab the To be fair, he didn't put it below. He didn't put it below. Oh, no, you're probably just him grabbing the ledge. Yeah, he looked way too far below the ledge, but, you know. Steve. Good nair from Nestboy. 72% is really not that bad against wooden tools. That's really not that bad. If Nestboy can pop up with a big combo here before losing his stock, almost seal himself to Steve. And then again, Steve is no stranger to come back. He can play at any pace. Oh, did you see that angle? That was immaculate. What a perfect angle. Wow. I think Fire does a really good job of dealing with walks. Because he's actually never against something. And it's not like Steve is going to run into it. Yeah. Yeah, Ness Boy's looking for something. He's looking for one of these PK fires to connect to get a big combo. Oh, no. no. You, ro to catch you the rolled ball. in. You rolled into it. No. Oh, there. Oh. Okay. Gets the diamond on deck. Oh, catches the tech in place. Not quite going to get out of there. Now the Steve ladder combo is no clues in Black I, so. I don't think he wants to, to yeah, he definitely doesn't want to craft the diamond on the stock. No way. Ooh, spot trying to find his footing here. Looks like he's actually figuring it out. This boy just looking for that big hit, that one big hit. That's all he needs. Spot's clawing this one back though, slowly but surely. You don't really have any kill to turn here as Ness, but the back throw will you got, kill. Yeah, you got grab in the back throw. <laughs> that's, that's not good. Me too, man. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and this is why that this is the best stage for Steve. Yep. You cannot jump between the platform and the blocks. <laughs> no! <laughs> Special <laughs> delivery! The crafty man! No the way! No yo, Spot, Spot shaking his head. Uh, uh, Whoa! Head, bro. Calculated. I have never seen that before. Was that intentional? No way. High IQ. There's no way he meant for that to happen. No, I'm gonna give it to him, bro. I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna ask Spot later if that was intentional. He'll be like, oh, of course it was. Oh, yeah. oh of he course, sir, of course. His foot, freaking, <laughs> of course it was. Um, actually, I calculated the trajectory uh, of my crafting that <laughs> spawn there. And an F diamond, F smash, that will seal it. And there's and Spot. Back up to the grand finals. Let's see, we're gonna get the run back Spot versus Louis Money again. Fantastic stuff from Nest Boy, though. All right, let's, let's, let's be real, though. The real MVP of this top eight is Nest Boy. Incredible clips. What a, a great, great run. Gave us some of the best matches of the tournament. Let's see, where did he come from? Nest Boy, top 32, loser's side, if this would load. Nest Boy beat Woody 3 2. He beat Luna and losers. He beat Zendomo and losers. Yeah. He beat Navalence and losers. And he, he beat all the homies. Dang. Who did he lose to? I don't remember, actually. Sergio. Okay, he lost a weapon. Yeah. He lost a weapon before top 32. Yeah. And he made a run all the way to third place. Wow. I, that's a big loser's run, man. Wow, man. Well done to Ness Boy. A great showing. Huge. Absolutely great showing. Uh, huge you know run, man. The, you know what that means, man. As we say goodbye to the world's favorite Ness player, Mining Sony. We now get to see Sunday, the four Sunday, players Sunday. Play spot. Now he plays Steve. No. And Louis Money once again. Another really good set between these two players. I'm sure we're, it's, sure it's going to be great. Yet another grand final spot. Tasked with defending home turf against Louis Money. Always. Coming in, trying to get his bread oh, out man. here in Sencal. Man, I love this return to form we're seeing for Spot. The grind's yep. paying off. Yes, sir. He had a bit of a low uh, at the end of 2022 there. And then the start of 2023, he has been showing that he is still number one around here, man. Oh. Spot, right Spot picked the Steve ball that I'm feeling like right now. I'm tired, bro. Me too, man. <laughs> I feel like this. I feel like the actual 45 out here. 
I'm ready to go, but we got grand finals to finish off. Actually, trade to the minecart there. What a recovery. I love the angles that he's been using with uh, Elytra. Explosive flame, man. Another one. Air yeah, dodge his way him. through. Yeah, let's jump back, back there. here. See ya. Not giving him a second to think about it. Think about anything on that ledge. And, and this is the thing with the, with the new like this. How good is your stamina? Right, yeah. How, how well can you keep yourself together through a long racket like this? Both of these players got to really be feeling the tiredness right now, but they're used to it at this point. We've seen multiple grand finals, like we said. What a counter. Counter. You don't counter. see that move so often because that move is not good. It sucks. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the higher recovery. Box Illusion. Wow. What a catch, though. Louis, Louis, Louis is on just, top of it. Yeah, he's just smothering Pump it right smash. now. That was going good. for that one. That was a really good catch. Not really much you can do there. I'm actually oh. not missing that tech. He got the iron tools. He did it. I thought he did. Oh no, no, he thought he was gonna probably have to tag. Yeah, Luis, Luis is just smothering him, doing a great job keeping his advantage going. Luis's movement is just so clean, man. It's so good. Edge can't slip it on point there. We saw that crazy <laughs> edge can't slip it on point. Oh my god, and then that one as well, yeah. I said, like, Luis, Luis is my favorite Politana, no question. It's so hard getting back to stage. <laughs> Yo, no, it extended it with the mic. No, what? <laughs> no, it didn't even extend. It didn't hit the mic. The mic still there. Oh yeah, it was. Oh. It just lingered. That so it just lingers, bro. How come when I when I use that move, it does not linger like that? I swear. You don't got you don't got the Louis Money touch. Dude. True. Louis Money, he's got he's got <laughs> the Midas nicely. touch, dude. He's got Midas <laughs> touch, bro. He's like, you don't even put special things like I do. <laughs> if Louis Money played Steve, he wouldn't get iron blocks. He'd get gold blocks the, with the Midas touch, the money touch. That's facts. That is very true. That was uh, a quick game, game two, one. Man. Another, another Three, switch to the tennis ball. We're going to Kellogg's Interesting. Go. Maybe you're looking for some extra survivability. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The walls are going to help him as well. He's going to be able to camp on the side of the uh, on the ledge as well if he wants to. Yeah. Definitely a better opening here for Spy. Got his footing a lot easier here. What a uh, jumping explosive flame. Wow. That was really well placed by Luis. Oh, so Again. That didn't clip her. Another the dash attack is a block, dude. That was crazy. Boy, another up smash. Edge Do an cancel. edge cancel. Oh, no, no, no iron, no iron to the yeah. handle. Oh, Minecraft's off the table. Right well. Yeah, Minecraft's off table, no anvil. <laughs> Got one. All right, here we go. Alrighty, that first stock. Spot's taking the first stock there. Gold tools. Got the train going. The jab train. Look at this. Much better showing for Spot on this game. Nice little lead here. Back here, though. Puts him off stage. Oh, Whoa, God, that was here. Really bad. No, but, not quiet. Because Talos is a really high ceiling. Yes, Anvil punished that. Up so back here, yeah. The classic. Are we gonna opt for some diamonds here to get the quick stock? Or are we gonna go for it? Yeah, he's still got gold. He's got a diamond on deck, but I don't think he wants to use it quite yet. If his tools start breaking before he takes the stock, though, then he might want to consider. What a grab. <laughs> Spot off stage now, gotta be really careful. Whoa! <laughs> that, that was, was great really option. well spaced. That was a great option. Tried to catch something there. Oh, Wrong no. way! No, I've been there, I've been there. You can't let that rattle you, you have a good percent lead here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Winner's finals. Luis your composure. so good at like stealing this, this leads back. Does he, does he enter flow state? Yes, throw, not throw, quite. throw, get her off stage. Just to give yourself more time. There's the diamond. Yeah, they got they gotta get out of here. They've, I mean, they've been doing a great job sticking schedule though. We should we should be able to get out of here. Oh definitely. Yeah, no, I should. think we'll be okay. Come on, come on. You just gotta 
stop, spot stop camping. That didn't kill. I am surprised you are alive. Oh, I like the light drop wow. off the anvil, but doesn't get anything off of it. That's a sick move. Did you see that? You missed that. Well, what he, happened? Did, he did the anvil. He did the anvil and it fell on the ground. And then Luis didn't get hit by it, and he got pushed away. He got pushed towards spot with the anvil. Wow. He got the jab off of it. Great awareness move from Luis. Oh my god. He's still surviving on the second stop. And this is the exact repeat of game number two. Yeah, it is. Spot just hasn't been able to get this kill. Louis, Louis Money's defense has been immaculate. Wow, that is so positive on Shield. Spot's taking his time here. He's, he's going to do another explosive flame. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, or, or an auto Yeah, there's a back air. Wow. Spot's just not been able to get stock. I'm getting some deja vu. There it is. Finally, we got that. Now we're back to an even game. That's already an improvement from the previous time we saw this situation. Uh -huh, definitely. He didn't even get that stock off. Good check. No materials, though. Yep. Okay, wait for the reset here. There it's we good go. Good combo here. There we block go. Force, oh, I was going to say block forward smash. At least with that momentum again. Another back in. Oh. Each one of these backers, you, you feel it, bro. So, Luis is so good at going above where he knows Spot's gonna mine for and then back there in the top. He's just so good at that. Well, you have to be against this character. Yeah, good recovery by Luis. He doesn't really have a lot of lag on her teleport. Another Nair. It's an even game, though. You can easily take this in your spot. You still have diamond tools available as well, right? Yep, still got diamond on there. Okay, actually didn't get the back out in time. <laughs> just runs into the wall. So good. Once again, Louis Money with the ice. One more game, man. One more game, and we might be getting out of here. I mean, we already know he's gonna stick with the Steve. He's oh, back yeah. to zombie. Three, two, also sticking with one, the Kalos King. Walks up. It's like, ooh, new Minecraft world. What's the truth? Attention to the last game of Grand Final. Spot, Louis Money. Text off the block. Oh, oh no, does he get the punish on the auto radical? Hey, you see, you see that? You see that? I think that was PMLG. I think we just saw Oh, he's got to throw the game, bro. He's got to throw the stock, yeah. bro. He's got to throw the stock, bro. Oh, oh no he way. He got blocked. <laughs> he got blocked. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't care about PMOG anymore. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I'm not playing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You know, the, the worst part is somebody <laughs> heard me say that and thought I was dead serious. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, bro. I don't care. <laughs> he taunted. He taunted. What was that? That, that? that was either they're joking around me. They're both laughing there, so it was, it was either a mistake or nah, he might, he's yeah. goaded. Nah, he's, he's been talking. And the explosive flame sniper once again, the heavenly right. sniper. All right, spot. He has a second stop, and you have to take it away. Yes. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, he's tra trades abound right now. Avoids the auto reticle. Yeah, big nair, though. This puts you in a bad position. Yeah, you do have Anvil TNT to mix up landings. Fox Illusion. Fox Illusion. Back to mid stage. He's got materials already. Only on second stock. Yup, yeah, it's a free shield grab. At least gives you some time to get some materials, get some redstone in there. There it is. No gold on deck yet. There, there it is. Our rails are now available. Now we got nothing but stone. Okay, decides to use the gold for the tools. I like it. A little bit of frame data. The frame data is kind of insane. Yeah, is it like up to like two? Oh, oh my god. Let's chat with me. Yeah, chat with me. Every all of those frames are going down by like down two frames. One, or two. one or two frames, yeah, which is incredible. Oh yeah. Okay, gonna go to the platform. Actually goes on top hey. of the block. That's a great mix up. Oh, the SF smash with no kill. Another well-placed explosive yeah. flame, and it does get the kill for Louis Money. He is one stock away this from it. taking home the cow house. This is it. And we got the Nairs on deck too. No power rails. Minecraft's not going to be able to kill us this time. That's Alright, last stock. This to stay alive with your spot. Gonna get some 
Zenko hiding in the chat room. Some Zenko hiding. Big ladder here. No oh, fights his way down with the Nair. That's a big, good combo. You needed that. Get him off stage here. <laughs> good patience by Louis Money. Anti air ups. 100% here. This is a pretty even game, though. Louis needs a little more percent, though. Now a back air at the ledge might kill. Oh, oh that was scary. I'm pretty sure we're going to up. Incredible oh. avoidance. Oh, great air dodge. This movement is so good, so careful, so patient. Okay, boys, explosive flame. Oh, yeah, gets his way through. Wow. Doesn't get the background in time. All these players are feeling the nerves. The entire venue is feeling the nerves. Back throw! Oh, back throw! Back that throw. should do it! He's Holy alive! God. The let's from Oh, no, back oh my here. god. No, he's too high of a percent. Can't get that now. Yes, wisely teleporting the platform. He knows he's too slow to get there. No! Oh, yeah. no! Oh, no! Ah, uh, oh, it was so time. That, that is that set was the epitome of 3-0, but it was close. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You hate to see that, but an excellent showing from Spawn getting second place. Louis Money taking it home as we all expected. A great, great showing stuff, from man. him. Great stuff from Louis Money. I'm happy he at least didn't, you know, give us the rob, you know, in the later part, right? No, I'm, I'm glad I'd we rather see the palatina. I, I love, I love the Louis Money Palatina. I love the Louis Money Palatina. I'd rather see the Palatina than the rob. So, Much everybody rather. would. <laughs> All right. Except for Rob players. I think it's time. I think it's time for us to sign out of here. I want to go eat some canes. I am something. I'm hungry. <laughs> a Jack in the Box, Wendy's. We'll figure it out. Figure anyway, it out. everybody in the chat, thank you all so much for tuning into the Cow House. We had an absolute blast. We had an absolute pleasure bringing you the top eight. Me and Tommy, I am surprised we got to do all the top so eight. Much. And I'm not complaining. Let's go. <laughs> That's my guy right there. Anyway, thank you so much. If you want, you can follow me at Miracles underscore CS on Twitter. I mean, Twitter sucks now, so I don't care, bro. You can follow me if you want. And it's I'm been here. a blast. Plug yourself, bro. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at TimeLinked. I believe I have an underscore at the end of that one. I have, like, three accounts. Try <laughs> at TimeLinked. Try at TimeLinked with an underscore. We'll see you all around. Hero right? Main 6,040. No! No! Get me out <laughs> of here. Y'all have a great night. We're out of here. Congratulations to Luis. Uh, let's go, man. All right, everybody, we're going to head out. This carnage with the stream. We're gonna, we have a hard out in an hour. Thank you all to checking in. Love you guys all. We're going to end this thing right now. I'll see you guys on another event in about a month. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one.